All righty, we are live at Collectco for, what day is this? Thursday. Thursday's live Facebook record sale. When you are on and watching, be sure to let us know. We'll see if Matt Ketrin's the, boy, Matt Ketrin's already the first comment. No surprise there, folks. Wow. All right, let's go ahead and get everything plugged up and set up over here. Going to have to get my laptop plugged up, set up. Hope everybody's ready. Got some fantastic, fantastic stuff tonight. Oh, my gosh. You know it's Thursday night. You know it's Thursday night. When? We have some of the incredible auctions like we do have lined up for tonight. Let me go ahead and get everything plugged up over here. I'm going to go ahead and start asking everybody to share the feed and like the post and do all that great stuff. I would greatly appreciate it if you could do so. I'm going to go ahead and be plugging up my laptop because we do have waiting list. We do have pre-orders. We got all that great stuff tonight. I'm going to go ahead and do the first thing I need to do, which is turn on the air conditioning in here, as usual. It's a nightly battle, isn't it? Y'all probably hear me say that a lot. Well, turn it on. Turn it off. Whew, it's warm. I just know that. I'm going to have to get a little AC cooking or cooling. Whichever. All right, let's go ahead and open up Facebook app. I'm going to go over here to Coletco, get everything liked and shared. I've also got music still playing here in the store, which I need to mute. We already got a lot of viewers on Facebook. I see everybody go ahead and hit the like button. I know we're even near to the comments, so I have no idea what anybody's saying right now. I'm going to hit mute there. I'm going to hit copy link. Let's go over here to the group first where I shared it. And... Put it up right here, and let's hit there, and there's the link, and I'm going to put live now, live now, exclamation point, and let's go over here to this, which is our main post, our main page, and do the same thing. Figure out where John's done with our first bin of check condition stuff. Some good looking titles in here for sure tonight. Both new vinyl and vintage vinyl. Absolutely fantastic. And let's see here. Where's the ad at? There's the ad. Live now. Okay. Okay. Now, that's done. Let me move this over here. And let's see here. Let's go to, um, where's the next thing I do? YouTube. Let's go to YouTube. Get this rolling here. There's my email. Click on that. Turn down the volume. Let's get this locked and hit the share button. And there's our first empty crate. I'm talking amongst myself right now. Almost done sharing though. Last thing is our Instagram story. And there's our story. I'm going to use this picture. I'm going to hit link. And let's do live now. All right. Boom, 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 boom. And we're ready to go. All right. Let's go here to chat. All right. So. Okay, who's ready? Who is ready for this? Please go ahead and start liking, sharing. I need everybody on, energized and watching. Please go ahead and start hitting the like button, the share button, all that great stuff. I would greatly appreciate the greatness of you greatly sharing this great feed. Thank you. Probably gonna get started tonight right off the bat with some I don't know. We're about to find out. I'm going to flip through it right quick and see what's in here. Yep, yep, yep. And yep, 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 yep. Yeah, this is the crate we're starting with. We're going to start off right off the bat with fantastic stuff. Hope everybody's ready to go. Hope everybody's buckled in. Hope everybody's ready. I'm bringing over the first crate of vintage stuff right now. Here's the agenda. And boy, do we have a big one. I love these massive agendas. Here's the first agenda. There are five crates already up here right now of new vintage stuff. Five crates of new vintage stuff already up here. Paul's in the back marking more. 
he already prepared all of our auctions. We have a full bin loaded with auction. That is like Pearl Jam, Alice in Chains, Nirvana, the stuff Paul Bill just asked to bid on. You know, if Paul Bill's on asking for stuff, it's great records. And then, there's not one or two or four or six or eight, but nine crates of new vinyl to go through. Wow. Nine crates of new vinyl to go through. What in the world is going on? Wow. All right. And we're going to start this sale, no other, with a metal compilation and a Grateful Dead record. The first thing we have here is the Grateful Dead in the dark. This is a 1987 SRC pressing. It is... It has the alternate cover. It's upside down eyes. Alternate cover with upside down eyes. It has the original on her sleeve. It's in shrink wrap. It's super clean. $35 start. There's the Grateful Dead. There's the original on her sleeve. There's the cover and shrink wrap. It's a little torn. The shrink wrap's a little torn. Does have the hop sticker. $35 start. We already got an opening bid of 50. Next is Doomsday News, The New Generation of Heavy Metal, a 1988 U.S. original heavy metal compilation, $15 start, beautiful vinyl, original inner sleeve, Scanner, Death Row, Tankard, Halloween's on here, Celtic Frost, Creator, Voivod, has the hop sticker, $15 start. That's our first two auctions. Please start liking, please start sharing, please start commenting. First crate is new vintage stuff. It's an instant seller. Alice Cooper, Easy Action, a 1970 Pittman Press, VG condition, $24.99 on straight records. VG minus cover, VG vinyl. Neil Young, everybody knows this is nowhere. Cinnamon Girl, Down by the River, Cowgirl in the Sand. First label, VG condition, $14.99. Boss Skaggs, Silk Degrees, Lido Shuffle, VG condition, $9.99. Boss Skaggs, Silk Degrees, Cream, Wheels of Fire. VG condition, 1999. First label, a classic, White Room, 1999. Cream, Sticks, Cornerstone, VG condition, $9.99. Stevie Nicks, Belladonna, VG condition, $9.99. Original on her sleeve, VG, $9.99. And the Jacksons, Victory, VG condition, $12.99. Jacksons, Victory. Up at the top, we put up a Grateful Dead and a, a Doomsday News compilation. Dead had bids for 50, 36, 35. Doomsday News 20, then 25, then a 20, then a 27. Michael Bolton, first claim. He gets Neil Young. That's actually the first sale of the night. That's so to Mike Bolton. Thank you, Mike Bolton. Doomsday News 28. Donald Kennedy. Donald Kennedy first on Cream. That's so to Donald Kennedy. Lazarus first on Stevie Nicks. That is so to... Uh, Lazarus on the Stevie Nicks, Chris Roller a second. Next is Todd Rundgren, Initiation, VG Condition, $9.99. Todd Rundgren, Initiation. Steve Miller Band, Fly Like an Eagle, VG Condition, also a VG cover. Steve Miller Band, $9.99. Foreigner Head Games is VG Condition, $9.99 for Foreigner Head Games. Scott O'Man, first of the Jacksons victory. That's so to Scott O'Man. I can Tina Turner. Upu Padu, that's VG Plus, $12.99 for Ike and Tina Turner. Cole Price first on Steve Miller Band, Chris Waller was second. And we have Crown of Creation, Jefferson Airplane, VG Plus Condition, $19.99. Crown of Creation, an original German pressing, Jefferson Airplane. D J T Wind, James T. Wind, first on Foreigner. Have I sold to you before? GT, that looks like JT Mesa Wind. Let me know if I've sold to you before. And we have Foreigner, Agent Provocature, VG Condition, $9.99. Grateful Dead is a final call. We have an opening bid of $50 with Ray Road. I started at $35. He bid $50. Final call to Ray Road for $50. Doomsday News just got a new bid for $30. That is a metal compilation. Very nice. Original on her sleeve. Halloween, Celtic Frost, Creator, Voivod. That now has a high bid of $30. Jason Winder, first bid on J.A., Jason Winder, are you a first-time buyer? I think we've already had two first-time buyers tonight. The first one was possibly JT Mesa Wind, and then uh, the other one I just said, Jason Winder. Let me know if you are. Uh, Go-Go's Beauty and the Beat, EX Condition. That's a different-looking cover. 
That cover looks different. We got the beat, EX Condition, $22.99, and we have Plant Music, Music by the Baroque Bouquet, Bouquet, something of that uh, variety, VG Condition, $9.99. Telex, Neurovision, Telex is in VG Condition, that's a 1980 pressing, that's Synth Pop, Gold Stamp Promo, VG Condition, $14.99. Back up to the top, Doomsday New was at 30. Ben Hootzel bid 35. Grateful Dead got a new bid for 56. We also have condition Doomsday News. No condition notes. EX Plus or better. Finally, first time buy. We'll message detail. Well, Ray, you haven't won the auction yet. You've been outbid. It's at $56. Somebody has outbid you. Daniel Farrow was GT Wham's. Thank you, Daniel Farrow, and he's the one who got the Foreigner record. So Foreigner goes to uh, Daniel Farrow. Travis Wade first on Plant. Plant Music so to Travis Wade, then Christopher Brusha. Jason Winder is a first-time buyer, though. Thank you, first-time buyer, Mr. Jason Winder. Make sure you message our page. We need your email address and your mailing address. Send that in the form of a Facebook message to our Facebook Messenger. Thank you and welcome. How much is Alice Cooper? VG condition, $24.99, VG minus cover. There's tape on the spine. The cover's pretty beat. So is the vinyl, $24.99. Of course, you know, nice copies of that are around $100. Doomsday News are $32. Doomsday News, $36. Henry, I've already sold that poster. Somebody, the last comment was Christopher Brusha last night. Christopher, I bundled your uh, two posters. I saw your comment come in when I was in in the feed last night around 1 a.m. when I ended that. I went ahead and tagged those to Christopher. He was first to them. Doomsday New 32. Doomsday New 36. Grateful Dead has a high bid for 60. Doomsday New 40. Grateful Dead 65. How great thou art. Elvis with the Grammy hop sticker in partial shrink wrap. It is a little torn. VG condition, $9.99. And ZZ Hill. ZZ Hills, VG Plus, $9.99. Grateful Dead has a new bid for 65. Uh, right here. This is Alice Cooper. Chris Wood Sr., let me know if you want it. If not, Anna Ventura does. Anna Ventura does it. What songs does the Go-Go's have? It has their hit song, We Got the Beat. EX Condition, $22.99. Daniel Farrow, first to Elvis Presley. Susie Breedlove, second. We have Elvis. This is Sings for Children. VG Plus, $9.99. VG Plus, $9.99. Chic, Greatest Hits, featuring La Freak. VG Plus, $9.99. And we have Four Tops, second album, I Can't Help Myself, Sugar Pie Honey Bunch, VG Plus, $12.99. This is one of the better shows we've had lined up for a while. We've got original Nirvana, Pearl Jam, Alice in Chains, Metal, Alice Cooper, Motley Crue, Anthrax, King's X, Motorheads. We've got nine crates of new vinyl. We've got five or more crates of new vintage. And then later tonight, we'll probably do discount and then maybe even some movie posters. Hope everybody has... About nine or ten hours to spend with us tonight. Anna Ventura, first on the Alice Cooper. Let's tag that to Anna. Anna, are you a first-time buyer? If so, thank you and welcome. I don't think I've sold to you before. Chris is going to pass that over to you. We have Brooke Padgett first on this Elvis Presley. Brooke gets that Elvis Presley. Michael Lynn first on Chic La Freak. That's so to Michael Lynn. Scott O'Man was second. And we have Jethro Tull, VG Condition, $14.99. That's their debut album, VG Condition, $14.99 on Tull. And Shades of Deep Purple. Check out that hop sticker. Contains the hit single, Hush. Hush. Hop sticker, VG Plus, $19.99. Great song. Grateful Dead is now moving to a final call. Christopher Brusha. These are our first two auctions of the night. First two auctions of the night. An original 1987 SRC pressing shrink wrap hop sticker has the upside down eyes. Original on her sleeve, near mint minus. Final call, $65. The Doomsday News compilation is with Ben Hootzel for $40. Ben Hootzel has this for $40. That is a metal compilation. Some of the artists to note, Halloween, Celtic Frost, Creator Voivod. It's an 88 US original, also with an original on her sleeve. And no condition notes on that. Final call for $40. I left off by saying we have, I'm a first-time buyer. Brian recommending you guys. Thank you, Anna, and welcome. Just message our page if you're a first-time buyer. Message our page if you're a first-time buyer. The Elvis. I hadn't looked at it yet, Alex. Let me look at it right now. Elvis. This is some stuff to auction. It's a 1956 mono. Goodness. A 1956 mono. These are on the Vertigo label. Elvis is in mono. We've got Rat. We've got Skinner. We have Bob Seger, Black Sabbath, and more Rat, and then all the other auctions that we have also listed for tonight, which was in the flip video. So, first thing here is America, or next thing here, I should say, is America's Greatest Hits. VG Plus Condition, $9.99. It has the original on her sleeve, 
and the Jimmy Giffrey 3. That's an early Atlantic, 1957 mono, VG condition, $24.99. All right, we have Mike Bolton on Jethro Tull. Mike Bolton on Jethro Tull. Henry says he's going to try to stay up late for posters. Well, if we don't go too late tonight, we definitely will Friday and Saturday. And we have Doomsday News with new bids for 50 and we have an out. Country Bear Jamboree. This is VG Condition 1499, 1972 Purple Label Disney Record. Country Bear Jamboree, VG Condition 1499, and Gong Espresso. Gong Espresso is in VG Plus Condition, $9.99. And Oscar Peterson, that's on the Metro Label, also VG Plus, $9.99. Susie Breedlove, first on D for Disney. Grateful Dead is so to Christopher Brusha for... $65. That's so to Christopher Brusha for $65. First auction done and gone. That's so to Christopher Brusha for $65. Thank you. Very, very nice copy. And then while we was away, Doomsday News got some new bids. The other bidder, Ben Hootzel, said he's out. The new high bidder is with Dustin Riviera for $50. Brian Thurman also said he's out. Susie got Disney. Rob Sheffler was second. Matt Ketron was third. And we have Alice's Restaurant, VG Plus Condition, $14.99. The original motion picture score, VG Plus, $14.99. We have Boss Gag's Middleman, that's VG Condition, $9.99. And Emerson Lake and Palmer, VG Condition, $9.99. Elvis, Aloha from Hawaii via satellite, 2LP with the original under sleeves, $19.99. That's on the Quadraphonic RCA orange label. When I come back, I'm selling Doomsday Dues. Doomsday News, because I don't see any other bids on it. It's our first two auctions of the night. We're about to call those things sold, and let's go ahead and put up some crazy stuff. We're going to go ahead. The big dogs will be a little bit later. Alice in Chains will be later. Everybody, I hope you're ready, because it's going to be wild when that thing goes up, just like when we had three-legged dog. It's going to get crazy. Doomsday News is sold for $50. Doomsday News is sold for $50, and this was with Dustin Riviera. First two auctions are done. If you just hopped on, you haven't missed anything except whatever records we've shown in this bin. We just sold The Grateful Dead, and we just sold Doomsday News. Those are sold and sold. Brooke Paget first on Elvis Presley. That's sold to Brooke Paget. And we have Poison, Flesh and Blood. Poison is a 1990 U.S. retail copy. Yes, U.S. retail copy on this. Paul says no condition notes. Beautiful vinyl, $65 start on Poison. We do not get this very often. Original winter sleeve and a fantastic cover. That does not come through very often. $65 start on Poison, a 1990 U.S. retail copy, and Trick or Treat. Paul has this listed also as a original, beautiful condition, 1986 U.S. pressing of the... Trick or Treat soundtrack, original score music by Fastway. That is in beautiful condition. Nice jacket. Just a little bit of a crease there on the cover. Maybe a couple dings there. Other than that, very, very nice. $55 start on Trick or Treat. Have fun, Benny. Jamie Fairfax, first on the Go-Go's. Can't believe no one else claimed that. That's sold to Jamie Fairfax. The Go-Go's is sold. We have Poison 66, 80 on Poison. Poison 70, 10 years after, VG condition, $9.99. That is a great album. Jethro Tull Aqualung, also another great Jethro Tull album. Gatefold, Reprise Records, VG condition, $9.99. Love Man, Otis Redding, a 1969 Monarch, VG condition, $24.99. An original Otis Redding, Gatefold, 69 Monarch on Atco, $24.99. And Bee Gees, Rare, Precious, and Beautiful, Volume 2. I don't see this volume two as often. It's also in VG condition, $9.99. VG, $9.99. Back up to the top. So we had Trick or Treat with opening bids of 50, 55, Poison, 85, Trick or Treat, 57. Pete Maselli on 10 years after. That's so to Pete Maselli. Josh Tanner on Otis Redding. That's so to Josh Tanner. Trick or Treat, 60. And Mike Brangle first on JT for Jethro Tull. That is so. Donald Kennedy, you were second on 10 years after. We also have Blood, Sweat, and Tears Greatest Hits. VG Condition, $9.99, and the Doobie Brothers, minute by minute. Scott, almost said Scott Fish. That's one of our customers. It may have been Scott Fish. Fish wrote his name on the cover. VG Plus Condition, $9.99. That was a great crate of new vintage pre-owned check condition stuff. Let's go through this one more time. This is an original Trick or Treat, 1986, U.S. pressing, retail, no condition notes, OG, high bid, 
is $62. Poison, $19.90. U.S. retail copy, original on her sleeve, beautiful condition, $90. Now, I'll have to say that about nine more times, but that's okay because people will be hopping on asking what those are and how much they are because they're very extremely desirable records. Jamie Diaz, first on Blood, Sweat, and Tears. That is sold. Poison has a new bid for 91, now 95, and Trick or Treats at 65. Boss Gag, Silk Degrees, VG Condition 999. Sticks Cornerstone is in VG Condition 999. Also, Todd Rundgren, Initiation, VG Condition 999. I can Tina Turner is VG plus $12.99. Foreigner, Agent Provocature, I want to know what love is, VG condition $9.99. Teletex, that is Neurovision, that's a 1980 synth pop album, VG condition $14.99. ZZ Hill, the best thing that's happened to me, VG plus $9.99. The Four Tops, second album, I Can't Help Myself. Sugar Pie Honey Bunch, an original, VG Plus, $12.99. Shades of Deep Purple with the Hush Hop Sticker, VG Plus Condition, $19.99. VG Cover, America's Greatest Hits, VG Plus, $9.99. Here's for all the lonely people, A Horse of No Name, Sister Golden Hair, Daisy Jane, VG Plus, $9.99. Jason Franz, first on the Four Tops. Richard Johnston, first on Deep Purple. And we have a high bit on Poison for $105, and Trick or Treats at $70. Trick or Treats at $70. The Jimmy Giffrey 3 Atlantic, 1957 mono, VG condition, $24.99. Gong Expresso, VG plus $9.99. Scott Oman on 4, and that was probably for Foreigner, Agent Provocature. That's so to Scott Oman. Oscar Peterson is VG plus $9.99. Alice's Restaurant is VG plus $14.99. That's the original motion picture soundtrack. Boss Gags, VG $9.99. Emerson, Lake, and Palmer, that's $9.99. Bee Gees, Rare, Precious, and Beautiful, VG 999, Volume 2, Rare, Precious, and Beautiful, and the Doobie Brothers, Minute by Minute, What a Fool Believes, VG plus $14.99. Travis Wade wants the Telex, that's so to Travis Wade. Next is uh, Scott Ham, he's at 110 on Poison. Christopher Brusha wants Gong Expresso, that's so to Christopher Brusha. Bill Samus wants the, Bill Samus wants the I Can Tina Turner, let's sell that to Bill Samus, and we have Poison at 115. Now, Trick or Treat hadn't had a bid in a while. Jared Benoit still has it for 70. Final Call, an original 1986 U.S. pressing, retail, beautiful condition we have noted. Final Call, $70 with Jared Benoit. There is no ZZ Top record in here, but Poison just got a new bid for 115. Let's go through this crate one more time. Or actually, no, let's bring over a new crate. Let's go ahead and knock out some pre-orders, waiting list, and new arrivals. Let's go ahead and do this. It's the, actually the first record on top. It's new. There is a millions of people in the world right now, more than you could probably ever realize, that wish they could open this up and listen to it right now. And this is the new Taylor Swift album that comes out tomorrow. $49.99. I did have a pre-order up for it. Let me read off everybody who pre-ordered it. And if you want to reserve a copy right now, I should have extras. But I know people... I know people who would love to be able to listen to this right now. Uh, I mean, they would pay they would pay a hundred dollars to listen to it early, probably. This is the tortured poets department. Let me show you what the variant looks like. It's this cover on that because about four days ago, right before release week, she announced like three new cover variants with like three new colors, and I was like. That's going to be too confusing. So I just stuck with this one, the one I already had pre-order, and this is $49.99. $49.99. So let me read off everybody who pre-ordered it. Before we go any further, Poison got new bids for $120 and then $121. But I think I'm about to go ahead and sell Trick or Treat to Jared for $70. Let me just check right quick. Let's go ahead and sell this to Jared for $70. This is sold to Jared for $70. Before we start tagging Taylor Swift albums, and I bring over... Uh, let me bring over a new auction. Let me do that right now. Jared, congratulations on that. That will be asked about a lot. There'll be people saying, has that sold yet? There's some pretty crazy auctions in here. Pearl Jam Unplugged, Alice in Chains, or excuse me, Alice in Chains Unplugged, Alice in Chains, an original We Die Young, Tesla's Anthrax, Creators, Metallica's, Lynch Mobs, Queens Rocks, Quiet Rocks. This is high profile night. This is high profile night on the auction. This album here, I cannot stress to you how many people are looking for this album right now. It's an original, too, a 1989 U.S. retail copy, and it's beautiful, of L.A. Guns, cocked and loaded. An original 1989 U.S. retail copy with the original on her sleeve, 
$95 start. $95 start. LA Guns, cocked and loaded. There's the vinyl. There's the original inner sleeve. The cover is beautiful. $95 start. That is now up for bid. Wow. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Let me stop. Uh, let me figure out. Okay. Right there is where I stopped. But let's do the pre-order. Thomas Bonhart on two Taylor Swifts. One for Thomas Bonhart. Another one for Thomas Bonhart. The next claim was Jamie Wills Erickson. Jamie Wills Erickson didn't want one. He wants two. There's two for Jamie Wills Erickson. Ron Kelly got one. Steve Howe got one. And Crystal Newman got one. There's the next three. Those are all sold. Let me like those comments so they know that those came in. And let's go over here. Letty Collier got one. Cody O'Neill got one. And then somebody commented, none, please. Somebody commented, none, please. I'm going to remove comment and ban member. Somebody commented on Taylor Swift, none, please. How about I just go ahead and remove him? And uh, Letty Collier and Cody O'Neill. And then we had Paul Brothers. Brent Robley said he wants two. Jerry Stone and Bill Walton. So let's just go ahead and tag all those over there. I don't know who that person is. Nor have they ever bought from us before, but now they are no longer in a whole lot of records. So, those person is gone. Let me like all these other comments. And I almost sold him one, too. That would have been bad. And then Ann Davis Manginelli wants one. Let's sell one to Ann Ma Davis Manginelli. Ann Davis Manginelli. That was the next person on the pre-order. Let's go ahead and see who else claimed one live here. Back up to the top. Uh, so, Poison was at 120, then 121. And then... Mike Massey on Taylor Swift. That's so to Mike Massey. And then Sean Reed gets a Taylor Swift. And we have Poison 125. Chris Kirkley wants a Taylor Swift. Poison 130. And we have LA Guns 95. And we have Jesse Clark on Taylor Swift. And that is Catherine Lutz is the next person. So those are all sold. Those are claims that were live here. Looks like we've got five copies left. That is... The, por the Tortured Poets Department. Tortured Poets Department. Catherine Lutz was the last person. I've already filled up our first crate here, so let me set that off to the side. And let me go grab a new empty crate right quick. Everybody says I'm talking a little fast. Am I talking fast? Maybe, probably because I have more stuff to show tonight. I have like two shows worth of stuff to show tonight in just about four hours, so maybe I can do that. Taylor Swift is $49.99. There's two, four, five copies left. I've got five copies on hand. That is the 24 page. I will say this, I saw the price and as usual, it seems expensive to me for a new release, but uh, this is nice packaging. Uh, it's a very sturdy gatefold. It comes with a book, it is two LPs. So for once I can verify or uh, I'll agree with the pricing on this, especially for somebody like Taylor Swift. It is a nice jacket, it comes with a book and it's two LPs, so uh, I consider that pretty nice. So. Paul Brothers. Did I get you originally, Paul Brothers? I did. Okay. So, let me go ahead and set off to the side. Let's go through another crate because I have lots of new vinyl to go through. Let me find this crate. I was pricing a crate earlier and I was like, man, I can't wait to show this because there's so many great restocks, stuff I have not been able to show tonight, So, or stuff I hadn't shown in a long time. All right, so I left off uh, Jesse Clark. I got him a Taylor Swift and Catherine Lutz. That was the last person. And then L.A. Guns was at 130. And then L.A. Guns, 135. And then Paul Brothers wants another Taylor Swift. That is so to Paul Brothers. Mark Carfernanis wants a Taylor Swift. I just butchered his name. The condition of the BGs is VG condition, Larry. VG 999. L.A. Guns is at 150. All right, let's update these auctions. Poison. Uh, it was down to two people. Let's see where we got to. Poison, Scott Ham set out. Jamie has it for 135 Final call, Jamie Butler, Flesh and Blood, an original 1990 U.S. retail copy of Original Under Sleeve. That's a final call. Jamie Butler, and he has that for 135 We're about to sell it. L.A. Guns just got a new bid for 155 All right, there's three Taylor Swifts left on hand. More new vinyl. I got a restock of N.W.A., straight out of Compton. Now I'm going to go over to my laptop for the first time tonight and start checking waiting list. NWA straight out of Compton is $36.99. There was probably a waiting list for this if I have three copies. NWA, Kelly Gabney was on a waiting list. This is new and sealed. NWA straight out of Compton, $36.99 for that. $36.99. And we have Wasp, Headless Children. No waiting list for that. I went ahead and grabbed three copies because I hadn't seen it in stock for a while. And this is Wasp, Headless Children. And I don't think I have any waiting list for Wasp albums. 
I don't. No waiting list for Wasp albums. And there's several tonight. Here's the first one. Headless Children, $39.99. Taylor Swift is $49.99. I've got three copies left. We've almost sold our original first shipment. All right, Jamie, congratulations on Poison. That sold you for $135. Poison is sold to Jamie Butler for $135. There's a lot of people still have that on their checklist of records they need for their collection for sure. Let me get this back in the sleeve here. And uh, I'll go grab another new auction in just a second. LA Guns, the last I checked, was still getting bids. LA Guns, Brian Thurman was at 160. Matthew Copas, you're out. And Matthew Copas said he was out. And then Daryl Royal wants a Wasp Peddler's Children, and so does Matt Shepard. And then Carlene Rollins wants a Taylor Swift. There's two Taylor Swifts left. LA Guns is now final call for 160. Let's go ahead and get this thing rolling. A 1970, I repeat, a 1970 German pressing. A 1970 German pressing of Black Sabbath's debut album. A gatefold. A 1970 German pressing on Vertigo. Say what? 1970. Overall, VG Plus, almost an EX. It's not bad. $75 start. 1970 German Vertigo on that very desirable collectible label. Black Sabbath's debut album. Laminate jacket, gatefold, $75 start. That's now a forbid. That's a grail for a lot of people. LA Guns is sold for $160 to Brian Thurman. Brian Thurman, you get LA Guns for $160. That is sold. I don't know how many people see that album, and when I say it's some kind of foreign or any kind of copy, they'll say, is it on the Vertigo Swirl? One of the more collectible labels I can think of. Let's get another auction going. Let's go ahead and do Great White. A lot of people waiting on this one. We got some heavy hitters tonight. A 1991 U.S. retail copy. A 1991 U.S. retail copy. You tell re U.S. retail copy. Sorry, I'm getting my words inverted there. With the original sleeve. The cover and the original sleeve have some damage. The vinyl is about VG+. So the vinyl's VG+. The inner sleeve is damaged. It got wet. And it looks like at one time the jacket got wet. It's just kind of made it like this textured. Color-wise, it hasn't affected it too much, but you can tell where it did get wet at some point. $65 start on Great White. $65 start on Great White. Now, while we got two new auctions, we can really roll through this bin now. We left off by saying uh, we sold two wasps, Daryl Royal, Matt Shepard, and then Sean Schaefer got a wasp. Sean Schaefer was the last person to get a watch there. A wasp there, not a watch. And then Black Sabbath had an opening bid of 80, and then 90, and then 75, and then 75, and then 99, and then 100. And I'm going to keep swirling. And the next record is Eminem, the Slim Shady LP. Slim Shady. I don't know if there was a waiting list or not for this. Slim Shady. There was. Freddie Villarreal. Freddie Villarreal on Eminem Slim Shady. I have another one over here already set aside. This is sold to Freddie Villarreal, and I've got one extra copy. That's sold to Derek Zarzaro. If anybody else wants one, I'll have to put you on a waiting list. Next two is The Pretty Reckless, Going to Hell, $29.99. Let's see if there was a waiting list for this. We've been selling a ton of these lately. Pretty Reckless, no waiting list for Pretty Reckless. That is the 2014 sophomore album featuring number one, main more, uh, number one Billboard mainstream rock singles, Heaven Owns. Effed Up World and Follow Me Down, Craft Records, Okay, sorry about that. That's my mic's dead. It lasted about seven hours from yesterday's stream, but now I'm back. Bob Seeger is new and sealed $36.99. That's where I left off. Now, back up at the top, way back up at the top, Scott Jokumstaller was at $125 on Black Sabbath, and then the Great White was at $75 of Tony Wade. And then there's all my sound comments. 
Lots of sound, lots of sound, lots of sound, lots of sound. Bob Seeger, $36.99. Skid Row, $44.99, subhuman race. I ordered this because we was talking about it the other night. We had an original Skid Row, and I was like, I don't think this has ever been reissued. And then I remember I had them at one time. I looked it up, and I could still get them. Blue and black, marbled vinyl, Skid Row, subhuman race, 2LP, new and sealed, Skid Row is $44.99. Hiram's out on Black Sabbath. We have a final call on Black Sabbath, the 1970 German pressing, 1970 German pressing on the Vertigo label, an original German pressing, gatefold. There's the jacket, 125 final call. And in case my mic went out and you didn't hear me, Tony Wade has Great White, an original 1991 U.S. retail copy. Tony Wade had that for 75 Now, when I got down to the bottom, we have Jerry Rowe, uh, let's see here, Black Sabbath 130, Jerry Stone on Bob Seger, Not Moves, and Pretty Reckless. That's sold to Jerry Stone and Jerry Stone, and Paul Brothers wants a skid row. Four skid rows left. Slim Shady is $39.99, Edward. We have Iron Maiden, Somewhere in Time, $33.99, new and sealed. I love this artwork. Iron Maiden is $33.99, Somewhere in Time. And Pussifer, Global Probing, live from Prescott, Arizona, 2LP, Metallic Silver Vinyl, Pussifer, Global Probing, $49.99. Black Sabbath at $150, and A Perfect Circle, this is Mer de Noms. And let me look this up, Perfect Circle. There may be a waiting list for this one. Mer de Noms, and that's Mercy Slayer. Mitch T, Perfect Circle, Mer de Noms. Mitch T was on a waiting list. I've got two extra copies. These are $46.99. $46.99. Black Sabbath had a new bid for $150. Derek Zarzaro wants the Pussifer. Skid Row is Subhuman Race, 2LP, $44.99. Black Sabbath is at $155. No one else bid on Great White, right? Let me go check that one more time. Great White had that last bid with Tony Wade for $75. Let me get down to the bottom. Tony Wade, $75. Tony Wade, it's yours for $75. That is Great White. That was called Hooked. Did have that little bit of cover damage, but surprised I didn't make bring more. Always difficult to run across that. We're going to do some of the big stuff around 8 o'clock. So if you're waiting for some of those big, big ones, they're coming up in just a second. Mike Brangle wants a perfect circle. One copy left of Mer de Noms. This is a 1970 German pressing, an original German pressing on the Vertigo label. 1970, or I should say a 1970 German pressing on Vertigo. 1970 on Vertigo, 1970 on that white Vertigo label. All right, let's go back to the bin and let's pull out something new. Let's go ahead and do Creator, Out of the Dark. Creator is a 1988 German import, white label text, which is one of the variants, EX condition, $25 start. This is Creator, Out of the Dark, a 1988 German pressing. Creator has the white label text. It has the original on her sleeve, EX on the vinyl, very, very nice jacket with hop sticker. $25 start on that. $25 start on that. Now, there's our next auctions. Creator. Okay, now, uh, let's keep going through this bin. Tesla, five-man London jam, $46.99. Two LPs, that is on colored vinyl. Tesla is $46.99. Poison, open up and say, ah. Oh. By the way, everything in here is new and sealed. This is a bin of new and sealed vinyl. Poison is $33.99. Open up and say all. Please make sure you've liked the YouTube video and the Facebook post. Got a restock of Corrosion of Conformity. Deliverance, the 1994 classic album. Long got a print. 2LP. COC is $39.99. And another Iron Maiden restock, Number of the Beast, $33.99. Let me check the waiting list. I don't think there was any Iron Maiden. I don't think we had any waiting list for Iron Maidens. We do for puzzles. Puzzles and puzzles, which some of those did come in today. We got two full crates of puzzles to go through as well. That's $33.99. Iron Maiden, if anybody wants that. Alex C. Lowe wants the corrosion of conformity. Anna Ventura wants poison. That's sold and sold. Are we done on Black Sabbath? I'm moving it to a final call. Mark Kirker, 1970 German pressing. VG Plus, almost an EX. Vertigo, gatefold. German, 1970. 155 of Mark Kirker. Final call. Creator had opening bids for 25 and 25. No one's bid since then. We have Jason Waldron wants Number of the Beast. Number of the Beast. And that's Jason uh, Winder, our new buyer for tonight. That's so to him. Black Sabbath is a VG Plus or EX. 
High bid is 155. It's somewhere in time a gatefold. Somewhere in time is not a gatefold. No. A perfect circle. This one's called emotive. It's only $33.99 for emotive. A perfect circle. There was no waiting list for this. Perfect circle emotive. All three copies are available. $33.99 for perfect circle emotive. I got three of those. $33.99. And Thin Lizzy fighting. New and sealed. Thin Lizzy. $39.99. Thin Lizzie's $39.99. And we have Elton John, Captain Fantastic, and the Brown Dirt Cowboy. Remastered from the original analog tapes, 180 gram vinyl, $36.99 for Elton John. And Skid Row, Slave to the Grind. Also a 2LP on black vinyl. This one's on black vinyl, $44.99. Skid Row, Slave to the Grind, 2LP, $44.99. Let's go back up to the top. Black Sabbath was the final call. If I get to the bottom and there's not a bid, I'm selling it to Mark Kirker for $155. And then we sold Jason Winder, Number of the Beast. And then we had Creator had a new bid for $30, and then $35, and then $31, and then $33. And then Mary Ann bid $160 on Black Sabbath. Robert Johnson wants a perfect circle. Scott Marchheim wants poison. Open up and say ah. We have William Simmons also on a perfect circle emotive. Creator has a new bid for $35. And Black Sabbath has a new bid for 160 with Marianne. Mark Kirker, you're out. Let me know if you want back in. John Smith Moyer. John Mintz Moyer is at 40 on Creator. John Mintz Moyer is at 40 on Creator. That's where we're at on that. So we're going to run through this crate very, very quickly one more time. I'm going to go ahead and get another auction started. This is an original 1970 U.S. pressing with the company inner sleeve of Dolly Parton, As Long As I Love. 1970. 1970, an original U.S. pressing. The vinyl's in VG Plus condition. Dolly Parton, as long as I love. Dolly is in VG Plus condition. It has the original Monument Company sleeve. Dolly's a $25 start. Mark Kirker's back in on Sabbath at $165. Mary Ann, you've been outbid. Creator has a high bid of $45. Here's what's left in this bin one more time. All new and sealed. NWA, straight out of Compton, $36.99. Pretty Reckless, Going to Hell, $29.99. Bob Seger, Night Moves, $36.99. Skid Row, Subhuman Race, 2LP. That is on blue and black vinyl, $44.99. Darren Wartman wants a perfect circle emotive. We are now sold out of that. If anybody else wants on a waiting list, you'll have to go on there. Black Sabbath has a new bid for $170. John Mintzmore is at $50 on Creator. Iron Maiden, Somewhere in Time, $33.99. A Perfect Circle Mer de Noms, $46.99. Scott Jokumstaller, if you wanted a Perfect Circle Emotive, I'll have to put you on a waiting list. The only one I have left is Mer de Noms, and that's the last copy as well. Tesla, Five Man London Jam, $46.99. Marianne, you're out on Black Sabbath. Mark Kirker has it for $175. Corrosion of Conformity with Clean My Wounds and Albatross, $39.99. Number of the Beast, $33.99. Thin Lizzy Fighting is $39.99. Elton John, Captain Fantastic, $36.99. I'm really surprised this is still here. This is Slave to the Grind, $44.99. Skid Row, 2LP, $44.99. Dustin's out on Creator. John Vince Moyer has that for $50. And thank you, Pass for Now and Perfect Circle. John Grace wants a Corrosion of Conformity. New bid on Black Sabbath for $180. We got three active bidders right now on Black Sabbath. Creator is a final call for 50. No one has bid on Dolly Parton for $25. An original 1970 U.S. pressing with company sleeve. No bid. Final call to get a bid in on Dolly for $25. Anybody else on anything in here? Elton John is not on colored vinyl. That is our first band of new, new stuff. I'm going to set that right here behind me. At any point tonight, you decide you want something else, just let me know. All right, we have a lot to go through, as y'all have heard me say, so I'm trying to keep it balanced. That was technically two bins of new arrivals, even though Taylor Swift took up an entire crate. But what I'm going to go ahead and do is move into some new vintage arrivals right here, right now. We got plenty, and Paul's going to be bringing up even more in just a second. So, wow, lots to go through. That's why I'm talking really, 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 really fast. Black Sabbath has a high bid of 185 with Mark Kirker. Mary Ann is out. It's between Matthew Copas and Mark Kirker. Dolly has bids for 25, 25, 27. John Miss Moyer, I don't think anybody else is going to outbid you on Creator. I'm going to go ahead and tag it to you. Jake Gould just bid $51. That was a close call. Jake Gold, $51. Also, Hank Williams is in VG Plus condition, $17.99. Hank Williams self-titled. VG Plus condition, 
That's on the Metro label. That's a Hank Williams Sr. compilation. VG Plus, $17.99. Hank Williams Jr., Born to Boogie, VG Plus, $17.99. Creator has a new bid for $25. Dolly has a new bid for $28. We have an out on Black Sabbath. Mark Kirker, the high bidder again, this time for $185. Final call. Next is Thin Lizzy, Live and Dangerous, VG Condition, 2LP, Thin Lizzy on Vertigo. Wow, $19.99. VG Condition, $19.99. And Pro Call Harem, VG Condition, $19.99. A Wider Shade of Pale. It's actually a self-titled album, but that is $19.99, Pro Call Harem. And Canned Heat, check this out. It is in VG Plus condition, $19.99. It has the, uh, that, uh, whatever that's called right there, that brand, those were originally edited out. VG Plus, $19.99, Beano or something like that. That's actually an original cover. Back up at the top. So Creator got a new bid for $55. Jake Gold, let me know if you want back in. Dolly's at $28. Joey Ham on Hank. And that was for Junior. Joey, was that for Hank and Hank Jr. or just Hank, Joey? Uh, probably Hank, just Hank Jr. He put Hank and then Jr. Let me know. You got dibs on both technically. i definitely going to go ahead and tag you for Junior. And then, Brooke, you were second. Brooke, let me know if you wanted Hank Sr. or Hank Jr. That was bad timing. Those were back-to-back. And then Marty Ellis was first on Thin Lizzy. That's so to Marty Ellis. Chris Bichak was next. Matthew Copas was third. Jonathan Greer on Canned Heat. Then Christopher Brusha. Edwin Riviera third on Thin Lizzy. Slicker Van Slyke next on Canned Heat. And we have Joey just wanted Junior. Okay. All right. So we have Gordon Lightfoot. If you could read my mind, VG Condition, $9.99 for Gordon uh, Lightfoot and Original motion picture soundtrack, Wild on the Streets. That is in VG condition, $9.99. Also, Bob Dylan, Blonde on Blonde, VG condition, $24.99 for Blonde on Blonde, a 70s pressing. Okay, i got to go through and proof all these comments, make sure I didn't miss anything. But this is now sold $185, Mark Kirker. Black Sabbath's gone. An original 1970 Vertigo pressing. That sold. It's gone See you later. Mark Kirker, congratulations. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. What an album. An important album in music history. An original German pressing. So to Mark Kirker for 185 Next is Creator. Did Jake Gold bid again, or did anybody else move on this? John said 55 I'm looking for Jake. I don't see Jake. This is sold to John Mintz Moyer for $55. John Mintz Moyer gets that for $55. That was Creator. That is sold. And now we have Dolly, an original 1970 U.S. pressing with company inner sleeve. It's in VG Plus condition. As long as I love, Dolly has a high bid now. Sherry Darnell says she's out. That's with Brian K. Thompson for $28. Brian K. Thompson for $28. That is a final call. RJ66 on Pro Call Harem. RJ66, you have to be a first-time buyer, right? If you are, thank you and welcome. I'm going to sell you the Pro Call Harem. Thank you. That's so to you. Let me show one more record. Sergeant Peppers is in VG condition, $9.99. That's the Peter Frampton Bee Gees. Now, first-time buyers, thank you and welcome. If you're watching over on YouTube, we're going to send a link to our website. If you don't mind filling out a form, if you're a first-time buyer, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. And then if you're on Facebook, just send us a message. But let me read off um, some of the titles. We have the auction. Motorhead, which I'm putting up right now. Nirvana, Iron Maiden, Iron Maiden, Metallica, 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 L.A. Guns, Pearl Jam, Alice in Chains, Alice in Chains, Tesla, Prong, Motley Crue, Great White, Great White, Tesla, Anthrax, Anthrax, Metallica, King's X, Lynch Mob, Hinder, Queensright, Quiet Riot, Racer X, Death Angel, Death Angel, Corn. Alice Cooper, Bob Dylan, Kiss, and the Rolling Stones. That's just a handful of some of the fantastic stuff that will be going up for auction tonight. Wow. And over here, I have more. I got another Black Sabbath Vertigo, an original Elvis Presley, 56 Mono, Rat, Skinner, Rat, more Black Sabbath, more rare Bob Seegers. Those are all going up for auction. First, let's do Motorhead. This one is called Orgasmatron. Motorhead Orgasmatron, a 1986 U.S. pressing with the original on the sleeve, EX condition, $35 start. An original 1986 U.S. pressing with the original on the sleeve, EX, EX Plus, very nice, original on the sleeve, $35 start. $35 start, that's Motorhead Orgasmatron. That is now up for bid, 
$35 star, an original 1986 U.S. pressing. Elvis will be auctioned in just a second. Actually, as soon as we sell Dolly, Joe Willinger came in at $30, and Richard Johnston is RJ66. Richard Johnston is R RJ66, so give that to Richard Johnston, the Pro Call Harem. All right, back up at the top, we have Motorhead 35, 40, 40, 50, 50, 50, 50. Golden Earring, Moon Tan, VG Cover, VG Vinyl, $19.99 on that. Let me make sure I didn't miss any claims. I didn't. We have Grand Funk, Plubrous Funk. Coin-shaped cover, VG condition, $24.99. There is some writing on the back. Very cool cover, though, shaped like a coin. VG, $24.99. Ozark Mountain Daredevils, VG condition, $9.99. Featuring Jackie Blue, VG condition on OMD, Ozark Mountain Daredevils. The Tubes, VG condition, $9.99 on the Tubes. And the Monkeys, Pisces, Aquarius, Capricorn, and Jones, VG condition, an original stereo copy, $9.99. Joe Willinger. Hope everybody was done bidding on Dolly because I'm selling it to you for $30. Joe Willinger, you're getting the Dolly for $30. That's so to Joe. An original 1970 U.S. pressing with company inner sleeve. 1970 Dolly. Wow. So to Joe Willinger. Let's go ahead and put up some new auctions. First thing we have here is Motorhead. That is getting a lot of bids. Richard Bradshaw was the first person to $50. Alex Celo just bid $55. Next auction is Pearl Jam. This is called Pearl Jam 10. It's an original 1994 U.S. pressing, a first press with the original under sleeve. It's a strong VG+, plus, almost an EX. Strong VG+, plus, almost an EX. This is an original Pearl Jam 10. Has the original under sleeve. What an important album in rock history. Again, we got some like iconics here. $175 start, Pearl Jam. Once, even flow, alive, why go, black, Jeremy. Whoa. Pearl Jam, $175 start, an original 1994 U.S. first pressing for the United States. First pressing for the United States. It didn't come out on vinyl in the U.S. until 1994. Uh, somebody, whoop, Jason Franz already called that. Yep. It, this is the first U.S. pressing. It came out in Europe in 1992 on vinyl. It didn't come out on vinyl in the United States till 1994 with this different cover. This is the first pressing for the United States. $175 starting bid on that one. Let's go back up to the top. Motorhead had a bid for 55 of Alex Celo, and then we have Travis Wade was first of the tubes. That's so to Travis Wade. Motorhead 65, Motorhead 75, Motorhead 85. The Monkees Michael Obrick is in VG condition. There's writing on the cover. The vinyl's VG, $9.99. Golden earring condition. VG, VG minus cover and VG vinyl, $19.99. Original unedited nude cover. Motorhead's at 90, Motorhead's 100, Motorhead's 100, Motorhead's 100, Motorhead is at 105. Albert King's Live Wire Blues Power. Albert King, Live Wire Blues Power, VG condition. $14.99. Pearl Jam is a $175 star. OG for the United States. Carol King Tapestry. VG condition $12.99. And Aerosmith Live. VG condition $14.99. Derek Zarzaro is in on Pearl Jam at $175. Let's auction another. This album, uh, we've, what we did, we did the first Black Sabbath album, which I said was a very important album in music and rock history. That was influenced uh, by, Sabbath was, you could say, probably influenced by, like, a lot of people, but uh, Ozzy claims a lot of Beatles influence in his music. But this is pretty much the first rock and roll LP. Some consider this the very first rock and roll LP. This is Elvis's debut album. Of course, before this, there was other rock and roll songs, but this is one of the first truly rock and roll LPs. And this is a 1956 mono a 1956 mono, VG condition, very hard to find these in high grade. If you have this in high grade, you truly have something very, very nice. Now, the original sleeve, the sleeve here is not an original. This is not an original on her sleeve because this don't match the other one. I think this came from that Wisconsin collection. It's something that John had found in the back. And if y'all remember that Wisconsin collection, that guy had a lot of mismatched inner sleeves. I never did understand why. It looked like he took all of his inner sleeves out and then mixed them all up because there was inner sleeves mixed up with everything. So ignore that. I'm going to go ahead and actually put it in an anti-static. 1956 mono, $75 start. 
$75 start. It's a strong VG. And these older RCA records, they always play better than the grade we assign them or the grade that they visually look. But that is in VG condition. It is a 1956 mono, $75 start. Elvis Presley, self-titled, 1956. That is now up for bid. Elvis Presley. Take a look at that. Not a bad jacket. Uh, there is a seam split at the top, but that is 1956 mono. Usually when I look these things up, it comes back like a 62 or all the reissues they did in the 70s. Very, very actually hard to find a 56. It is in VG condition. All right, let's go back to the top. I left off by saying Motorhead was at 105. Christopher Brusha first on that Albert King, and then Motorhead 125. Pearl Jam did get a bid for 175. Tony Lewis first on Carol King. Alex is out on Motorhead. Scott Dresba, you were second on Albert King. Chris Waller first on Errol Smith. Golden Earrings, 1999. James Carpenter, second on Errol Smith. Then Mark K. Then the record guy. Pearl Jam has a new bid for 190. Chris Kirkley says he's out. Elvis has bids for 75, 75, 75, 80, 85, 85, 100, 105, 110. And then we need to move Motorhead to a final call. Let's look at Motorhead one more time. Shane Devers has it for $125. It is an original 1986 U.S. pressing with the original under sleeve. Motorhead or Gasmatron, and that is a final call to Shane Devers for 125. EX, EX Plus Vinyl, very nice jacket, original on her sleeve, final call. Pearl Jam, this is an original U.S. pressing from 1994. The first pressing in the United States was in 1994. This is, got the original on her sleeve. This has the original on her sleeve. Here's the jacket, not bad, very glossy. Just minor signs of wear. And the vinyl is a strong VG+, plus, maybe an EX. And this is Pearl Jam. And the high bid is $190 to Chris Kirkley. Elvis is getting a lot of bids. Let me go back and go ahead and get back into full speed. Journey, Evolution, VG Plus Condition, $12.99. Also, Robin Trower for Earth Below. This is a band of new check condition titles, VG Plus $14.99. The Moody Blues, there's our nightly appearance. Every good boy deserves favor, VG Condition, $9.99. We also have Traffic, Low Spark of High Hill Boy, VG Condition, $9.99. Aerosmith Rocks, VG Condition, $12.99. Elvis is a 1956 mono, Deep Purple Machine Head, Great classic rock album, Machine Head, VG Condition, $14.99, Smoke on the Water, and The Kinks, Greatest Hits, VG Condition, $19.99. We have a mono with the Steamboat label, an original mono, VG, $19.99, All Day and All the Night, You Really Got Me, A Well-Respected Man, back up at the top, Elvis was at $120, $125, $125, $128, Scott Oman first on Jay for Journey, and then Jeff Parks on N. Scott Oman first on Jay for Journey, and then Jeff Parks on N. What was in, Jeff? And then Elvis Presley, 130, 130. Brian G. Owens on Errol Smith. Chris Waller, second. Corey Gaston, first on Traffic. Low Spark. Elvis, another $130 bid. Luke Rosenberger on Deep Purple. Marty Ellis was second. Peyton H., 140. Mark K., first on Kinks. C. Scheiser, next on Journey. And Elvis Presley, 140. Shane Devers, you get Motorhead or Gasmatron. That is sold to Shane Devers for $120. $5. Now, Chris Kirkley, you still remain the high bidder on Pearl Jam at $190. Kind of find that sort of surprising, but I'm going to move that to a final call. Let's go ahead. I know these records already are pretty kind of crazy, but it is 8 o'clock on the button. I couldn't time this more beautiful. Let's go ahead and bring out one of the big records for tonight. Alice in Chains, We Die Young. This is an original, 1990 white label promo this is an original 1990 white label promo we die young it ain't like that and killing yourself 1990 allison chains three track beautiful 165 dollar start 165 dollar start the vinyl is incredible 165 dollar start allison chains it does have a punch hole has the parental advisory sticker on the cover $165 start. Alice in Chains, We Die Young. That's now up for bid. I don't know how many times that's been asked about since we posted pictures from this collection, but it's almost a record. It's almost a record. Elvis is a tie. Peyton H. was first at $140. And nobody else been on Pearl Jam? 
pretty wild. That sold to Chris Kirkley. Chris Kirkley, that was that bump you did for a $190, and it sold you $190. Pearl Jam is sold. All right, so there's our two auctions. I'll leave those going for just a second, and I'm going to keep going through this bin. We still got an incredible amount of uh, new vinyl to go through as well, but there's Alice in Chains. It has opening bids, and Scott, you are late on Pearl Jam. I just sold it. We have Peter Frampton, Comes Alive, VG Condition, $14.99. We have Jeff Beck, Truth. VG Condition 999 and Rod Stewart, Every Picture Tells a Story, VG Plus 1799. Paul Bill says every Alice in Chains has a punch hole. Wow, that's good knowledge to know. So they all have punch holes. Parental uh, advisory sticker on the front, $165 bid. Only one bid with Tom Dearlove. Jonathan Greer, first on Beck. That's so to Jonathan Greer. Let's very quickly run through those one more time. We have Hank Williams. That's a compilation. Hank Williams Sr., VG Plus, $17.99. Gordon Lightfoot's VG Condition, $9.99. Wild in the Street soundtrack, VG Condition, $9.99. Bob Dylan, Blonde on Blonde. We sold a Near Men original last night for over $200. This is a 70s press with a VG vinyl and a VG cover, $24.99. Sergeant Peppers is VG Condition, $9.99. Grand Funk, E Plubris Funk, that has a coin-shaped cover, foiling, VG condition, $24.99. Ozark Mountain Daredevils is VG condition, $9.99. $9.99 with Jackie Blue. The Monkees, Pisces, Aquarius, Capricorn, Capricorn and Jones, VG, $9.99. And Golden Earring, Moontan, VG, $19.99. So back up at the top, Elvis is a VG, almost a VG+. plus. Elvis is a VG, almost a VG+, plus, 1956 mono. When I walked away, Don Nicole had bid $145. We pulled back. Allison Chain's got new bids for 166, 170, 180. David Polkey wants the Grand Funk. He pluberous funk. Allison Chain's 170. Brooks out on Elvis. Allison Chain's 200. Robin Trower was VG plus 1499. Moody Blues was VG 999. Frampton comes alive. A monster. VG 1499 and a classic Rod Stewart album. VG plus 1799. Every picture tells a story featuring Maggie May. All righty, folks. Now, what a night so far. That crate is empty. Let's go ahead and transition over to some new vinyl. First, Mike Bolton wants that Robin Trower for Earth Below. That is sold to Mike Bolton, Robin Trower for Earth Below. Let's go ahead and tag that. Let's go ahead and knock out another big pre-order. We just sold their debut album. They're still putting out music. They put out their debut album in 1992, one of the Seattle Grunge Movement's biggest bands. They have a new album coming out this Friday, Pearl Jam, Dark Matter. We have them on hand. Pearl Jam, Dark Matter. We have them on hand. Let's take a look at Pearl Jam here. Uh, let me pull up the pre-order for it. So we just sold their debut album from 1992. They've made a lot of albums since then, and they have a new album coming out Friday, and this is it right here, Pearl Jam, Dark Matter. There was a pre-order for this. Let me go ahead and start reading off names. Let's go ahead and do some final calls on some auctions. Pearl Jam. Let's see what we have here. They're $44.99. Now, whoever's watching this video, this is the last thing I didn't tag. I don't have this tagged yet, but they are $44.99. So let's make sure these all go in for $44.99. $44.99. So, Allison Chains. Where did we leave off on Elvis? The last person who bid on Elvis was Don Nicole at $145. Peyton H., are you still watching? If you're bidding, let me know. If you're done, say out, and I'm going to go ahead and sell it. Final call on Elvis Presley to Don Nicole for $145. Allison Chains got up to $205 with Marianne. $205 with Marianne, and these are $44.99. $44.99, that's Pearl Jam Dark Matter. It's on black vinyl. There was no indie exclusive. We only got black vinyl. There was no indie exclusive. Pearl Jam. First person on the pre-order was Amy Hutchings. These are $44.99. $44.99. Amy Hutchings gets one. Chris Kirkley gets one. William Simmons gets one. Scott Smith gets one. And I'm going to stop right there because this crate is officially full. So Amy, Chris, William, and Scott. That's the first four people on the pre-order. Let me set this crate right over here. Let me bring over another empty crate and start counting these out. If you want a Pearl Jam, I would claim one right now. They're $44.99. Joshua Cross also got one. We have one for James Ludwig and one for Preston Rogers. That was the next three people there. So that was Joshua Cross, James Ludwig, and Preston Rogers. Next on the pre-order was Darren Wartman and then Stacy Metternich and Brian Dismore and Josh Raglan. So Darren Wartman, Stacy Metternich, 
uh, Brian Dismore and Josh Raglan. Next person was Kara Bauer and Autumn Betts. Kara Bauer and Autumn Betts, that's the next couple right there. Let's go ahead and put these over here. Those are sold and sold. And then Mike Massey was next. Mike Massey was next. And then Matt Algram and then James Bragg and then Bill Samus. So that's the next couple there. Let's sell those four to Mike Massey, Matt Algram, James Bragg, and Bill Samus. And then we still got them on here. We got Jerry Stone. We got Greg Rogers and Scott Beebe. I may be sold out. Jerry Stone, Greg Rogers, and Scott Beebe. That was next. And let's see if Matthew DeBlue wanted one. Let's see, confusion, pig floating around. Uh, okay, I think that's it. I've got three extra copies. Looks like I got three extra copies for $44.99. Okay, so we have an out on Elvis and then an info. 1966 mono. 1966 mono. Excuse me, 1956 mono. 1956 mono. VG, VG plus. VG, VG plus. Peyton's out. I'm about to sell it as soon as I get to the bottom. Uh, I'm about to sell it as soon as I get to the bottom to Don Nicole at 145 unless somebody bids. And then Allison Chains was at 205 and then 225 and then 225. And then Mark K wants a Pearl Jam. Mark K wants a Pearl Jam. Mike Miles wants a Pearl Jam. And Jeff Helton wants a Pearl Jam. So I don't think I, don't think I said your name, did I, Jeff? Nope, that's it. So anybody else, I'll have to put you on a waiting list. Paul Brothers and Kurt Musser, I'm out of Pearl Jams. I'll have to put you on a waiting list. Paul Brothers and Kurt Musser, I will definitely be ordering more. I didn't realize I had so many pre-orders. I think people pre-ordered that a little late. I think people pre-ordered that a little late. So um, let's see here. Let's go through this bin right here. Let's go through this bin a lot here. Or a lot of people didn't see it. Maybe it just didn't pop up. I figured we'd actually sell more. Allison Chains at 230. We're at the bottom. Nobody else bid. Five, four, three, two, one. Sold to Don Nicole for $145. We have so many auctions to get to. It's only 808 though, but I am talking fast enough. We should be able to cover these in a timely fashion tonight. Let's go ahead and bring over a Tesla. And I'm going to go ahead and bring over one of these Iron Maiden records. Here we go. We have Allison Chains 230, Allison Chains 250. Black Sabbath Super Deluxe 124.99. Black Sabbath Paranoid Super Deluxe. Jerry Stone, I've got your set aside already. This is available. The Ultimate 50th Anniversary 5 LP. Paranoid, $124.99. The original album remastered, a 1974 quad mix available on vinyl for the first time. 3LP Live. It also has a Paranoid Tour book, a 40-page book. It has lots of extras. Posters, all the tchotchkes, $124.99. Sorry, Brent. I've already sold Elvis. Allison Chains is at $250. Allison Chains is at $255. Let's go ahead and put up a Tesla. Boy. An original 1991 U.S. pressing with the original inner sleeve, $75 start. This is Tesla Psychotic Supper. Haven't had one of these in a while. An original 1991 U.S. pressing, Tesla Psychotic Supper. Has the original inner sleeve in shrink wrap with hop sticker. In shrink wrap with hop sticker, top copy. Inner sleeve, OG, U.S., hop sticker, shrink wrap, all you could ask for. Opening bid, $75. Allison Chains is at $250, $255. Paul Brothers wants the Paranoid box set. That's sold to Paul Brothers. Allison Chains, $275. Tesla, $80, $85, $85. Also, Rat, the Atlantic Years, $229.99. The first ever collection of Rat studio albums. Out of the Cellar, Invasion of Your Privacy, Dancing Undercover, Reach for the Sky, Detonator, also, it has a, I thought it had a bonus LP. No, it has a 7-inch, a 16-page book, guitar pick, backstage pass, 7-inch single, poster, and sticker. $229.99 on RAT, the Atlantic Years box set. I've got two copies of Wasp, Babylon. Wasp is $29.99 for Babylon. And two copies of Iron Maiden, Seventh Son of a Seventh Son, $33.99. All right, we've already sold Black Sabbath's debut on Vertigo. How about a 1971? 1971, another solid VG Plus or better. Black Sabbath, Master of Reality, on Vertigo. $55 start, 
a solid VG+. Plus. There's the Vertigo label. $55 start. $55 start. That's Black Sabbath, Master of Reality. This has got the embossed cover. $55 start for Black Sabbath. An original Vertigo. There's another one. Now what for bid? $55 start. Let's go back up to the top and see where I left off. Allison Chains 275. Tesla had got to 100 and then 100 and then 100, then 105. Brian Thurman first on Wasp. And then Tesla another 105. And then Tesla 110. Sabbath 55. Kelly Cook first on Wasp. Black Sabbath 60. Another 60. A $75 bid. The White Album 2LP $49.99. The White Album. New, remastered, sealed. $49.99. Also, we got a restock of Megadeth, Peace Sales, But Who's Buying? This is $36.99. Megadeth, Peace Sales, But Who's Buying? $36.99. New and sealed remaster. Megadeth. And I don't have a waiting list for this, so these are all still available. The rat box, the box of rats is $229.99. Black Sabbath at $100. Mary Ann's out on Alice in Chains. Final call to Shane Deavers. The high bid is $275. We're about to sell it. First, we have Mark K. That is on the Beatles White Album. If anybody else wants one, I'll put you on a waiting list. The Jonathan Greer on Megadeth. That's so to Jonathan Greer. And we have a restock of Metallica live at Woodstock. It is a 2LP unofficial. Let me make sure there's nobody else still waiting for this. I don't think there is. Let me check Metallica. Metallica, Metallica, Metallica. No, both the copies are available. Live at Woodstock, 1994. It's a 2LP unofficial Woodstock Metallica, $39.99. Also on Megadeth is Jason Winder. I've got two copies left of Peace Sales, if anybody wants that. Allison Chains is done. That is sold to Shane Devers for $275. Thank you, Shane. That is sold to you. That has been asked about, and now it's gone. Until next time. What a great three-track. White Label promo, really, really nice. That is sold to Shane Devers. Let's put that away, and let's move these auctions down, and let's start going ahead and doing some final calls. First, Tesla. Tesla, we left off. High bid. Rob Reinhardt, $110. Rob Reinhardt, $110. Going twice, going three times. Black Sabbath. Kevin Crowell, $125. Metallica sold to Aiden, J5, John, and Freddie Villarreal. I think I'm on the Metallica waiting list. Well, we had some come in already this week. I think some came in on Monday or Tuesday, and Aaron, I've already tagged them. I actually have a list right here. Uh, yeah, Alan Montgomery, Aaron Civic, and Sean Holford. Those have already been tagged. That was some residual ones, so you've already got one, Aaron Civic. Tesla 115 and a final call on Sabbath for 125. Also, we had a waiting list for this. Motorhead, everything louder. That's a 2LP Motorhead greatest hits. Let's look this up. Motorhead. And the waiting list for everything louder was Kenny Cates Jr. It's a 2LP Motorhead greatest hits, and I got two extra copies. Let's sell that one to Kenny Cates. I have filled up a new bin, especially of all those Pearl Jam pre orders. So let me grab a new empty crate, and let's start filling up another one. We also have uh, Wasp. Here's the other Wasp. Inside the Electric Circus, $38.99. And Madman Across the Water, Elton John, $36.99. Madman Across the Water. We got 404 people watching on all three platforms right now. That's incredible. Thanks, everybody. If I could get everybody to make sure they've liked the post, liked the YouTube video, if you're watching on X, retweet, and make sure you have subscribed and followed on everything because we do this every night. We do this every night. So welcome. If you're here for the first time, this is going to be pretty wild. We have Darren Wallace. You get Motorhead. Stephen A. Young was second. And Stephen, I'm going to pull you one. So I had two copies. Let's give one to Darren Wallace and Stephen A. Young. And Tesla has a high bid of 140. Black Sabbath at 131. Yes, this is a 1971 German pressing. 1971 German pressing on Vertigo. On Vertigo. All right, Kenny Case Jr., I've already got you down for... Actually, no, I don't. Uh, I'll put you on a waiting list, Kenny, for Metallica. Wasp is $229.99. The Atlantic Years box set. Seventh Son of a Seventh Son is $33.99. Megadeth P Sales was $36. Wasp, Inside the Electric Circus, 38, and Madman Across the Water, 
This is $36.99. Madman Across the Water, $36.99. That is Rat, not Wasp. This is Rat. This is Iron Maiden. That's Megadeth. That's Wasp. And that's Elton John. Paul Brothers says he's here for the fourth year. Paul's been watching me do this almost every night for four years. Thank you, Paul. Welcome back. <laughs> Let's go through a crate of new vintage stuff. That was two crates of new, new vinyl. I've got more to go through. Whoa, Seth's here. I didn't even see you come in. Let's ask Seth if he won his ball game. Seth, did you win? No. Seth did not win his baseball game. Well, I'm sorry. All right, let's go through some new vintage stuff here. Let me take a peek at the bins. I hadn't really got to look at these yet. I just know this. Paul, John, and Tanner said there's some great records in these bins. I was like, okay, sounds good to me. Let's see what else we have in here. I'm taking a quick peek. Thanks, everybody, for joining us. Make sure you've liked those posts and done all that I said. Thank you. Let's go ahead and bring over some new vintage stuff. New vintage stuff. New vintage stuff here. Let's see what we got going on. All right. So back up to the top, I left off by saying Kenny Cates Jr. is on the Metallica Woodstock waiting list. Black Sabbath at 140. We have Tesla. Did anybody else bid on Tesla? It's moved along very quietly. Calvin Ward bid 115. Terry Watts bid 115. Calvin Ward still has it for $115. We got to sell this extremely quick. If you're a serious bidder, I would seriously bid. Calvin Ward has it for $115. He was in first. We just got a new bid on Black Sabbath with Mark Kirker for $145. Let's grab another auction. I have one right over here next to me. Iron Maiden, Fear of the Dark. It's been right here next to me. Iron Maiden is a 1993 Russian import. Wow, a Russian pressing, an official Russian pressing of Iron Maiden, Fear of the Dark. It's in VG Plus condition, solid VG Plus, and this is a $55 start, Iron Maiden, a Russian pressing, a Russian pressing, $55 start. A very solid looking VG Plus, I will say. There's one. There's both LPs. There's Iron Maiden. It's a 1993 Russian import. 1993 Russian import. Fear of the Dark. $55 start. That is sold. Alice in Chains is already sold. Black Sabbath is at 164 165 Tesla, I'm about to sell it. Well, if they're not a serious bidder. Then... They're about to lose the auction. Donna Summer, love to love you, baby. Donna Summer, $9.99. The Four Seasons, who loves you? The Four Seasons is $9.99. Outlaws play to win, $19.99. Gino Vanelli, Black Cars, Dance Mix. Gino Vanelli is $9.99. And John, there he is, a memorial album, his nightly appearance, Mr. El Presidente, $14.99. Quincy Jones, Roots, $19.99. And Johnny Guitar Watson, a real mother for you. No condition notes on that, $19.99. So I said Tesla was a final call for $115 to Calvin Ward. I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling, I'm at the bottom. No more bids. Sold to Calvin Ward for $115. A top copy of Psychotic Supper, Tesla, an original 1991 with the original on her sleeve in shrink wrap with hop sticker, sold for $115. We have Black Sabbath with a high bid with Marianne bid first at $170. Paul Brothers, you were second. Iron Maiden, somebody asked if they could see the label. It is on Gala Records Incorporated. It's an original 1993 Russian import. Actually, an official Russian. A lot of Russian records are usually bootlegs or unauthorized or counterfeits, whatever you want to call them. Iron Maiden, that is now in slot number two there. Black Sabbath was at 170, but first, up at the top, by the way, Iron Maiden had an opening bid of 70, and then Black Sabbath 165, Jackie Reynolds on Donna Summer, then Black Sabbath 170, then Black Sabbath 170, Susie next on Donna Summer, Stephen A. Young wants Gino, that's Gino Vanelli, that's so does Stephen A. Young, Kelly Bagwell third on Donna Summer, Black Sabbath 166, 175, 175, final call on Iron Maiden for 70, never mind, Forrest just bid 75, Cream, this is called Goodbye. It's their last album. No condition notes. It's a German pressing, $34.99, or UK. That was a foreign label, $34.99. This is a UK pressing. Cream, Goodbye, their last album. They only had three, $34.99. Iron Maiden's at 76. Miles Davis, Roundabout Midnight, 
$49.99. Wow, a Columbia 2i, EX condition, $49.99 for Iron Maiden, EX condition, and Johnny Cash. Now, there's a song. I wonder if this is on the early label. It's on the original first Columbia 6i label, no condition notes, $26.99. Also, Elvin Bishop, Hog Heaven. Elvin Bishop is sealed and it's never been opened for $14.99. Now, if you didn't think anything could get any crazier, how about we put up an original Nirvana 1992 Euro pressing? Nirvana had three albums. They had Bleach, Nevermind, and In Utero, and that was it. This is their last studio album, In Utero, a 1993 Euro import with the original on her sleeve, Beautiful vinyl, $145 star. So this is the Euro pressing, Nirvana in utero. Look how nice. It is a very, the vinyl is extremely nice. $145 start. It comes with the original on her sleeve. It comes with the original on her sleeve. And it has a little bit of a crackle right there. It has a little bit of a crackle right there. They also had unplugged. That's technically live. And they also had incesticide, but that's technically a compilation. Incesticide is a compilation. They really only had three studio albums, Bleach, Nevermind, and In Utero. Incesticide is technically built a compilation, but it's a great, it's a great one. It's, it's, I mean, you know, I love that first song on Incesticide. Dive, that's one of my favorites. That's one of my favorites. We have Skeeter Davis sings the end of the world. Skeeter Davis is not, boy, I've never seen that one before. Skeeter Davis sings the end of the world Beautiful RCA pressing in mono, 1999 for Skeeter Davis and Hank Williams Jr., Man of Steel. Hank Williams Jr., Man of Steel, 24.99. I don't know if I've ever seen that on the cover. Have you ever noticed that down there, like a stamp? It looks like a hand. I don't know if I've ever noticed that at the bottom. Hank Williams Jr., 24.99. I may be wrong. Back at the top, I left off by saying Black Sabbath. We had Mark Kirker bid 175, and then Paul tied him. Paul said he's out. Iron Maiden had new bids for 75, 76, 80, 80, 82, 80, 82, 97, 85. Chase Arnold first on Johnny Cash. Iron Maiden, 85. We already had a 97. Now 100. Now another 100. Nirvana has an opening bid of $225 with Patrick English. Iron Maiden, 105, 110. Matt Shepard on Hank Williams. And then Sean Reed, you were second. Black Giants. $24.99, Black Giants, Louis Armstrong, Count Basie, Miles Davis, Duke Ellington. It's a white label promo from Columbia, $24.99. Black Sabbath is now a final call, an original 1971 German pressing on Vertigo. Mark Kirker, $175, final call. Nirvana has a new bid for $235. Black Sabbath has a new bid for $180. Iron Maiden is still with Forrest Appleton at $110. Warren Zevon wanted... Dead or Alive, he did it before Bon Jovi did. In Shrink Wrap, 1999, Warren Zevon, The Fifth Dimension, Earthbound, The Fifth Dimension, $9.99 for The Fifth Dimension. Also, Lover Boy, self titled, Lover Boy, $17.99. No condition notes on anything in here. No condition notes. Dinah Ross and the Supremes, Reflections, $12.99, an original Motown record. And Rick Ocasek, Beatitude, $9.99. Rick Ocasek from the Cars, $9.99. Nirvana, $235. Black Sabbath, $180. Mark Kirker, you're out. Patrick English is back in on Nirvana for $250. Travis Wade on the Fifth Dimension. Travis Wade on the Fifth Dimension. Final call on Iron Maiden. Forrest Appleton has it for $110. It's a 1993 Russian pressing. Both discs are a solid VG+. Plus. Final call for 110 to Forrest Appleton. Three crazy auctions up right now. Kelly Cook first on Warren Zevon. That is sold to Kelly Cook. Nirvana has a new bid for 255, now 260. Bill Stewart on Rico Kasich. And we have Air Supply, $9.99. If you're a first time buyer, don't hesitate. These are auctions back here along the back. Sabbath, Iron Maiden, Nirvana. It's a Hall of Fame type night. Thursdays are usually big, big nights. You can bid on these. You don't have to be pre-registered. You don't have to have any other credentials except that you're a legitimate person and you plan on paying for them. These are buy it now. So if you want air supply, if you want to purchase that, just put air, put AS, put air supply, and that translates to me that you're making a purchase out of the bin and I'll sell it to you. We still got, counting this bin on the table, 
three more bins of new vintage to go through, counting this one, so two more after this, and we still got four more crates of new vinyl to go through, and we got two big crates of puzzle restocks. That's where we're at. So welcome. If you're here every night, if you've been here with me for years, welcome. This is Coletco Live, streaming on Facebook, YouTube, and X. Nirvana is at 265, Black Sabbath, 185, 190. Miles Davis, uh, Brad Quinn. Miles Davis was, I'll give you, we, I don't have a lot of details. John just priced it. It is on the 2i label. I think this originally came out on a 6i, but that is still a mid-late 60s label. He put no condition notes. It looks, we'll be very conservative because it's a jazz album and call it EX. $49.99, about a VG cover. Nirvana's at $270 with James Bragg. Lulu, to serve with love, $14.99. Lulu, to serve with love. And the Jeff Lorber Fusion water sign. Jeff Lorber Fusion, $19.99 on Jeff Lorber Fusion. Planet P, Planet P is $19.99 for Planet P. It's Howdy Doody time. The Howdy Doody Show, the original recording, $14.99. Also, Hank Williams Jr., Major Moves, $24.99. Let's go ahead and sell Forrest Appleton, the Iron Maiden. That is sold to Forrest Appleton for $110. Thank you, Forrest Appleton. That is sold to you for $110. Very interesting Russian pressing there. And Nirvana is now at $270 with James Bragg. We have one bidder out. Who was the other bidder? Patrick English. Uh, Patrick, uh, let me know if you want back in on Nirvana. If you're done bidding, say out. However, if you do say out, you can't bid again. But it is up to you, it looks like. And now we have an out on Black Sabbath. Mark Kirker's out. Marianne has Black Sabbath for $190. We're about to sell it. We have Matt Shepard first on Hank Williams Jr. Also, John Denver, Autograph, $9.99 for John Denver. Ty What's this say? Tyra Tribnosis Festival. Tribnosis Festival, some kind of compilation, some kind of festival, $34.99. I don't know a lot about that. Tex Ritter, Deck of Cards, that's a cool cover. Tex Ritter, $9.99. The Eagles, their self-titled debut album, $34.99, original on their sleeve. The Eagles is $34.99. And Buck D.D. Black, Mississippi Blue Mass, $34.99. Black Sabbath is officially sold. To Marianne for $190. We're about to get some more mind blowing auctions up. But first, I was just waiting for that last person to say out on Nirvana. I got to go ahead and make it a final, final call. James Bragg has that for $270. We're about to sell it. Jimi Hendrix, Rare Hendrix, $24.99 for Jimi Hendrix, Rare Hendrix. And Hank Williams Jr., 14 greatest hits, $24.99. Hank Williams Jr. is 24 or 14 greatest hits, it's $24.99. $24.99. All right, let's grab some new auctions. Let's go ahead. We had not done a Metallica yet. Let's do a Metallica and an LA Guns, and then I'm going to pull something else out over here from this other stack of non-advertised auctions we had because I believe we have a rat detonator. We do. That was not really advertised for tonight. So here's our next three on deck. Pretty wild. Can you bid through YouTube? Yes, you can bid on YouTube, uh, X, and I was informed I can stream through our software through Instagram, but it's got to be horizontal. It can't be vertical. Or it's, it's got to be vertical. It can't be horizontal. But So we, we stream vertically. So it would be a very tiny screen on Instagram, but i got to get that set up so people can at least watch and share and find out about it. Nirvana is sold to James Bragg for $290. That, or excuse me, $270. $270. 270 That's gone. A Nirvana Grail sold. James Bragg, that's gone. All right, let's go back to the top. Brooke Pageant on Hank Williams. Three new auctions. Metallica and Justice for All, an original 1988 U.S. pressing, a specialty press, both discs are EX, EX Plus, an original 1988 U.S. pressing. Very, very nice. This is Metallica and Justice for All. There's both LPs. Paul says they're both very nice. EX, EX Plus, there's those original inner sleeves. Very, very cool. Don't make me read the track listing. You know what it is. $95 start on an original 88 U.S. pressing. Not a European, not a German, not a South Korean, not a Russian, not a Brazilian, not a Belgian. This is Metallica, United States, the Stars and Stripes. L.A. Guns, an original 1988 U.S. pressing. 
Look how nice the jacket is. An original, 1988 U.S. pressing, a retail copy with the original inner sleeve. EX++, Paul says. Wow, it is nice. EX++, $65 start. Might as well go ahead and call it EX++++. Original inner sleeve, LA Guns, a U.S. retail copy. Retail, not a club, sold in stores. $65 start, Los Angeles Guns. <laughs> Never said it like that. LA Guns. Okay, if you didn't think that got any crazier, let's go ahead and do this. Rat Detonator. What in the world? An original 1990 Euro pressing. No condition notes. Nice cover. Just a generic wide inner sleeve. That's what it feels and looks like originally came with. 75. Look at the vinyl on this. Rat Detonator. Never been reissued as a standalone release. If you want a new reissue, you got to buy the entire box set. They still have yet to release this as a standalone release. Wrap is a $75 start. That will keep us busy for a while. Let's go back where I left off. Stephen Free You wants the Eagles. That's so to Stephen Free You. Metallica, 110. I'm just going to keep scrolling because that's probably got a lot of bids already. And let's get down to the bottom. We have BB and CC, the BB and CC Winans. That's $14.99. Also, Webb Pierce, $9.99. The Banjo Greats, sealed, an unopened copy, $19.99. Jim McGuinn, Dick Wiseman, Mike Siegler, Dick Rosmini, Joe Mathis. The Osley Brothers do their thing. The Osley Brothers, $12.99 for the Osley Brothers. Also, a tribute to Bob Wills. That's a promo copy, $11.99. Charlie Rich, every time you touch me, I get high, $9.99. Bill Monroe, Master of Bluegrass. Bill Monroe is $11.99. And the Rolling Stones, Tattoo You. Let's see if it's mastered by Bob or cut by Bob Lowig. It is RL on the Dead Wax. On both sides, tattoo you, start me up, $34.99. So up at the top, I had Metallica at $210, LA Guns was at $80, Rat was at $75 and $80, and then another $75, then another $75, LA Guns $90, Rat $90. What record was before Hendrix? That was Buck, D.D. Black, Mississippi Blue Mass, no condition notes, $34.99. Jimi Hendrix was called Rare Hendrix, a little bit of cover damage on the edge, $24.99, no condition notes on the vinyl. Rat 95, Rat 95, Cole Price first on Bill Monroe. Uh, Bill Monroe, Master Bluegrass, sold to Cole Price. Psychotic Supper is, we hadn't sold, no. Yeah, we already sold Psychotic Supper. Uh, Sherry Darnell next on Bill Monroe, Charles Verano third. Rat 100, Metallica out. Let's do a final call on Metallica then. Chase Arnold, $210, and Justice for All, nice copy, an original 86 U.S. pressing with inner sleeves, pretty much no condition notes. L.A. Guns is extremely nice, and the last bidder on that was Bob Riger at $90. Rat just got a new bid for $105. Last two records in here, Mar wow. Usually this thing has cover, wear, and condition notes. $49.99, a very nice copy of Marvin Gaye Live. No condition notes on that, and... ACDC, Flick of the Switch, no condition notes on this, usually is auctioned, $39.99. Flick of the Switch, ACDC, alternate current, direct current. Rats at $105. The Stones, Pete Maselli was $34.99. And we have Rat at $110. We have LA Guns at $93. Darren Wallace on ACDC. Chris Frazier second, Marianne third. Does the Rolling Stones have the original on her sleeve? It does. It does. $34.99. Rest in peace, Dickie Betts. Yes, that is true. We lost an absolute icon today. The Allman Brothers, one of their original guitarists, Dickie Betts. He played on so many classic songs. If you love the Allman Brothers, there's a good chance you've heard Dickie Betts playing a guitar. He passed away today. Rest in peace, Dickie Betts. That's a, that's a big one. We've had his signatures before on some of those signed uh, Allman Brothers albums from Dale's Pittsburgh Collections. Very, very cool. All right, so uh, LA Guns is at 100, and uh, who asked first about this? Pete Maselli, this is available if anybody wants it. We have a couple outs. We have a question about the tri-trypnosis uh, is a comp, and so, so what's the group? Give me one second. I'm just gonna read the titles that's left in here, 
I'm going to step over here also and grab a bottle of water. I'm going to step over here and do that right quick. I'm very thirsty. I've also had a monster energy drink. It's starting to wear off. I think I might go ahead and crack open another one. Right, Seth? Seth just shook his head. Okay, I'll take that as, yes, you should drink three more. Let me go ahead and mute the mic right quick. I'm going to chug some water. All right, Pete Maselli, I don't think you want the Rolling Stones, so we're going to give it to Forrest Appleton. Let's keep rolling here. Uh, the last bit I saw in L.A. Guns was Jamie Butler. Zachary P. was in first at 100. Uh, Jamie Butler, you're out. Zachary P. was in first at 100. Nobody else bid on Chase Arnold. He gets the Metallica for 210. Chase, that's so to you for 210. And then Rat is now... A final call, Marty Ellis has it for 106. L.A. Guns and Rat, that's where we're at. I'm just going to read the titles. If you want a price, let me know. The Four Seasons, The Outlaws, John Fitzgerald Kennedy, Quincy Jones Roots, Johnny Guitar Watson, Cream Goodbye, Elvin Bishop, Skeeter Davis, The Black Giants Compilation. That had Louis Armstrong, Count Basie, Miles Davis, Duke Ellington, Quincy Jones, Ramsey Lewis, Thelonious Monk. It's a 2LP compilation from Columbia. Loverboy, Dinah Ross and the Supremes, Air Supply, Miles Davis, Lou Lou, Jeff Lorber Fusion, Planet P, Howdy Duty Time, John Denver. Here's the Tripnosis Festival. Some of the artists are Dr. Explosion, Lost Impossibles, The Pacifics, The Smoke Rings, The Mockingbirds, Lost Breton, Stupid Baboons, The Unexpected, Something, The Undershaker, Lost Bugs, Sex Museum. That's just some of the artists on there. All right, Guns got a new bid for 101. Rat got a new bid for 110. Another $101 bid. Rat has another bid for 110. Another $110 bid. $102 on LA Guns. Sherry Darnell wants the Black Giants compilation. LA Guns 105. Rat 110. We have Tex Ritter, Buck DD Black, Rare Hendrix, the Tripnosis. The Tripnosis Festival was $34.99. The Tripnosis Festival, $34.99. Susie Breedlove wants Howdy Duty. That's so to Susie Breedlove. Also, we have Webb Pierce, the Banjo Greats, the Isley Brothers, a tribute to Bob Wills, Charlie Rich, and Marvin Gaye Live is still available. Fred Carnell asked about this earlier. He said he'll take it. Tripnosis Festival sold to Fred Carnell. We have How Much is Four Seasons. Also, how much was the two LP set? The two LP, LP set of what exactly? And then uh, Homeland Conspiracy, Web Press, Jimmy Press. All right, let's do this from the top first. We have how much was 2LP set? Which one exactly? Susie got Howdy Duty. Fred got that. How much was Four Seasons? That was uh, $9.99 Hobby. $9.99. Zachary's out on gun. Web Pierce. Paul's bringing two more crates of vintage stuff up here. Oh, my gosh. I'm definitely going to need a monster. Paul just brought two more crates. Homeland Conspiracy, that's $9.99. Info on Banjo Greats. Banjo Greats is sealed, $19.99. Banjo Greats is sealed, $19.99. Paul is leaving. Thank you, Paul. That is sealed. It has Jim McGuinn, Art Pottle, Dick Wiseman, Mike Seeger, Eric Weisberg. It's Banjo Greats. Sherry Darnell wants to Marvin Gaye. Price on Lulu. Also, somebody asked Price on Hendrix. First, Lulu, to serve with love, $14.99. Javi Soto said sold on four seasons. That's sold to Javi. Jimi Hendrix was $24.99. Rare Hendrix. It's a compilation. Sherry just got Marvin Gaye. Also, Rat at $125. Homeland Conspiracy said sold. And he asked about Webb Pierce. That's sold to Homeland Conspiracy. That sold. Miles Davis is $49.99. Miles Davis is $49.99. That is called Roundabout Midnight. It is on a Columbia 2i. EX Condition, $49.99. And then we have Eric James said Jimi Hendrix sold. Who was the first person to ask about it? Eric James. Eric James does get the Jimi Hendrix. That's sold. Rad has a new bid for $120. Rad has a new bid for $125. Next is Rad at $130. And LA Guns, the last bid I have on my screen, and I already seen several people say out, Jamie Butler has it for a $105 bid. $105 bid. Rat just got a new bid for $130. Banjo Greats was asked about, still available. Lulu was asked about, still available. Miles Davis was asked about three times. It's still available. 
and then anything else. It's all right here. I'm going to keep these right here behind me. If anybody decides they want anything, just let me know. They're literally right here behind me. You can go ahead and claim something now, later. Just don't do it tomorrow. If you try to do it tomorrow, I'll probably let you know. I have no idea where it is, which will probably be the truth. We're about to sell some auctions. We got plenty more new stuff to go through. Let's go ahead and take a chunk of that right now. Still three crates of... Four crates of new vinyl to go through. What? I said three earlier. Four more crates of new vinyl. And now we have four crates of vintage stuff to go through. Whoa. LA Guns has a new bid for $110. Rat still at $130 and Scott O'Man is out. Pass on Banjo Greats. What was the Lover Boy? Self-titled debut album, $17.99. Outlaws price, Michael Peveler. That one I don't know from memory. Let me check right quick. The Outlaws is $19.99. Michael Peveler playing to win. $19.99. Fred Carnell says he'll take Lulu. Let's go ahead and sell that to Fred Carnell. I don't know who asked about it. I think Pam Murray did. I'm assuming she's passing. That's old. LA Guns has a new bid for $111, now $115. I have Iron Maiden's Power Slave, $36.99. New and sealed Iron Maiden Power Slave, two available, $36.99. Blind Melon, music on vinyl pressing, a tough OG to find because it came out in 1992, has their hit song No Rain, $39.99. Stevie Ray Vaughan, In Step, music on vinyl remaster, Crossfire, $39.99. And Alice Cooper Trash, 35th Anniversary Edition, 2500 on blue and red marble vinyl. Alice Cooper's $39.99. Rat, Scott Ham's out. I think he got to Brian Thurman for $130. It's done. Rat Detonator sold. Brian Thurman, $130. Brian, that's so due. Let's get two new auctions going. All of a sudden, new bids on LA Guns, $115, $116. Darren Wallace wants Alice Cooper. I'm going to read off a bunch of titles, and then you're going to see people request what they want to go up, and I will try my best to get to some of them. Iron Maiden, Metallica, Metallica, Alice in Chains, Prong, Motley Crue, Great White, Great White, Tesla, Anthrax, Anthrax, Metallica, King's X, Lynch Mob, Hinder, Queensryche, Quiet Riot, uh, Racer X, Death Angel, Death Angel, Corn. let's do Corn. Uh, that's been asked about a bunch. And then here's Unplugged, Alice in Chains. Whoa, here we go. It is the music on vinyl pressing. It is a music on vinyl pressing from 2010. Paul says extremely clean, near mint minus, $225 start. Alice in Chains, unplugged, 180 gram, 180 gram, near mint, extremely clean, nice jacket, unplugged, 225 out of print. Hopefully it comes back into print next year. You never know of a band like Alice in Chains. Surely eventually, but who knows? 225, unplugged, 2010 music on vinyl. Either way, you can't go wrong with music on vinyl. That's always, regardless of what comes out in the future, that's always going to be a great sounding record. LA Guns is at 116. We pulled Alice Cooper. Uh, Guns is at 125. We have requests for Motley Crue, Alice in Chains, Queens Right, Quiet Right, Death Angel, Death Angel. And we have Alan, J Alan Jackson's Greatest Hits Collection, 2LP, $36.99. Alan Jackson's Greatest Hits Collection, 2LP, $36.99. Tears for Fears, Rule the World. This is a 2LP, Tears for Fears, Greatest Hits, $49.99. Otis Redding, The Dock of the Bay, 180 gram, in mono, sitting on the Dock of the Bay. Otis Redding is $33.99, $33.99. Rainbow Rising, Rainbow is $44.99. That's an import. It's a gatefold, 180 gram. Rainbow is $44.99. Haven't had that in stock for quite some time. The Ramones, Rocket to Russia, $33.99, 180 gram. Rhino Remaster, Ramones. Also, Television, Marquee Moon. Television is on Ultra Clear Vinyl. See No Evil, Venus, and Marquee Moon. Television, Tom Verlaine, $33.99. LA Guns, Paul says he's out. Let's go ahead and sell that to Jamie Butler for $126. I'm waiting for LA Guns to reissue their catalog as well. They have like reissues, but they're like re-recorded and like they're recut. It's not like original tracks, which it has to be some kind of lawsuit then with their catalog or something. That's why originals are so desirable. Jamie has that for $126. All right, so uh, Alice in Chains is a $225 starting bid. Let's put up two more auctions, but let's get caught up here first in the claims. Alan Jackson is sold to Matt Shepard. David Campbell wants Rainbow. That is sold to uh, David Campbell. 
Fred Carnell Television is $33.99. New and sealed, clear vinyl, $33.99. So there's Allison Chains, $225 starting bid. Let's put up corn. And there was a lot of people who's been asking for the uh, Death Angels. Let's do uh, Frolic first. I don't know which one they're actually waiting for, but... Oh, wow. I forgot about this thing. Check this out. I forgot this, I forgot this was in this collection. A 2014 remaster. A 2014 remaster of Korn's debut album. It's on Coke bottle clear vinyl. That's a true Coke bottle color there. That's almost like blue. That looks literally like the old 50s Coca-Cola bottles. Some of them are like clear, and they call it Coke bottle. I was like, this is, this is what I think of when Coke bottle. That's the actual color. $175 start. Paul says the cheapest for sale right now on Discogs is $499. That's the cheapest one for sale right now. Corn, the 2014 remaster. And I don't know what's up with the music on vinyl uh, pressing that I used to keep in stock. I can't get anymore. I've had it back ordered since like November. I don't know if they're out of print or what, but that is got an etching on it as well. Right here is the etching. See the etching? It's got an etching on it. 2LP, $175 start. The cheapest listed right now is $500. It is a gatefold too. Great jacket. It's a gatefold, strong gatefold jacket, parental advisory, 175. 2014 remaster. All right, we do have an opening bid of Allison Chains for uh, 225. That's going twice, going three times. Shannon Mashaka wants the Tears for Fears greatest hits. Fred Carnell wants television. Final call on Allison Chains for 225. 175 on Corn. The Clash, Combat Rock, 33.99. Should I stay or should I go? Rock the Casbah, back to back on that one, 33.99. The Rocky Horror Picture Show on Red Vinyl, 28.99. Soundtrack, Red Vinyl, 28.99. NXS Kick, Clear Vinyl, NXS Gatefold, Clear Vinyl, 1987, 33.99. And Shine Down, The Sound of Madness, also on clear vinyl, Atlantic 75th Anniversary Edition, $33.99. Corn's at $175. Allison Chains, $230. Allison Chains, $240. Corn has a new bid for $200. Edison Toledo wants the Clash. Combat Rock, that sold to Edison Toledo. Let's go ahead and get the third auction going. And this is Death Angel, Frolic Through the Park. Death Angel is a 1988 SRC pressing with the insert. It's a very solid VG Plus, $35 start. It is in VG Plus condition. It does have the insert with it. It's a 1988 SRC pressing, $35 start for Death Angel, Frolic Through the Park. That's now up for bid. Uh, Jason Winder, first on Shine Down. The Ramones is $33.99. Uh, William Lee Murray, $33.99. And we have Gin Blossoms, New Miserable Experience. Gin Blossoms is $34.99. Jason Winder said, actually, never mind on Shine Down. That's okay. That's still available if anybody wants it. The Goo Goo Dolls Greatest Hits, $29.99, featuring their hit song Iris. The Goo Goo Dolls is $29.99. $29.99. And we have Bob Seeger against the wind. A restock. There was a waiting list for this. It came, uh, we got this in, I think, last week. Been waiting for this to come in. The waiting list. There was four people on the waiting list for Bob Seeger. Stacy Brown, Sherry Darnell, Bob Riger, and Greg Rogers. Stacy Brown, Sherry Darnell, Bob Riger, and Greg Rogers. Four people on this. $29.99. So there's two, four. Those four copies are already sold. And let's go ahead and run down these auctions one more time. I left off. We had a high bid on Allison Chains for $240. And then $250. And then Corn, $215. Then I introduced Death Angel. It had bids for $40. Another new bid on Corn, $210. And then $220. Another $40 bid on Death Angel. Allison Chains, $275. Another 45 bid on Death Angel. Would you sell the Elvis insert? I'm not for sure what you're asking. Corns at 225, Death Angel 42, Allison Chains 290, Derek Zarzaro and Goo Goo Dolls, Corn 230, Allison Chains 260, Corn 250, Allison Chains 275. Two copies of Bob Seeger after I pulled the waiting list. Against the Wind, remaster. Also, her struts on there, $29.99. We have one copy of the Rolling Stones, their first album, England's Newest Hitmakers, 
$33.99. Very tough to find true originals of that. $33.99 on the Rolling Stones. I got four, five new copies in of Megadeth Rust in Peace. These are new and sealed remaster Megadeth. Let me make sure I didn't have a waiting list for Mega Death. And the waiting list, I have a waiting list for... I actually have a waiting list for... Is this Rust? This is Rust. Yeah, Rust and Peace. Hector Patino. Hector Patino on Rust and Peace. $38.99. Let's give one to Hector Patino. Darren Wallace is also... Uh, Darren, Darren Wallace is also getting one. The insert you took out of the 56 of... I left that in there. You're talking about that original inner sleeve or the inner sleeve. I left that in there. I left that in there. Yeah, that was included. Allison Chains at 300. Uh, David Schroeder wants a rust in peace. Jason Winder wants a rust in peace. And Bob Riger, did I get a Bob Seeger? Yes, you was on the waiting list. Yes, you were. Craftwork, Autobahn. Craftwork, new and sealed, $33.99. And let me pause there right quick. Allison Chains just got a new bid for $310. That's on Unplugged, the 2010 Music on Vinyl Pressing, $310. Corn just got a new bid for $300, now $305. Somebody asked what Death Angel. That's a great question. Death Angel, the high bid on Death Angel is Tony Swanson, Jamie Cre uh, Cronbull. I, I say Jamie K. Sorry, Jamie. Jamie's at $45. That is at $45. Death Angel, Frolic Through the Park, an original 1988 VG Plus vinyl, original on her sleeve, $45 is where we're at on that. All right, now, Allison Chains, 310. Corn, 305, 310 on corn. Also, Alanis Morissette. We haven't had this in stock for quite some time. Her iconic album from the 90s, Jagged Little Peel. Alanis Morissette is $33.00 and 99 cents for Alanis Morissette. These are new and sealed, $33.99 for Alanis Morissette, Jagged Little Peel. I've got five of those, and I have Rat now playing. If you don't want the box set, if you couldn't bid on Detonator, this is a compilation of rap music. It's an official, the original cuts, round and rounds on there, Wanted Man, Lay It Down, Lack of Communication, New and Sealed, $28.99. That's Rat now playing, also known as Greatest Hits. We got five copies of that in stock, $28.99. Corn was at $310. Death Angel 47. Death Angel 50. Death Angel 60. Allison Chains 320. Corn 320. Allison Chains 335. Allison Chains 340. Death Angel is at 60 with John Oliver. This is a crate of new and sealed records. Let's go through these one more time. I know I'm probably throwing a lot at y'all tonight. This is so much, so much stuff. Nine crates of new vinyl, seven crates of new vintage, a crazy auctions, one of those crazy nights. That's a song by the Eagles, isn't it? Marty Ellis on Atlantis Morissette. That's so to Marty Ellis. Death Angel's out. Let's go through this crate one more time. We have Iron Maiden, Power Slave, $36.99. Blind Melon, $39.99. Stevie Ray Vaughan, In Step, Music on Vinyl Remaster, $39.99. Alan Jackson is $36.99. Otis Redding is $33.99. That's in mono, Dock of the Bay. Surprise no one got these. Red Vinyl, Rocky Horror Picture Show, $28.99. NXS Kick is $33.99. The Ramones, Rock at the Rush is still available, $33.99. And Gin Blossoms, New Miserable Experience, Gin Blossoms is $34.99. Shine Down, Sound of Madness is on clear vinyl, $33.99. And the Goo Goo Dolls, Greatest Hits is $29.99. Alice in Chains is at $360 of Chris Kirkley. Derek's out. Corn is at $325 of Troy Schrock. That is the 2014 remaster, Coke bottle clear vinyl. The cheapest one listed on Discogs right now is $500. It does have the etching on it, beautiful condition. That's now at $325. Death Angel, we're moving it to a final call. Andy McLean, one says he's out. Jake Gold has that for $61. Final call, final call. Marty Ellis wants the Goo Goo Dolls. That is so to Marty Ellis. We also have Bob Seger against the wind, $29.99. The Rolling Stones, England's newest hit maker, $33.99. One copy again of Megadeth, $38.99. Craftwork Autobahn is $33.99. Also, Alanis Morissette is $33.99. Four copies left. I can't believe no one got a rat greatest hits. I've got all five copies left, $28.99.
All right, so let's go back up to the top. Uh, John Oliver just bid uh, 65 on Death Angel. Jake Gold, you're out. John Bulling, or John Bullig on Megadeth. John, you get the Megadeth. Corn has a new bid of 330. Paul Brothers wants a Bob against the wind. And Dustin Riviera, I'm definitely going to order more Megadeths. If you want on a waiting list, just let me know. Nobody else has bet on Alice in Chains. We got a lot more auctions to go through. Chris Kirkley has that for 360. Final call. Billy Humphrey wants a rat now playing. That's so to Billy Humphrey. Four copies left. I'm going to set this crate right here behind me. If anybody else decides you want anything in there, don't hesitate to ask. Like I've said many times already tonight, they're just right there behind me. We've got two full crates from Paul. I don't know how to keep this balanced. Let's do one tub of puzzles. That's at least some new stuff. We've got so much other stuff to go through. Let's at least go through this uh, crate of puzzles right quick. Um, first, we have King Diamond, Abigail, and there was a waiting list for this. King, These are puzzles. Let me repeat this. These are puzzles. These are puzzles. They're 500-piece puzzles. It's one of our best sellers of all time. We've been selling puzzles since 2019 here on Facebook Live. I have sold hundreds. I may be getting even close to the 1,000 mark. I don't know how many puzzles I've sold, but I've sold a lot of puzzles. I've been responsible for distributing many jigsaw puzzles into world population. Right, Seth? We've sold a lot. I don't know how many. Uh, quite a few. What was I about to do? Somebody wanted a rat, Kevin Brabble. Kevin Brabble wants rat. Let's pull that for Kevin Brabble. King Diamond Abigail is $24.99. Let's sell that to Kevin Brabble. Javi Soto says he'll take Shine Down. Let's pull that for Javi Soto. Javi Soto gets Shine Down. That's so to Javi Soto. Corn got a new bid for $340. Corn has a new bid for $350. So Abigail, King Diamond. Let's see, King Diamond. Uh, Jerry Stone. You're on a waiting list for King Diamond Abigail puzzle. Jerry Stone, I'm pulling one for Jerry Stone. If anybody else wants one, I've got one King Diamond Abigail puzzle left for $34.99. Let's go ahead and sell Chris Kirkley the Allison Chains. This is a big one. Thank you, Chris Kirkley. So do you for $360. Corn is almost at $360. Marianne has it right now for $355. Thank you, Chris Kirkley. I own a Unplugged as well, a Music on Vinyl Pressing. It sounds incredible. I haven't seen mine, though, in about a year. It's buried somewhere in my collection. I have it somewhere. I've got a sealed copy, and I have an open copy. Now, about four years ago, these were in print, and I used to have them in the bins. I remember one night, we had a whole crate of them showed up. They used to be $39.99. I used to have these in stock for $39.99. They're long out of print. I wish I still had them. I would have bought 10,000 of them because I could still be selling them. That's sold. Corn's at $355. Joe Maynard. Joe Maynard wants the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Let's give that to Joe Maynard. That was a new claim as well. Joe Maynard on Rocky Horror Picture Show. That was from the previous bin. And then Aiden wants the King Diamond Abigail Puzzle. King Diamond Abigail Puzzle. Let's sell that to Aiden. Let's sell that to Aiden. And Dustin Riviera, if you're okay, I'll put you on a waiting list. Dustin Riviera, if it's okay, I'll put you on a waiting list. Please hold your claims for the puzzles. I know y'all can see them, but hold your claims. Otherwise, it's going to get looked over or uh, it's going to get confusing. Just hold those, and hopefully you're first. Don't actually claim unless I show it. Okay, let me put a new crate here. Next is Dead Kennedys. Give me convenience or give me death. $24.99. Dead Kennedys, give me convenience or give me death. Let me see if there was a waiting list for this. Dead Kennedys. Sean Fairweather. I wonder if Sean's watching tonight. Sean Fairweather. I'll have you on a waiting list for Dead Kennedys, Sean. That's so do you, Sean Fairweather. There's one extra Dead Kennedys left if anybody wants it. Let's put Dustin Riviera on a waiting list for the King Diamond Puzzle. Death Angel just got a new bid for 66. Troy Chirac's out on corn. Final call to Marianne for $355. $355 on that. We also have Metallica. Master of Puppets. Metallica is $24.99 for Master of Puppets. This is $24.99, Master of Puppets. Let me look up the waiting list for this. Now, we also may have had some wait lists the other night. I hope there's not. If so, I'll pull them, um, ride the lightning. Nope, not for this one. But I may have some old sticky notes that hadn't been keyed in. This is $24.99 for Master of Puppets. I've got one Slayer, South of Heaven, 
And I think there's already a waiting list there. There is. Jerry Stone. Jerry Stone was already on a waiting list. That's why I also told everybody to hold their claims because some of these there's waiting lists for. Slayer is already sold to Jerry Stone. So this one sold. If anybody else wants one, let me know. I'll have to put you on a waiting list. I only have one, but there was a waiting list already. Jerry Stone. That's a perk of being on a waiting list. Whenever they come in, they're automatically sold to you. Let's sell that to Jerry Stone. Next is... Uh, Death Angel was at 66, and then Death Angel 67, Dwayne, if it's okay, I'll put you on a waiting list. Same thing with Patrick Malloy and Dustin Riviera. Eddie L. wants a Master of Puppets, and we have Megadeth, Rust in Peace. There's the puzzle to go along with everybody who got an album, Megadeth. And we have a, let me see here, Peace, Peace Sales, that's Peace Sales. Uh, let's see, Megadeth. I don't think there's a puzzle. I do have a wait list for Ron Bart on Peace Sales, and I don't think I pulled him one of those, so i got to do that right quick. No, no waiting list for this. Megadeth is $24.99. Puzzles. That's sold to Steve Coke. There's one extra. All right, let's go ahead and sell corn. This is sold to Mary Ann. Let's put up some big other new auctions. Mary Ann gets corn for $355. Thank you, Mary Ann. we still got so much more new stuff to go through. The puzzles. Selling very well, as always. That's sold to Marianne for $355. Death Angel is now moving over here. We had a bid for $66, $67, and then $68, now $70. Uh, Dwayne also gets the Megadeth puzzle. So there may be a waiting. When Jake comes up here, I'll see if he can go get the waiting list. There may be an, a waiting list from the other night on Metallica because we had more of these already come in, and then Dead Kennedys. That's the only three puzzles left in here, two Metallicas and Dead Kennedys. Give me convenience or give me death. Those are 500-piece puzzles, new and sealed, new and sealed. Death Angels at 70. Before we bring over some new stuff, let me go ahead and put up two new auctions. Let me go ahead and grab the next crate. We've been going through a lot of new vinyl. Let me go grab a crate of new vintage stuff. Let's do the next John crate, and then I'm going to bring over the crate of uh, some of the one of the crates that Paul just brought up here. Let me go through this bin right quick, make sure I have pulled out all the stuff John wanted me to set aside to auction. And wow, this is another great check condition bin. This thing will probably get wiped out. Did a trooper puzzle come in? Not yet. Not yet. Uh, Jake Gold, let me know if you want back in on Death Angel. This is a fantastic bin. I just flipped through it right quick of new check condition stuff. Okay, here's what's left in the auction bin. Iron Maiden, Metallica, Metallica, Prong, Motley Crue, Great White. Uh, let's do one of those. And then Tesla and Anthrax and Anthrax and Metallica, King's X, Lynch Mob, Hinder, Queensryche, Quiet Riot. Let's do one of those. Racer, More Death Angel, Alice Cooper, Bob Dylan, Kiss, The Rolling Stones, um, uh, Black Sabbath, Rat, Rat, and more Leonard Skinner. Next is Great White, Shot in the Dark. Great White is an original 1986 U.S. pressing. An original 1986 U.S. pressing with the insert. The vinyl's nice. EX, EX Plus, just a $35 start. Great white, shot in the dark. $35 start. There's the original insert. There's the cover. It's also nice. Just a little bit of shelf wear there on the spine. $35 start on great white. And then, I don't get this one very often, Quiet Riot, a 1988 U.S. pressing. Quiet Riot. A 1988 U.S. pressing with the original on her sleeve. Superb. Near Mint Minus. Original on her sleeve. $25 start. And the cover's in shrink wrap with hop sticker. Shrink wrap and hop sticker. $25 start on that. Jake's out on Death Angel. Let's officially tag this to John Oliver for $70. John Oliver, you get Death Angel frolic through the park. That is so to John Oliver. Thank you, John. So do you. All righty. Great White. Quiet Right. King's X, Iron Maiden Request. Trooper Puzzles, they should be here next week. There's a big restock on puzzles that just came in, so uh, my distributor just got, which they take a little bit longer to ship. Uh, no, wait a minute. Well, there is some more puzzles coming up, but I'm not going to tell you what's in there. You'll have to wait. <laughs> okay. New check condition stuff, great titles. Check condition, the condition I'll say is the grade. 389 people watching right now. Thanks for watching. Cola Freaks, Secret Prostitutes, a 2003 punk record, VG condition, $9.99. Flipside, 
Vinyl Fancy Volume 1. Flip side is in VG Plus condition, $34.99. Grease, VG condition, the original Grease soundtrack. There is some writing on the cover. Vinyls in VG condition, $9.99 on Grease. Willie Nelson's Greatest Hits, VG condition, $12.99 for Willie Nelson's Greatest Hits. Out of Our Heads, The Rolling Stones, VG condition, $24.99. Out of Our Heads, an original mono label. VG condition, VG jacket, red label mono, $24.99. And Ray Charles, an early one here, a 1962, 1962 Ray Charles, VG condition, $14.99. Plum and red label from Atlantic. Back up the top. So I left off by saying Great White was at $55. Quiet Right was at $45. Mike Massey, first on Cola. Cola Freaks, that's so to Mike Massey. Great White had a new bid for $60. Quiet Right, $45. David Tate, first on Grease. Robert Warner, first on Flipside. Jason Franz, first on Willie Nelson. We have Leslie next on Grease. Tim Jensen next on Grease. Tony Lewis next on Willie Nelson. Quiet Right, 50. Great White, another 65. Ray Charles sold to Jonathan Greer. Christopher Brush, a second. Calvin Ward, third. The Stones have the original inner sleeve. Uh, no, that's a, that's a vintage inner sleeve, but it's a capital one. I guarantee you this is from that Wisconsin collection. This guy had so many mismatched inner sleeves. I think John found a pocket of leftover Wisconsin stuff. Um, but no, that's, an, a, that's a 1960, uh, that's the, probably about the right year, but that's a capital inner sleeve. So the answer is no. VG2499, Great White still getting bids, and so is Quite Right. The Pink Panther soundtrack, an original stereo pressing from, RS, uh, from uh, RCA Victor, VG condition, $9.99. And Ruby, Honey, Are You Mad at Your Man? That's a classic bluegrass album there by the Osmond Brothers. VG Condition, $9.99. Tennessee Hound Dog, one of the songs on there. Also, Dick Dale and his Dale Tones, Checkered Flag. Dick Dale is in VG Minus Condition, Cool Hot Rod Album, $14.99. It is in VG Minus Condition, FYI. All right, let's get a new auction going. I have Up for Auction. This is not an easy album to get. One of Bob Seger's more sought-after albums, an early one. It's called Noah. Very tough to come by. It's never been reissued. And there's several Bob Seger albums, just like a lot of records. About the only way you can listen to it is if you buy a CD, um, if you want it like on a digital format. Um, a lot of them's not available from streaming. That's what I'm trying to say. A lot of Bob Seger's early stuff is not even available for streaming. This is one of those albums. It's called Noah. The vinyl is in VG condition. It is a lower to mid-grade album. It is in VG condition. $45 start, Noah, Bob Seger System. We don't get it too often. Noah by the Bob Seger System. VG condition, $45 start. Um, Great White was at $75. Quiet Right, $47. Great White, $75.80. Jared Inc. first on Pink Panther. And then uh, David Tate, then Christopher Brusha. Uh, Kelly uh, Bagwell wants the Rolling Stones. Great White 90, Great White 95, Regina next on Pink Panther. Bob Seger has a bit of 55. The Johnny Otis Show, a 1958 mono promo, VG condition, a yellow label mono promo from Capitol with a promo sticker, $24.99. So quite right, just to clarify, I have Jim Stafford at $47. Troy Chirac was already in at 50, though. Troy already had a bid in at 50, and if anybody's in higher... You might want to go ahead and bid. I got Troy at 50. Bob Seeger got that opening bid of 55. Bob's over here in the corner, if you can see him, right where my hand is. And then there's Great White. It just got a bid for 100. Next is the Mamas and Papas. VG Condition. Wow. A mono white label promo with hop sticker. With the hop sticker. Dedicated to the one I love. VG Condition, 1999. The Mamas and Papas. Dedicated to the one I love. That's the uh, album Deliver. Rod Stewart, Sing It Again, Rod, VG Condition, $12.99. It's got a die-cut whiskey glass cover. It's a compilation, has great music on it, $12.99. And Johnny Cash, Happiness Is You, VG Condition, $9.99. In mono, Columbia 2i, Cash is $9.99. And BB King in London, VG, $9.99. We'll have to give that a VG minus cover. Somebody was doing their math homework on it while they were listening to BB King, VG, $9.99. Up at the top, 
Bob Seeger still at 55. Great White had that bid for 100 and then 105. Quiet Wright got new bids for 51 and then 52. Christopher Brush is going to pick up the Mamas and Papas. James Cohorn first on the Johnny Cash. Another new bid on Quiet Wright for 55. Kenny second on Johnny Cash, then Rob Zimmer, and then John Meeks first on Rod Stewart. Quiet Wright still at 55. Chris Waller on BB King. Let's move Bob Seeger to a final call. $55, just that one bid on Noah, a VG copy. Patrick Malloy, $55. Quiet Wright's at 57. No one else has bid on Great White since Ken Crooker bid 105. Final call. Smash, VG Plus, $14.99. Uh, I believe that's the name of the artist. Smash, it's got a promo strip and a gold stamp promo. $14.99 on Smash. Nice. Leonard Skinner, second helping. Nice. Sounds of the South. Didn't even catch that. EX Condition, $59.99. Sounds of the South. That's in a MoFi sleeve. I guarantee that's from Kansas City. Last one of those we had, we auctioned big. That's now a buy now for $59.99. Leonard Skinner, Sounds of the South. Jonathan Greer says he'll take it. Christopher Brusher was second. Ken Crooker's at $115 on Great White. Listen, the mod Jamal Quintet. VG Condition, $14.99, $19.61 Mono, and Spooky Tooth, Spooky Tooth, Spooky Tooth is in VG Condition, $9.99. All right, so we had that uh, Seeger at 55 with Patrick Malloy. I'm at the bottom. I don't see any new bids. That's sold to Patrick Malloy for $55. That is sold. Quiet Riots at $115 with Ken Crooker. Quiet Riots at $115 with Ken Crooker. That's a new bid. He was at $105. Now we have a new bid with him for 115 and then Quiet Riot is at 60 with Dan Geller. 60. Dan Geller's out. Troy Chirac has it for 60. Calvin Ward, let me know if you want back in. That's where we're at on that. Next is Mean Greens Eddie Harris. Cool. It does have some cover damage. It is in VG Plus condition, 1999. Fleetwood Mac Bear Trees, VG Condition, $12.99. And Willie Nelson, Redheaded Stranger, VG Condition, $12.99. Great White still getting bids. Quiet Riot is still getting bids. Let me grab a new auction over here. I have, let's go ahead and do King's X. There was a lot of people asking for it. King's X is an original 1990 Euro pressing with the original winner sleeve. Let's put it up. No condition notes. Original winner sleeve. Beautiful. Faith, Hope, Love, King's X on Mega Force, $45 start. Very, very nice vinyl. $45 start, has the original on her sleeve, King's X, $45 start. That's an exceptionally nice copy. Very, very nice copy, King's X. Now it will be at $45 start. Great Whites, $125. Uh, I was waiting for Calvin on Quiet Right. Troy has it for 60. Final call. Jason Winder on Fleetwood Mac. Patrick Malloy on Willie Nelson. Great Whites at 130. Shot in the dark. Ken Crooker's at 130. Star Trek, three exciting new complete stories. VG Vinyl, $9.99. Journey is VG Condition, $9.99. Station to Station, David Bowie. VG Condition, $14.99. More Hot Rocks. The Rolling Stones, VG Condition, $19.99. Blue London Label, VG Condition, $19.99. And Bruce Springsteen, The River, VG Condition, $14.99. For Bruce, The River, $14.99. Up at the top, Great White was at $130. King's X got opening bids for $45.45. Curtis Marachi first on Star Trek. Great White, $135. Lazarus second on Star Trek. Matthew Benison third, Brian Thurman, Michelle Miller, Jonathan Greer first on David Bowie, then Travis Wade, C. Shezer on Journey. Are you a first-time buyer? C. Scherzer? I think I'm saying your last name right. C. Scherzer. As you can tell, I haven't said your name too many times because I'm stumbling and fumbling. That is so to C. Scherzer. If you are, confirm, and I'll give you some first-time buyer instructions. Jason Franz first on the river. Great wide, 140. And Pam Murray was second. Quiet Rod is sold. I uh, lost Calvin Ward somewhere. But this is sold to Troy Chirac for $60. Sold to Troy Chirac for $60. That is sold. It's gone. Let's update King's X and let's update Great White. Ken Crooker is still the high bid for $140 with Ken Crooker. King's X. King's X. Alex CeeLo was first to bid at $45. James, you came in second. So we're still at $45, first-time buyer. Thank you and welcome. I'm going to share very quickly our website link 
Shop Collect Co. Uh, collect, if I can uh, type, fa I'm typing too fast. <laughs> Contact, fill out that form, please. Make sure you put your YouTube handle so we know your name, but we'll probably be able to match it if your name actually is Carl Shezer. And we have that at uh, thank you and welcome. Make sure you fill out that form. $7 in limited shipping. Let me get my brain together. $7 in limited shipping. This is uh, Thursday night. We're doing this again tomorrow, Friday and Saturday. $7 in limited shipping. We have the Rolling Stones, Let It Bleed. VG condition, $14.99. The Rolling Stones, Let It Bleed. VG condition, $14.99. Blue London label. And what do we have here? A, a, a breast of soul? A breast of soul. I think no pun intended. This is in VG condition, $9.99. A breast of soul, VG $9.99. And sticks, sticks to VG condition, $9.99. I can't believe Chad didn't used, used to do this one-handed. I did. I used to walk around with my cell phone like that. I used to walk around with my cell phone like that and live stream on Facebook one-handed. And I'd be holding my phone and I would do this. <laughs> and my, my arms are still sore from that. I've never recovered. I've never recovered from that. that was, uh, that's been a while, though. I'm, I'm very glad we have this new sophisticated uh, setup we use here. Jeffrey Sapia says he'll take the Rolling Stones. Now, I'm assuming that was for Let It Bleed. Jeffrey Sapia, if not, let me know. James out on King's X. Jason Winder on Sticks. Jonathan Greer second. Rob Scheffler second. Pete Maselli next. He's out on Great White. So did Jeffrey Dunlap for 145. So King's X is really going to sell for just that one bit of $45. He said out. So final call. Alex Celo is after all the people who asked about it. Only one bid, $45. Final call. Great White is so did Jeffrey Dunlap, 145. All right, we still got some big Hall of Fame auctions. There's still some Metallicas in the bin. There's still some Lynch Mob. Don't go anywhere. I think that's why we still have so many people watching. Also, we have Marianne wanting Mean Green info. That's Eddie Harris. Mean Green is a 1966 Atlantic pressing. VG Plus condition, 1999. Eddie Harris, Mean Green, VG Plus, 1999. So, sorry, Alex. I convinced some people to bid. We're at 46, now 48. I was about to say, what in the world? Let's bring over this... Um, Man, uh, so so much more to get to. Let's go ahead and bring over another... Uh, let's do Hinder. Boy, that's something I never say. Uh, Hinder, and then let's do one of these uh, Motley Crews. Let's do one of the Motley Crews. So, oh, it's sealed. Even better. Okay, so... Uh, King's X, 46-48. Uh, Marianne said sold. Alex is back in on 50. All right, next auctions is Hinder. Take it to the limit. Hinder is a 2008 U.S. pressing with slip cover and NSFW gatefold. I'm not for sure what that stands for, but this is the only one for sale. The only one for sale on Discogs right now is $200. I was about to say, I knew this was a very scarce album. I never see Hinder albums. $65 start. $65 start. The only one for sale right now is $200. So it's in a slip case and a NSFW gatefold. Maybe Paul's watching. What is NSFW? N a Norwegian, a Norwegian street fighting woman. Gatefold. Motley Crue, Dr. Feelgood. Motley Crue is a 1989 U.S. club. It is a club copy. Sealed. Sealed. Just a couple corner breaches. $125 start. This is sealed, $125 start. Not safe for work, not suitable for work. Not Oh, so there's something nasty underneath it. Well, we got to take a look now. Must be something nasty underneath it. What's going on here? Oh, they're all nude. And, oh, wow. I see what he's talking about. Yes, there is nothing but nude women all over the jacket. That's why. Okay, moving on. We have Lionel Richie, Dancing on the Ceiling. VG Plus Condition, $9.99. That's in VG Plus Condition, $9.99. 
Also, Jethro Tull, a passion play, VG condition, $9.99. Leonard Skinner, Street Survivors, VG condition, $14.99. Paul's probably somewhere having a nice laugh about that. REO Speedwagon, high infidelity, VG condition, $9.99. Blood, sweat, and tears, wow, with hop sticker. And then, and when I die, spinning wheel, and you make me so very happy. VG condition, $12.99. And Bob Dylan, bringing it all back home. A 1965 mono, VG condition, $24.95. Bob Dylan, bringing it all back home. Where did I leave off? I left off by saying King's X got those new bids for $46 and $48, and then $50. Okay? Paul says, not safe for work. Okay, he actually commented there. Thank you, Paul. Hinder had a high bid of 75. I've never seen that abbreviation before. I, surely I'm not the only one. James Bragg, 75. Uh, Eric James says, Motley Crue, I think he's about to bid 125. And then Hinder got a new bid for 85. Jason Franz put LR, Lionel Richie, dancing on the ceiling. Motley Crue did get another bid for 125. And we have Jonathan Greer on LS. Leonard Skernard with the airbrush cover, only $14.99. That was probably a pretty good deal. That was sold to uh, J uh, Jonathan Greer. Leslie was second. Lazarus was third. That is LS, Leonard Skernard. Yeah, Leslie second, Lazarus third. Michelle Miller on REO Speedwagon. The record guy was next. We have an out on King's X. Hinder has a new bid for 80 King's X has a new bid for 55 Hinder has a bid for 100 So King's X is at $55, Hinder's at 100 and Motley Crue has that one bid. This is a sealed copy, a sealed copy of Dr. Feelgood, $125. That's the high bid. And I believe technically the first person to actually put that out there was Matthew Benison for 125 So we'll say that's Matthew's for 125 That's an 89 U.S. club. A 89 U.S. club copy. I told y'all that was a great bin of new check condition. Here's the only thing that's left. If you want a price, let me know. Ruby, the Osmond Brothers, Dick Dale, the Johnny Otis Show, Smash, the Ahmad Jamal Trio. That's a cool cover. Look at that. Ahmad Jamal Trio. Listen. Spooky Tooth, the Rolling Stones, more Hot Rocks. Great compilation. 1999, more Hot Rocks. VG condition, 1999. That's called More Hot Rocks. This is A Breast of Soul. In this album, Ike Tainer, Stankin' Black from Ike's Grammy nominee album, Black Man's Soul. Oh, well, this, my bad. This was actually, well, is this a compilation? It looks like an Ike and Tina Turner album. I really don't know. It's a compilation. I, I, I don't really know on that one. VG999, Jethro Tull, Blood, Sweat, and Tears, and Bob Dylan. That's the only thing left in there. I left off by saying King's X was at 55. Hinder got a new bid for 125. Motley Crue got a new bid for 130. King's X is at 56. Hinder is still at 130 with, uh, no, 125 with Shane Devers. And Donald Kennedy wants BS. Breast of Soul, is that right? BS, is there any other BS in here? BS, I guess that's it. Donald, if that's what you want, it's now yours. All three auctions just got new bids. If anybody wants anything out of those bins, out of that bin, it's right here behind me. They're all still available. All right, we still got a lot of ground to cover, folks. Still three full bins of new vinyl to go through, P plus Paul's crates. And John has another crate over there, too. Yes, you heard me correctly. There's still three crates of new vintage, three crates of new, uh, new, and the puzzles. Motley Crue, 135. Hinder, keep in mind, the only one for sale right now is $200. 130. Hinder, 135. Hinder, 150. How much was Bob Dylan? Bob Dylan was a 1965 mono, VG condition, $24.99. $24.99, 65 mono. I can't put up any new auctions because we already got three going. Here's some new vinyl. Motley Crue, excuse me, Motley Hatchet, Motley Hatchet Jukebox Saloon, and there was a waiting list for this. Molly Hatchet. The waiting list was George Mound, Robert Phillippe, and Jackie Ray. George Mound, Robert Phillippe, and Jackie Ray. Three people was on a waiting list. It is on orange vinyl. I've got one extra copy of 
Molly Hatchet Jukebox Saloon. I got one extra copy. I have two copies of Winger. This is on emerald green colored vinyl. It's on green vinyl. Winger is $44.99. $44.99. Let's put Lazarus on a Trooper, Iron Maiden Trooper waiting list puzzle. Those actually hadn't come in yet, but I'll put you on a waiting list. And we have, earlier we had Rat now playing, like their greatest hits. This is Dokken now playing, a Dokken greatest hits. $28.99 for Dokken. And Blackberry Smoke, the Southern Ground Session, that's on orange vinyl. Blackberry Smoke. Let's see who was on a waiting list for this. Blackberry Smoke. Uh, the waiting list for Blackberry Smoke was... I don't have a waiting list. Yes, I do. Southern Ground Sessions. Larry Drish. I thought I did. Larry Drish on Blackberry Smoke Southern Ground Sessions. Let's go ahead and pull one for Larry Drish. If anybody else wants one, let me know. I'm also going ahead and starting a new crate. This one has got quite full. Let me set that off to the side. Let me bring a new empty one here. So that's so to Larry Drish. And we left off by saying Hinder 150, 155, 160 out on King's X. Hinder 170, 175, 200. William Lee Murray on Winger. That's so to William Lee Murray. Uh, Kevin Brabble wants a docking. This is, no, this is the actual greatest hits. This is not that re-recorded one. This is the real deal here. This is the real recorded, that's the real the real recordings, the original. Uh, how much was Blackberry Smoke? $28.99. So we definitely need to update these other end caps here. King's X is an original 1990 Euro pressing with the original sleeve. It's a really nice copy. The last bid was Alex Celo at $56. Alex Celo at $56. He's about to get it. Final call. And then down here on this other end cap is an original Motley Crue club copy, 1989. An original club copy. The last bid that came in was Matthew Benison at 135. If anybody else wants to bid, please do now. If you're done bidding and you have been bidding, please say out so I know. 135, final call. Marty Ellis takes Dawkins' greatest hits. Hinders at $250 of James Bragg. I got a restock of the 13-4 Elevators. Bull of the Woods, and this is on white vinyl. 13 floor elevators. This is on white vinyl, and Sean Reed was on a waiting list. It is a very tough OG to find. It's on white vinyl. Their 1969 final, the fuzzed out psychedelic with the electric jug. White vinyl. They have that very unique sound, 13 floor elevators. Two copies left, $33.99. Somebody was on a waiting list. There's two extra copies, 13 floor elevators. Haven't had this in a while. Damn Yankees. $44.99. Uh, I think it's on colored vinyl. I can't remember, though. It's a Friday music. Usually all Friday music pressings are, but that's $44.99. It's a gatefold. Damn Yankees. Haven't had that in a while. $44.99. $44.99. All right, Hinder is at $250, $260, $300, $305. Ann wants a 13-4 elevators. Dan Geller wants Damn Yankees. King's X is sold to Alex Celo. Alex, this is sold to you for that winning bid of $56. Now we're done. Stacy says it is colored vinyl. Thank you, Stacy. I think that's the same one that came in uh, a while back that Stacy wanted. So that is sold, $56, and nobody else bid on the sealed Motley Crew. It's done, and I think that was Matthew Benson, right? Matthew Benison for $135, sealed Motley Crew. I figured that would bring a little bit more, as popular as sealed albums are going for right now. But that's done. 135, Motley Crue. Hinders at $350 of James Bragg. $350. Let's grab two new auctions before we get too deep into this bin. I'll give you some more interesting material here. Let's go ahead and put up a Anthrax and a Metallica. Wow. Master of Puppets. Which version do we have here? We have an original U.S. pressing of Metallica, Master of Puppets. A 1986 U.S. specialty press, solid EX condition, solid EX condition, $125 star, a specialty press, EX125. It has the original inner sleeve, very nice jacket, battery, master of puppets, welcome home sanatorium, disposable heroes, you know the drill, $125 on master and we have Anthrax, State of Euphoria. Anthrax is an original 1988 U.S. pressing with the original inner sleeve. There is no foil sticker, unfortunately, but it is nice. An original 88 U.S. 
beautiful vinyl, near mint minus. It's been cleaned, MoFi inner sleeve. There's the original inner sleeve. The covers and shrink wrap, direct metal mastering, hop sticker, shrink wrap, anthrax, $55 start. All right, Dan Geller got a damn Yankees. Kevin Brabble also gets a Yankees. Hinder had bids for $350, $355, $400. Metallica's at $135. And we have Chris Ledoux, Wyoming Cowboy. Wyoming Cowboy, a collection. Chris Ledoux is the greatest hits, $34.99. I got three copies available. Oh, boy. I had, this is back in stock. I had 10 copies on back order. They only sent me four. Megadeth, The World Needs a Hero. Haven't had this in like a year and a half, maybe two years. I've only got four copies. Maybe they'll keep it in print for a while. We'll probably definitely have a waiting list if anybody wants on one. Although there are four copies available for sale right now. This is called Megadeth, The World Needs a Hero. The classic album back on vinyl for the first time in 18 years. Haven't had that in stock in quite some time. 2LP, Megadeth, $38.99. Haven't had that in a while, a good while. Um, by the way, Metallica, the last thing I said was at $135. Anthrax got opening bids. Anthrax got opening bids, uh, $55, then $75. Hinder got another bump, $405. Anthrax 65, Metallica 140, Hinder 420, Sean Druin first on Megadeth, Shane Devers was second, Steve Koch was next. Those three are sold. Also, Metallica 145, we have Bob Riger getting a Megadeth. Now we'll officially start a waiting list. Like I said, I had 10 on back order. They only sent me four. That tells me they're back in stock, and hopefully I'll be getting more soon. So if you want to go on that waiting list, whenever they come in, they're immediately tagged to you. Bob Riger gets the first, the last one. Edwin Riviera first on the waiting list. Scott Marchime second. Metallica has a new bid for 150. Marty Ellis also on the Megadeth list. Metallica 175. Metallica 160. Metallica 160. And Kevin Jordan also on Megadeth. We have an out on Hinder. Hinder is a final call for $420 of James Bragg. Final call on Hinder. James Bragg, $420. Aaron Civic also on Megadeth waiting list. I would recommend getting on there. That's a tough one to get. I'm going to order a bunch of them. Hopefully they come in very soon. Anthrax, we're still at that high bid with David Schroeder for $75. $75 with David Schroeder. Aaron Civic also on Megadeth waiting list. Metallica has a high bid of $180. I would like to purchase the three great white LPs, please. I commented earlier. Nick Leber, those are going to be up for auction. We've already sold two of them. One sold for, I forgot what they brought. They're already sold. Those are auction records. You can't just hop on and say you like to buy something. You have to kind of wait for it to come up for sale or you have to bid on it. Auctions like those or records like those are going to be auctioned. When we start at 7, they're auctioned sometime between 7 and whenever. They're up for auction. So you just have to wait for them to come up for auction. They are very, very desirable records. They've already sold at auction for. Uh, they've already sold at auction back here. I, I, was, I would tell you the price, but they're already gone. Metallica is at 190, and Anthrax has a new bid for 78. Cinderella live at the Key Club. Cinderella is 33.99. That's on marble, purple splatter vinyl. 33.99. So the way we do things, the big ticket stuff is auction, like Great White and Metallica and Anthrax and Iron Maidens. Those are auctioned. These are bot nows. You'll never see a great white record in a bot now crate. Those are out of print. They've never been reissued. They're always, always auctioned. Uh, Shane wants Chris Ledoux. That's so to Shane Devers. Metallica is at 200. Anthrax is at 80. James Bragg gets Hinder. This is so to James Bragg. Thank you, James. As always, so to James for $420. Now let's put away this nudie. Let's put away this dirty cover. Let me put it back in the slip case. Not suitable for work. I now know why. Let me put this away over here. I promise I'm not looking at it. Not that there's anything wrong with that, as they say on Seinfeld. <laughs> Let's put away Hinder. And we'll introduce a new auction in just a second. All right, so Metallica's moving over here in slot one. Peter Pulisino, an original 1986 U.S. pressing. Anthrax is at 80. Cinderella's live. I've sold a butt ton of those whatever equivalent that is. Poison, Flesh and Blood. We sold an original earlier. 
This is on translucent sea glass green vinyl. Poison, $33.99. White Lion, When the Children Cry, Demos and Rarities, Purple Marbled Vinyl, White Lion, When the Children Cry, $29.99. I've got two of those. Eric Clapton, Unplugged, $44.99. Eric Clapton, Unplugged, $44.99. Let's go ahead and get a third auction started. Death Angel. Death Angel is an original, 1990, U.S. U.S. pressing with the original inner sleeve. Death Angel Act 3. Beautiful vinyl. It is EX Plus. Look how nice. EX Plus. So no condition notes, pretty much. Paul's being conservative. You might as well call it near mint minus. We'll call it EX Plus, though. Original inner sleeve. There's the jacket. Also beautiful. Great colors on this. Gold stamp promo with hop sticker. $55 start. $55 start. Let's go back up to the top. Uh, Metallica is at $210. Uh, we have Shannon Mashaka first on Poison. Scott Marchime, if it's okay, I'll put you on a waiting list. Billy Humphrey on Cinderella. That's so to Billy Humphrey. Javi Soto on White Line. John Cassidy on White Line. Death Angels at 60. Let's update these auctions. Peter Pulisino has Metallica. Final call, 210. Anthrax is at 80 with David Schroeder. Final call. Jake Gold has the opening bid of Death Angel at 60. Another white line. Fight to Survive on Splatter Vinyl. I think this was their debut release. White line. 2LP gatefold on Splatter Vinyl. White line is $33.99. And I have Testament live at the Dynamo Open Air, $26.99. I'm pretty sure this is on colored vinyl. And I'm also pretty sure I had a waiting list. Testament. Scott Brackney was on a waiting list. Scott Brackney on a waiting list. $26.99. Sell that to Scott Brackney. Lazarus wants a white line. I'm going to mute my mic right quick so I can take a drink of water. I desperately need it. All right. We're back. We have... Outfield, play deep. Josie's on a vacation far away, $39.99. Chicken Shack, $39.99. 40 blue fingers, freshly packed and ready to serve. This is Early Blues with Christine McVie from Fleetwood Mac. And there was a waiting list for Chicken Shack. Chicken Shack is a waiting list for Lillian McCurry. Lily McCurry on that waiting list. So there's one extra copy. It's limited, numbered, colored vinyl, $39.99. Condition of Master Puppets. Eddie, I was just about to sell it to Peter. It is EX condition. It has the original on her sleeve. It's a VG Plus jacket. Just a little bit of stress creases right there. A solid EX Plus for what it is. It's a 210. If you want a bid, two, more than 210, please do. If not, say pass, and I'm selling it to Peter, unless somebody else bids. Anthrax, nobody else bid on Anthrax. So did David Schroeder for $80. Anthrax is done. Another top copy in shrink wrap. That is sold. We have a new bid on Metallica. Chase Arnold has bid $211. So actually, not even by the person who asked about it, but we have a new bid, $211. Master Puppets is at $215. Death Angel, Trifon G has it for $65. Jake Gold, you're outbid. Let me know if you want back in. We have Vince Laino, Vince Laino and Chris Ledoux. Vince, thank you. If you're a first-time buyer, thank you and welcome. Make sure you contact our Facebook page. We need your email address and your mailing address. $7 in limited shipping. That's for anything else you buy tonight, anything else you buy tomorrow and Saturday. Thank you. Scott Marchime wants on the Poison Flesh and Blood waiting list. You got it. Motorhead self-titled, new and sealed, foil cover, $29.99. Motorhead, back-to-back -back Motorhead, self-titled and 1916, that's $34.99. Another white line, Main Attraction, limited edition, 1500 on silver vinyl, numbered on the back, music on vinyl, number 194, $39.99. And Buddy Guy and Junior Wells, live in Montreux, $29.99. Buddy Guy and Junior Wells, live in Montreux, Coke bottle, green vinyl, 400 copies made, there was a waiting list for that. There was a waiting list for that. Let me look it up right quick. Buddy Guy. Also, if you was on a waiting list for the Aussie or Dolly Funkos, 
Those did come in yesterday. We have those lists. I'm going to show them again officially tomorrow, tag the waiting list. I don't know what Tanner's done with them, but we got the rest of those that case in, so we have plenty of them. Buddy Guy, the waiting list was Hallbrook CM. Hallbrook CM on Buddy Guy. By the way, Death Angel had a new bid for 66. Brian Thurman wants white line. That's so to Brian Thurman. Now, we've stalled again on Master of Puppets. Now we got two new people out, Chase Arnold and Peter Pulisino. Eddie L. has it for 215. Who's going to make the next move? We also had a new bid on Death Angel for 66. Trefon, you're out on that. Final call. Let me know. We still got a lot of auctions. Might have to move these pretty fast. If no one bids pretty soon, we've got to move through these pretty fast. I'm going to go ahead and be getting the third auction started, which is going to be um, Lynch Mob. Boy, we never get this. And the music on vinyl, the Friday music pressings are expensive. Lynch Mob, Wicked Sensation. Lynch Mob is a 1990 UK Euro import. Paul says it looks unplayed. Wow, it does. I mean, incredible looking vinyl. Lynch Mob, Wicked Sensation, $45 start. Lynch Mob, Wicked Sensation, $45 start on that. A 1990 UK Euro looks unplayed. All right, we have a new bid on Death Angel for 68. Still no one said anything on Master of Puppets. I'm about to sell it. I'm going to recap this bin one more time. Molly Hatchet, Jukebox Saloon, Orange Vinyl, $29.99. Winger, Green Vinyl, $44.99. Blackberry Smoke, The Southern Ground Sessions, Orange Vinyl, $28.99. 13 Four Elevators, White Vinyl, Bull of the Woods, $33.99. Damn Yankees, $44.99. Two copies left. Chris Ledoux, a collection. Last copy, $34.99. Death Angel, Trafon's a 68. Jake Gold, you're back out. Chad, what's the other white line? The other one was called, uh, well, we sold out of a couple. Uh, no, there's one left. Fight to Survive. Fight to Survive is on Splatter Vinyl, $33.99. Lynch Mob, 60, 50, 45, 50, 45. Derek Zarzaro wants a Rocky Horror Picture Show. That was the last one left from the previous bin. If anybody else wants one of those, just let me know. It's on Red Vinyl, Rocky Horror Picture Show. Lynch Mob, uh, 55. Hiram Aponte wants on the Megadeth wait list. Derek Zarzaro on CL for Chris Ledoux. Lynch Mob, 75. Lynch Mob, 60. Lynch Mob, 57. Lynch Mob, 60. Out on Metallica. Never did hear back from Chase Arnold. I've definitely got to sell this. This one moved along slowly but surely. Eddie L., you get it for $215. 1986 U.S. Specialty Press. Sold. Another original Master of Puppets. Gone. Eddie L., $215. Sold. We have Death Angel. Did we get a new bid on that? It's also moving along at snail pace, but we're getting there. We had a new bid with Jake Gold for $66. Trefon bid $68. I'm looking in my feed for Jake Gold. Jake Gold, let me know if you're still with me. We have Lynch Mob, Wicked Sensation. Last bid on Lynch Mob, I saw was $75. Javi Soto said he'll take White Line. If anybody wants on a waiting list, it's $33.99. That's sold to Javi Soto. Lynch Mob, $80, $85, $100, 90 White Line was $33. Jake's back in on Death Angel at 69. Lynch Mob is at 110. We're still bidding on Death Angel, and Lynch Mob is warming up. Eric Clapton Unplugged, $44.99. Testament Live, Dynamo Open Air, 1997. Testament Live, $26.99. Outfield, Play Deep, Limited, Numbered, Colored Vinyl, $39.99. Chicken Shack, a blues album there, Christine McVie, $39.99. Motorhead Self-Titled, Motorhead 1916. 29 for self-titled, 1916-34. Buddy Guy, live in Montreux, blue uh, coat bottle, green vinyl, 29.99. Death Angel. Now we're waiting for Trefon. You're back out. Jake has it for 69. Lynch Bob's at 125. Damn Yankees is 44.99. Vince, Vince Laino, 44.99. Anybody new watching, if you want to jump in on the activity, don't hesitate. Don't hesitate. We have got a lot more stuff to go through. I think we started with nine crates of new vinyl. I've got two more left. We got some Paul crates. We got some John crates. And I'm going to go ahead and knock out the next crate of puzzles right quick. Tom Byrne first is getting the both Motorhead albums. So both of those to Tom Byrne. That's self-titled and 1916. And Vince Lino also wants the Damn Yankees. 
All right, thank you. And thank you, thank you to anybody new watching tonight. Thank you for those that watch every night. We're moving along pretty good now. We got some great auctions. I'm about to sell Death Angel. We're getting a bid about every four minutes. So I've got to sell it very fast. I like it when we get a bid about every 10 seconds. And then everybody says out and we can sell it and move on. First, we have some new puzzles. Don't comment until I show it. Just hold your comments. First one right here, Death Angel. Just got a new bid for $70 with Trafon. Now it has a new bid for $72. Trafon, you're back out. Lynch Mobs at $135 of Troy Chirac. Troy has this for $135, a 1990. Paul says it pretty much looks unplayed. Here's the next puzzle. It's a Megadeth puzzle. Is Jake still here? I need to give him the bring of those waiting lists. Jake's working late tonight. Megadeth, he's in the back doing alphabetical order. He's been putting records in alphabetical order, I think, since like 5 o'clock. Yep, I see him back there doing it, it looks like. He's doing something. He's grabbing. He, I, he's walking up here. Now I need him to grab those waiting lists. He's tagging. He's watching the sale. Puzzle. Let's see here. Puzzle. Jake, I'm glad you're up here. Can you grab the waiting list from the previous shows? There should just be a sticky note next to the iPad where y'all watch. All right, puzzles. Let's see here. Iron Maiden, Slayer. There's Jerry Stone. I don't think... And sorry, I'm trying to pull up. I'm trying to filter just the word puzzle here because we got a lot of waiting lists now on puzzles. All right, Megadeth is $24.99. These are all three available from what I'm seeing. Megadeth, peace sales, but who's buying? $24.99. $24.99. Lynch Mob was at $135. Uh, Death Angel, $77.2. Trifon's out. That's so to Jake Gold for $72. Lynch Mob's the final call for $135 then. Troy has that for $135. We're about to sell it. Death Angel is sold. We got that one done, and that for $72. Thank you, Jake. The coveted sticky note waiting list. That's what I'm looking for. I'm about to sell that. We got a new bid for $140 with Mike Locke. We also have Live After Death, and I'm pretty sure there was a waiting list for this one. Iron Maiden, Live After Death, $24.99. Iron Maiden, Live After Death. Boy, I felt the warm air just roll through there. It's hot outside. Live After Death, Jerry Stone. Jerry Stone, I had you on a waiting list for this. Live After Death. And so let's pull one for Jerry Stone, and I have two extras here. I have two extras. Forrest Appleton wants one, and Lazarus wants one. Those are sold. I got Judas Priest Painkiller, which I'm pretty sure there was a waiting list for that. Judas Priest Painkiller. Let's see here. Puzzle. Judas Priest Painkiller. We have Iron Maiden, Number of the Beast, Metallica, Ride the Lightning, Elton John, Captain Fantastic, Iron Maiden, No Pray for the Dying. Nope. This is available. Judas Priest is $29.99. Let's put Scott Marchheim on the Iron Maiden Life After Death. And there was a waiting list for Elton John, Captain Fantastic. Elton John, Captain Fantastic. There's been some people waiting for this. There is two people, Henry's Choice and Kelly Bagwell. Henry's Choice and Kelly Bagwell. That is uh, sold to Henry's Choice. And let's tag one to Kelly Bagwell. That crate is officially full, especially with those puzzles in there. It fills up quickly. And this one's also sold. Was the Lynch Mob of U.S. Press? It's a 1990 UK Euro import. Looks unplayed. We have a final call to Mike Lock at 140. Scott Marchheim on the live Iron Maiden After Death. How much was the last Bark of the Moon reissue? We have one copy, 34.99 on Aussie. 34.99. We do get rush puzzles, but I haven't had any in a while. The only thing left in there is Mega Death. Peace sells, but who's buying? 24.99 and Judas Priest Painkiller. That's the puzzles left in there. $24.99 on those. And we have Dead Kennedys and Metallica Master of Puppets from the previous one. Let me look through. Uh, let me look through his sticky notes right quick. Iron Maiden, Brave New World, Night Ranger Live in Japan, Days to Confuse Volume 2, Days to Confuse Volume 1, Sleep Token Sundowning. I've got that right there for Kyle Gregory, Stevie Ray Vaughan Unofficial, Collective Soul Seven Year Itch, Pink Floyd Dark Side of the Moon. Chris Cornell Patience, lots of people on that one. Johnny Cash American Recordings, and ACDC Got Blood if you want it. Okay, so there's no waiting list for puzzles. That gives me a that gives me reassurance. All right, let's go through one of Paul's crates he brought up here. We still got two full crates of stuff over here Paul's brought up. Let's go through that, and uh, let's see what we have in here. Let's see what we have in here. I'm very curious myself. Let's go through them. Paul's, Paul's brought up two new ones here. And Forrest Appleton on Captain Fantastic. Make sure this goes in for $34.99. That is Forrest Appleton, or excuse me, that is Matthew Benison on Dark Side of the Moon. Bark at the Moon. Bark at the Moon, $34.99 for Matthew Benison. Forrest Appleton on Elton John. 
Captain Fantastic. All right, let's kick this up into a new gear. Lynch Mob is officially sold for $140 to Mike Locke. That sold to Mike Locke for $140. Let's get up three new auctions, and let's keep this show rolling. We got new vintage stuff to go through. We got new auctions, and we still got two crates of new vinyl to go through. So let's go through Paul's crate very quickly. I'll bring over more new vinyl, but first, we've got Black Sabbath, Rat, Skinner, Iron Maiden, Metallica, Prong, Great White, Tesla, Anthrax, More Metallica, Queens Rock, Racer X, Alice Cooper, Bob Dylan, Kiss, The Stones. So let's do the Iron Maiden, and let's do the uh, let's do the Queens Rock, Iron Maiden, and Queens Rock. Let's do that right now. So we have Iron Maiden. This is No Prayer for the Dying, a 1990 Euro with the original on her sleeve. This is in VG Plus condition, a very solid VG Plus. We've graded these pretty conservatively, as we usually do for the higher-end auctions. Just a $45 start. It has the original inner sleeve. It has the original inner sleeve, a 1990 Euro, $45 start. 1990, Iron Maiden, No Prayer for the Dying. That's now up for bid. And then we got Queens Rock. Queens Rock is a 1994, 1994 U.S. original with the original on her sleeve. This one's basically no condition notes. EX Plus, EX Plus is nice, very nice. Original inner sleeve, $75 start, $75 start on that. Let's see what Paul's got. There's bound to be some odd and unusual stuff in here. Highway Men. Highway Men is a 1986 U.S. country rock EP, $9.99. I do not have any Ice Nine Kills. No, but I need to order some. Wizards Convention, a 1976 Canadian import. That's a rock album. Uh, Wizards Convention, $14.99. Mark Wirtz, Hot House Smiles, a 1973 U.S., $14.99. No condition notes on that. Mark Wirtz. Hot House Smiles, $14.99. Iron Maiden has an opening bid of $45 of Forest. Queens Rock has bids for $75.85. Jackie Reynolds wants Wizards Convention. That's so to Jackie Reynolds. The Mothers of Invention, Child's Play, a 1988 live unofficial from Frank Zappa and the Mothers of Invention, a live unofficial, $34.99. Also, we have the Coffin Daggers, Monsters from the ID. A 2011 Surf, Sock, and Punk album, sealed, $74.99. Christopher Brusha, first on Mothers of Invention. Satan's Pilgrims, a 1999 U.S. Surf Garage, possibly on red vinyl. We don't know because it's sealed, $39.99. Great White Caps, a 2012 U.S. Surf album, sealed, $14.99. I can't believe it, but we're making Iron Maiden a final call for just one bid, for forty-five dollars, a nineteen ninety pressing, and Queens Rock is now a final call to Calvin Ward for eighty-five. Jason Winder, if you're still bidding, please bid again or say out. Fred Cardinal on SP for Satan's Pilgrims. That's so to Fred Cardinal. Lost Waves, the ba the Bade, the Braid Bows Four. That is sealed, nineteen ninety-nine, a two thousand eighteen Italian Surf. Also, we have Stunt Rock Sorcery. Original soundtrack from the motion picture. That's a 2000 Italian reissue on black vinyl and a picture disc. It's on black vinyl and a picture disc, $29.99. This is an original Iron Maiden, an original 1990 Euro pressing. Yes. Yes. High bid, new bids. We got new bids. 50, 46, uh, 55, 55, 60. Queens of the Stone Age, 90. Ryan Anderson wants Stunt Rock. Iron Maiden's at 65. Queens Rock's at 90. Keith Levine. A 1986 U.S. Punk Dub Experimental EP, Keith Levine, $14.99. Naked Lunch, uh, Things Grow. Naked Lunch is a 1988 Australian import alternate rock on green vinyl, $14.99. Craig Thomas wants Keith Levine, sold to Craig Thomas. The Flaming Sideburns, Hallelujah Rockarola, a 2001 Denmark import garage album, $39.99. The Gods Hate Kansas, The Batfish Boys, a 1985 UK New Wave Goth Rock, $16.99. Wilmer X, V-I-L-D, In Spelled Live, a 1986 Swedish import alternate rock blues album, $14.99. Blues, Belzy, Belize, Othidion, Belusia. <laughs> A 1989 Polish blues compilation, $11.99. Iron Maiden, 
Iron Maiden, the last thing I said was 55 and 60. Queens Rock had a bit of 90. Iron Maiden 65. Queens Rock 100. Iron Maiden 70. Iron Maiden 75. Queens Rock 110. Uh, Travis Wade on God's Hate Kansas. Iron Maiden 80. Chris Flynn on Sorcery. Was that for the Sorcery soundtrack? Yeah, we've already sold that. And then Iron Maiden 85. New high bid on Queens Rock is 110. Jim Burns, Burning. That's a 1981 Canadian import R&B. 1199 for Jim Burns. Also, Pop O Peace. Pop O Pies. Pop O Pies. That's a 1981 U.S. punk EP. $29.99 for Pump O Pies. The Big Itch, Volume 7. Sealed. That's a garage comp. A garage comp. Sealed. Unopened. $34.99. Rumble. Quebec. Quebec Garage Beat Compilation, 66-67, an unofficial Canadian garage comp, $39.99. Robert Warner wants Popo Pies. This is so to uh, Robert Warner. Uh, is Queens Rock done? Chad Duggan has the high bid for $110. $19.90 US with the original on her sleeve. Uh, no uh, condition notes on the vinyl, essentially. EX Plus, solid VG Plus jacket. There's a little bit of a stress crease there on the cover. That's about it. Final call, 110. We have Root Boy Slim, Sex Change Band, $14.99. Root Boy Slim, Sex Change Band. And the Coffin Daggers, Aggravating Rhythms. That's a 2016 U.S. pressing on green vinyl. That's a punk surf record, $29.99. Doesn't look like we're done on Iron Maiden, though. We have bids for $95, $100, $100, and $105. Let's... What? Let's dig them up. The count game. Let's dig them up. The count game. That's a 2000 Italian import garage comp sealed. $34.99. And psychotic turn. What's that say? Psychotic turnbuckles. Psychotic turnbuckles. Lunar chick. And that is a 1989 Australian garage 12 inch four track. $16.99. Fred Carnell wants coffin daggers. I'm going to go pull the next auctions. When I come back, I'm selling Queens Rock to Chad. Doesn't look like there's no more bids on that. Somebody has requested Anthrax, and I'm going to go ahead and pull this other Tesla album. Still got some great stuff to auction. Still got so much new vintage stuff to go through as well, and we still got plenty of new vinyl. All right. Queens Rock sold Chad Duggan $110. Calvin did say he's out. That's sold to Chad Duggan. Queens Rock Promised Land. Very nice copy. Sold to Chad. That is now sold. And Iron Maiden. And Iron Maiden. Uh, that has stalled all of a sudden. Two other people are word have not set out. Forrest Appleton still has it for $105. We're basically waiting for Robert Phillippe and Mary Ann. Forrest has it for $105. Next is Tesla Mechanical Resonance, a 1986 U.S. pressing with the original on the sleeve. Nice. EX Plus Condition, $35 start. EX Plus Condition, $35 start on Tesla Mechanical Resonance. It also has the original on the sleeve. It's a gold stamp promo. Nice jacket, nice inner sleeve, nice vinyl, nice record. $35 start on Tesla, an original 1986 U.S. pressing, gold stamp promo. Anthrax, Fistful of Metal. Anthrax is another original 1984 U.S. pressing, EX Plus condition. EX Plus condition, $45 start. Very, very nice. Fistful of, look how nice this one is. A 1984 U.S. on the silver Megaforce label. Nice cover. Does have a little bit of a seam crackle there. Does have a seam crackle. Other than that, nice $45 start. Iron Maiden. I'm assuming Mary Ann's out. We have an out from Robert. I'm assuming Mary Ann is too. We're about to sell it to Forrest Appleton. Let me show three more records. Polyphemus, Scrapbook of Madness, second edition, a 1993 UK Psych, limited edition colored vinyl, $29.99. The James, the Jameson Thomas album. That is a 1984, 1985 German import, Delta Blues. Boy, look at that guitar. $54.99. $54.99. Mary Ann's out. Let's sell uh, Iron Maiden to Forrest Appleton for $105. Forrest, that's sold to you for $105. Anthrax and Tesla both getting lots of initial bids here. That's sold to Forrest for $105.
Let's go ahead and show the rows of Avalanche, always there. That is a 1986 UK 12-inch goth rock, $9.99. Uh, Bopalina goes west and five others starring the, bo the bottle ups. A 1985 Swedish import surf garage record, $14.99. Tesla looks like it's at 65 with Tony Wade, and it looks like Anthrax is at 55 with Steve Koch. That looks like our high bidders right now. If Travis Wade wants the Rose of Avalanche, that's so to Travis Wade. Next, it, next is The Babysitters. The Babysitters is a 1985 UK glam punk metal album, $24.99. Uh, the Beatnik Flies. This is $17.99, a 1985 U.S. Psych alternate rock album, $17.99. Bonnie Raitt, Green Light. Bonnie Raitt is $9.99. Also, Lost Straight Jackets with the world-famous Ponta Pontani Sisters and Kaiser George. This is sealed, $49.99, a 2006 U.S. Paul says it should come with a DVD, but it is sealed, $49.99. Tesla has a new bid for 70. Anthrax has a new bid for 56. Fred Carnell wants beat. That was the beatnik flies. That sold to Fred Carnell. Also, the off hooks. Off the hook. The off hooks is a 1988 UK garage album, $22.99. And we have the other side, Live at the Golden Eagle, uh, Denton, Texas, 1987. A numbered psych album from Germany, 1999. We have uh, the record guy getting the babysitters. The babysitters, that's sold to the record guy. Anthrax is at 60. All right, I'm going to go ahead and grab the next two auctions. I'm not going to put them up yet, but I have, it is the top of the hour, so I'm going to uh, welcome everybody again. Metallica's on deck, and so is uh, Racer X, and then there's another Metallica after that. we still got Great White, a Black Sabbath over here. But it is after 10 o'clock, and I'm still seeing over 300 viewers right now on both platforms, both Facebook, YouTube, and X. So that's big. I don't, I don't recall the last time after 10 o'clock we've had this many people still watching. So thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Great auction still to come. We're going through new vintage stuff. There's two more crates after this, and we still got two more crates of new vinyl after this. If you missed tonight, it's been a Hall of Fame night, amazing auction, stuff we we'll won't see again for a while. There's more to come tomorrow. We're doing it again on Saturday after that. Welcome, everybody. We have the Meters Kickback. The Meters is a 2001 U.S. Sundays compilation, sealed $39.99. Anthrax is at $60. We also have What's the One Shown in the Crate? The one shown in the crate is called The Other Side, live at the Golden Eagle, Denton, Texas. A 1998 German import psych record, numbered 1999. Jim Sadal wants the Lost Straight Jackets. That's so to Jim Sadal. Tesla's at 75. Anthrax is at 60. We have R.L. Burnside. R.L. Burnside, come on in. And this is sealed, $34.99. A 1998 U.S. pressing sealed, $34.99. Fred Carnell does want the other side. The other side. Uh, Scott Oman wants Bonnie Raitt. Anthrax is now at 60. Tesla's at 75. A case for the blues, Katmandu, Peter Green. That's pretty cool. A 1986 UK, $39.99. A case for the blues, Peter Green, Katmandu. And this says Silverhead. Silverhead is a 1973 U.S. pressing, $26.99 for Silverhead. Very interesting there. All right, let's keep on rolling. We have a new bet on Anthrax. Let's look at that one more time. It is a 1984 U.S. pressing. It's in EX Plus condition. It's on the Silver Mega Force label. The cover has a couple dings, has a couple seam crackles. But other than that, Richard Morgan has that for $60. Tesla has a new bid for $75 and now $80 with David Campbell. Now $80 with David Campbell. Uh, and then Scott, o uh, Scott Smith on PH, and I'm assuming that was for Peter Green. Uh, and then Brent Ribley was second, Thomas Ujar third, then Jeff Jetstream. Uh, Jeffrey Dunlap put RL for RL Burnside, and Donald Roser wants Silverhead. Okay, let's go ahead and do Tesla a final call. Uh, Tesla is a 1986 U.S. pressing. This was a top copy. EX Plus, no check condition notes on the vinyl, original on her sleeve, very nice cover, gold stamp promo. David Campbell has that for $80 on Tesla. And then Anthrax was at 60. That's where we're at. Uh, Jake Gould was at 62 on Anthrax. I'm not going to run through those unless maybe, let me just read the titles right quick. I have so much more to go through. Uh, we'll start from the back. If you saw something you want to see up again, just let me know. We have the Highway Men. 
That's not Waylon Willie. That's a completely different band. Uh, Mark Wirtz, the Coffin Daggers, the Great White Caps, Lost Waves, uh, Naked Lunch, Things Grow, the Flaming Sideburns, Wilmer X, Blues, uh, Jim Burns, the Big Itch, Volume 7, Rumble, a couple compilations still left, Root Boy Slim, Sex Change Band, Let's Dig Them Up, The Count Game, uh, Psychotic Turnbuckles, Polly Femus, Jameson Thomas album, Bopalina Goes West, The Off Hooks, and The Meters. Those are all still available. Is the Anthrax logo pink? This is a completely silver label. Uh, silver Mega Force with black Anthrax font. Uh, Jake Gold has that for 62. Paul Ogley wants the Naked Lunch. The Naked Lunch was $14.99. That is sold to Paul Ogley. Nobody else has been on Tesla. It's been a while. David Campbell was at 80. Tony Wade. I don't think it said out, but I've got to sell it very quickly. I'm going to keep this crate right here behind me. If anybody decides they want anything, just let me know. It's right here behind me. We still got more new vinyl to go through, which I'm going to do. Um, let's do it right now, actually. Let's go through. Probably going to go through these back to back. Go ahead and knock out the new vinyl, and we're going to go ahead and do that on the jacket. Oh, on the jacket. Uh, no, everything's red on the jacket. All red on the jacket. Lucas Peterson wants to know what was the Jim Burns. The Jim Burns. Let me see if I can find that right quick. Uh, Jim Burns. Jim Burns was a 1981 Canadian import. It's called Jim Burns Burning. $11.99. Tony Wade's out and Richard Morgan's out. Tesla is officially stole. We still got a Metallica to sell. David Campbell's at 80 on Tesla, and that was the winning bid for Mechanical Resonance. That is so. Tesla. And there's a band called Elon Musk. Is there a band? I'm sure there's a band called Albert Einstein, too. Anthrax. We have a high bid of 60 with Richard Morgan. And Jake Gold is at 62. And Richard Morgan set out. So that's a final call. Steve Cokes out on Anthrax. We're about to sell Anthrax. And Lucas Peterson says he'll take the Jim Byrne. Excellent. Let's keep rolling here. First LP in here is Iron Maiden, Fear of the Dark, $39.99. Iron Maiden, Fear of the Dark, Iron Maiden. Let me check all my wait list for Iron Maiden records. No Prayer Puzzle, uh, Live After Death. What is this? This is Fear of the Dark. I, don't, I do not have a wait list for Fear of the Dark. This is $39.99, Iron Maiden, Fear of the Dark. New LP, two, in, uh, two LP, new and sealed. Skid Row, this should be on silver colored vinyl. Skid Row, new and sealed from Friday Music, silver colored vinyl, $38.99. Anthrax is sold to Jake Gold for $62. Jake is getting that for $62. Also, a reminder about payments. Um, Ed and Tanner have been purging orders, everything from March and back. If you have an open invoice and it hadn't got a payment and we haven't got a payment from you, you might want to let us know what's going on. They've been reminding people. They have been canceling from people who are still ignoring us. And we're going to have a lot of resales tomorrow. My... My cutoff date for the first wave was tomorrow, and then I told them we'll cancel the rest of it on Saturday. So tomorrow on Saturday, we have like pretty much a whole show already, and we don't even have to mark anything new. It's all putbacks and non-payments. We'll have some of that stuff tomorrow. Phil Toretto wants Skid Row, and we have one left. Next auction is Metallica, a 1983 U.S. pressing EX condition, A3 in the dead wax. Whoa. I think the last one we had like that brought something wild. This is a 1983, a solid EX condition, kill them all, silver megaforce, OG, A3 in the dead wax. So they started with A1. This is an A3, which is probably like the third stamper from 1983. That is a $155 start. A $155 start. Metallica, kill them all. In shrink wrap, we've got it ultrasonically clean. This is an original. I should have done this one like two and a half hours ago. In shrink wrap, kill them all. A3 in the dead wax, $155 start. Metallica, hope everybody's paying attention. Debut LP, OG. Racer X, extreme volume, live. Racer X is a 1988 US pressing. Strong VG Plus, $25 start. Strong, strong VG Plus, $25 start. There's the jacket, no condition notes, $25 start. 
Let's do the back of the jacket. There's the back of the jacket. Manufactured by Megaforce Inc. Important. Records Distributors Incorporated. All rights reserved. Craze Management. Kurt Hammett, Cliff Burton, Lars Ulrich, and James Hetfield. Hit the lights. Seek and destroy. Jump in the fire. That has an opening bid of $160. All right, next is a restock of Led Zeppelin, Houses of the Holy, 180 gram Jimmy Page remaster. No quarters on here. That's all you need to know. My gracious, what a song. There's two people on a waiting list, Mike Torres and Scott Marchheim. Mike Torres and Scott Marchheim's on a waiting list. Also, don't forget about the song Remains the Same. Also, the Rain Song, Over the Hills and Far Away. The Crunch is on here. That's Led Zeppelin. $33.99, new and sealed, 180 gram, Jimmy Page remaster. Details from the meters on the last bin. Tommy Flowers, this is the meters kickback. It's 180 gram. It's a Sunday's compilation from 2001. And this is sealed, $39.99. Sealed, $39.99. The meters kickback, $39.99. Metallica's at $160. Only one bid. Is everybody awake? Is everybody awake? Metallica's at $160. Final call. Racer X is at $25. We do have a bid, $25, Luke Rosenberger. And, pardon my ignorance, but what does Aether and the Dead Wax mean? Give me one second, I'll explain. Stephen A. Young on Led Zeppelin. Tommy Flowers says he'll take the meters. I got four copies of Led Zeppelin left if anybody wants that. Wasp, Crimson Idol, $34.99. Wasp is on red vinyl. Crimson Idol, it's on red vinyl. $34.99 for Wasp. And Megadeth, Dystopia. Megadeth Dystopia is $29.99. The Dead Wax, if I'll just give you a basic beginner's guide. You may know what Dead Wax is, but I'll go ahead and just explain from the beginning. This is the Dead Wax right here. This is what we call the Dead Wax of a record. It has inscriptions right here, and when they were stamping this, it has identification markings. A3 is a digit, a two-digit series right here in the Dead Wax. For this particular record, not every record, but for this particular record, A3 and the Dead Wax... We can look at that and know exactly when this record was pressed, approximately. The very first stampers they used when they were manufacturing these in the United States, the very first stamper they used, according to Discogs, started with A1. And then after they made some, they changed out the stamper, and they would have re-etched it, A2, and then et cetera, et cetera. I've seen some like A7s for this particular one. This is A3, so this is a relatively early stamper for this uh, record. Some people look for that very first one. Those are very difficult to find. A3 on one side, the other side has A5. So there's all kinds of information in Dead Wax. You can go really down some rabbit holes looking at Dead Wax and matrix numbers. Um, but that is a lot of clues to tell us exactly when and where these records were pressed and how desirable they are. So uh, I, I'm not a scientist when it comes to, or an expert when it comes to how they actually manufacture all these records and how they manufactured back then. I know enough about it to explain it, but, you know, they cut them and they had stampers and lacquers and all this different stuff. But that's a basic rough explanation in layman's terms. We have Metallica. Did get a bid for 170 Racer X30, Racer X30, Metallica 175 Jamie French on MD for Megadeth. Tony Swanson wants a Megadeth. Another 170 on Metallica. Uh, 200 on Metallica, Racer X31, Racer X35. Elton John, Goodbye Yellow Brick Road, $46.99 for Elton John. Goodbye Yellow Brick Road, 2LP, new and sealed, $46.99. Eminem, this is like a greatest hits of Eminem's Curtains Call, $39.99. Eminem's Curtain Call, that's like his greatest hits, $39.99. Lazarus wants to know, can he put a book pack white line and get uh, Wasp instead? Uh, yes, let me figure out where that white line is. There was somebody on a waiting list, Fight to Survive. Uh, whoever was on this waiting list, I'm going to pull it out. I see the top of it right here. Luckily, I could find it. Uh, don't give this to Lazarus. There was somebody on a waiting list. Whoever was on that waiting list, I'm putting it back in a new position now. Give that to whoever was first on a waiting list. And then Eminem is sold to Amy Hutchings, and then there's another one there. So... We have uh, Wasp then is sold to Lazarus. He wants Crimson Idol. That's on red vinyl. Two copies left, $34.99. $34.99. And we have Racer X. 
Racer X. So update on these auctions. John Martinez has Racer X for $35, and Metallica's at $200 with Troy Chirac. $200 on that. If a record's been mislabeled like side one sticker on both sides, does it do anything to the value? I, not really. Uh, most of the... I, I've seen a lot of error records. Error records don't typically seem to bring a lot. Um, not like coins. You have a, an error on a coin, it makes it like worth 10 times X. But I've had a lot of misprints. and Now, misprints are different. Like if it's like Kiss or if it's like that. But for most of the time, for some kind of like mistake like that, I haven't actually seen it. Unless it's a, will, a well-known error, like the Errol Smith first jacket, the Kiss first jacket. Some of those Beatle albums have misprints. But as far as like the label being on both sides, that kind of stuff, I've never really seen that uh, increase in value much. Jailbreak, Thin Lizzy, The Boys Are Back in Town, $36.99. Fantastic album. Jailbreak, $36.99 for Thin Lizzy. Let's look up Thin Lizzy. I don't think there was a uh, waiting list. There wasn't. What a great album. $36.99. What's an A1 worth? That's a good question. I don't know. I've never had an A1 matrix. Final call on Metallica, $200 with Troy Chirac. Racer X is also final call for $35. A Perfect Circle, 13th Step. I don't think there was a waiting list for this. It's a restock of Perfect Circle, 13th Step, $39.99. Let's look it up right quick. I had one for Murder de Noms, but not for this. 13th Step is still available, $39.99. Robert Phillippe wants Thin Lizzy. I got one extra copy. Haven't had an original of that in quite some time. And here is Iron Maiden, Live After Death. Now, there's a guy that's been waiting on this for a long time. He asked me like two weeks ago if I had one. I thought I did. I didn't. His name was Rob Cox. He's a first-time buyer. Rob, I don't know if you're watching, but here's your Iron Maiden, Live After Death, 2LP, new and sealed, sold to Rob Cox, $39.99. There's one more if anybody else wants it. I can't believe it, but we're selling the Metallica to Troy Chirac for $200. All done. A3 Matrix, beautiful condition and shrink wrap, $200. We've had so many great auctions tonight. Probably should have done that one like two and a half hours ago. I think it would have brought a lot more. But Troy, thank you. That sold you for $200. And then we got Billy LeBlanc on Iron Maiden. Racer X has a new bid for $40. We're not done yet on our auctions. Everybody stay tuned. And we got a restock of Joy Division. Lay Rock Festival. Joy Division is $39.99, and it's on red vinyl. Let's go ahead and put up a new auction. I do have another Metallica, but let's do this great white. I haven't put it up yet. It's going to be a... Uh, we're going to go ahead and put two more up because great white is a $10 start. It's a 1986 U.S. promo. Great white. This is now up for bid. $10 start. Face the day. It's a 12-inch single promo. 12-inch single promo. Face the day. Double-sided. 1986. $10 start on great white. There's the LP. It's near mint minus. There's the jacket. The hop sticker has a little bit of stain. John Martinez is at 40 on Racer X. Edwin Riviera, you're out. Joy Division is the Lay Rock Festival, and there was a waiting list for this. Let's look it up right quick. Joy Division. Joy, and it was Fred Carnell. Fred Carnell was on a waiting list. It's on red vinyl. Joy Division, Lay Rock Festival, the 25th, 26th, 27th of August, 1979. That is sold to Fred Carnell. He was on a waiting list. I got three extra copies. James Cohorn wants a perfect circle. That's sold to James Cohorn, a perfect circle, 13th step. And Gray White has an opening bid of $10. Two copies of Pussifer. V is for vagina. $39.99 for Pussifer. Maynard James turned 60 years old yesterday. V is for vagina. Blue with black smoke, $39.99. We have Prong. Prong is a 1994. Here's a pretty good one. 1994 Euro with uh, an import on red vinyl with stencil. Here's the vinyl. It is beautiful. Very, very nice. 1994. $45 start. This is Prong. It includes the stencil. That's pretty cool. A stencil. You don't see that in, in a, too many records as an insert. A stencil. Prong insert stencil. Insert a stencil insert. And then here's the jacket. Has a hop sticker. Special tour edition in colored vinyl with exclusive prong stencil. Prongs up for bid $45 start. All right. I hope we were done on Racer X because I'm selling it to John Martinez for $40. Racer X is sold to John Martinez. 
for $40. Great White only got one bid for $10. That's sold to David Campbell. Great White is sold for $10 to David Campbell. All right, so Great White sold $10. Prong has an opening bid of $46. And let's run through that bin one more time. Everything in here is new and sealed. Iron Maiden, Fear of the Dark, $39.99. Skid Row, $38.99. Led Zeppelin, $33.99. I've already, uh, Tasha, the original Iron Maiden, Fear of the Dark, has already sold. Wasp, Crimson Idol, $34.99. Elton John, Goodbye Yellow Brick Road, $46.99. Eminem Curtain Call, $39.99. Jailbreak Thin Lizzy, $36.99. A Perfect Circle, 13th Step, $39.99. Joy Division, Lay Rock Festival, $39.99. And Pussifer V is for Vagina, blue with black smoke vinyl, $39.99. Prong is at $46, Prong is at $50, and Prong is at $55. Everybody's saying I have a photographic memory. Seth, my memory is better than yours, okay? Okay, Seth just laughed at that. So, Seth, congratulations. You almost made it through a full sale, but you're fired. Folks, I just fired Seth. He's gone. See you later, Seth. Don't laugh at the boss. <sighs> Metallica. We have Prong at 55. This is our next auction. I did in college, I don't think... I didn't, didn't really do much studying in high school. I don't remember ever studying for anything in high school. But for college, I, would, I could remember I was a study guide pretty good. Just read over a few times. I would retain it pretty easily. As long as I had plenty of caffeine, y'all know, a couple monsters before an exam, I'd have it all in my head. Live Legends, Metallica, The Woodstock Chronicles, live radio broadcast from Winston Farm, Sargentes, New York, 1994. The 1994 Woodstock FM broadcast, the 2021 unofficial, sealed $35 start. Sealed $35 start. Metallica, the Woodstock Chronicles. That is a sealed Metallica Woodstock unofficial, a different version. We usually have that one that we keep in stock here. That one's a little bit different. Uh, I think it's the same concert, just a different version. Prong was at 55. James Bragg bid 57. We've already sold Pearl Jam. Uh, Prong was at 60. Prong's at 66. Metallica's at 35 and now 50 and 50. And did I miss anything else in here? Uh, any other claims uh, on anything in here? Okay. Now, before we go through any more of Paul's crates or the last John crate, Let's knock out the very last bin of new vinyl. I'm trying to get all of my pre-orders and waiting lists taken care of so everybody knows what they've bought. I know it's already late, but uh, I'm trying to make sure everybody knows what they can expect on their invoice. I have one last completely full bin. And of course, earlier tonight, we already showed the new Pearl Jam album. We've already showed the new Taylor Swift album. Uh, some of the other waiting list and pre-orders, big ones have already come in. We got two auctions going right now, Prong Metallica. Both are at 75. There's two more crates of new pre-owned to go through. And then later tonight, we'll do a big recap of everything. All the pre-owned stuff. Buy it now. Best offer. We'll do new vinyl recap, and we'll do all that. We'll do all that. Y'all know the drill. We have Iron Maiden, The Final Frontier, $54.99. I've got one copy. Iron Maiden, The Final Frontier. Let's look it up. Iron Maiden. The waiting list, I have a waiting list for a puzzle. i got to delete some of this off of here. We've had so many Iron Maiden waiting lists. No waiting list for this. Final Frontier, $54.99 if anybody wants it. It's a 2LP, new and sealed. i got two copies of Almost Famous. Almost Famous is $34.99. Almost Famous is $34.99. On colored vinyl, Almost Famous soundtrack, great lineup of music, $34.99. Benton Woods, Simon and Garfunkel, The Who, Yes, Skinner, Bowie, Zeppelin's on here. Don't see me, you don't see Zeppelin on too many soundtracks. That's the way you never see Zeppelin on soundtracks. I can't believe they released the rights to that song. That's the way, almost famous. It is on colored vinyl, $34.99. And I thought this was pretty neat. Andy Warhol and Music, $33.99. 
Andy Warhol and Music. This is an eclectic journey into Andy Warhol's musical universe from which emerges the coherence of his musical taste with his pictorial production. Andy Warhol and Music, $33.99. So it has stuff, uh, Friends of the Factory, and then it has, I think, stuff that he played and listened to. It looks like it's very cool. So this is actually stuff I think he was involved in and his friends, and this is stuff like he actually listened to. So just imagine, he was listening to this stuff right here and painting the uh, Marilyn Monroe <laughs> that sells for like... Uh, fifty million dollars. So Andy Warhol music two LP gatefold thirty three ninety nine and a restock of the Rolling Stones half speed master bridges to Babylon half speed master also a very tough original to find. I sell a lot of reissues because oh geez I can't tell you the last time I had an original Stones. All these collections with these nineties records people very. Very few times that we have bridges or Voodoo Lounge or any of those tough to get Stones albums. $39.99. All right, let's go back up to the top. So Marty Ellis, I have not pulled his uh, almost famous. Jason, the Pearl Jam is a waiting list, if you're okay with that. They'll be in later. Uh, they'll either more be in tomorrow or on Monday. Marty Ellis gets almost famous. Prong got a new bid for 80. Metallica got a new bid for 80. Prong and Metallica, 100 and 100. Shane Devers is the high bidder on both. Robert Warner wants uh, Andy Warhol. That's sold to Robert Warner. Also, we got a restock of Lenny Kravitz's Greatest Hits. Lenny Kravitz's Greatest Hits, 2LP, $34.99. Are You Gonna Go My Way? Lenny Kravitz. Let's look it up right quick. Uh, James Cohorn and Debbie Blair was on a waiting list. James Cohorn and Debbie Blair on Lenny Kravitz's Greatest Hits, $34.99. What's his other big, big song? Uh, Fly Away, of course. $34.99 for Lenny Kravitz, $34.99. He also did a cover of something, too. What was his cover? American Woman. Yeah, he covered American Woman. I forgot about that. Lenny Kravitz, $34.99. So two people on a waiting list. James Cohorn. I just read off your name, didn't I, James? Uh, yeah, James, you was already on a waiting list, so I'll skip over your claim. And then is there a soundtrack for the movie Heavy Metal? That used to be in print. Michael, they did a limited edition pressing for Rocktober, and they're not available anymore. Kelly Cook wants a... Who was the other person on there? Debbie Blair. Okay, so Kelly Cook gets one. That's sold to Kelly Cook. Susie Breedlove wants a Lenny Kravitz, and those are now sold out. If anybody else wants one, we'll have to do another waiting list. All right, I think Shane Deaver's $100 bids may do it. Crystal, I went to order those Nickelbacks, and they had already sold out, so I've got them back ordered. Uh, who knows when they'll be in. They may be in next week. It may be next month, but right now, no Nickelbacks. They had already sold out. Uh, continuing, Megadeth, The Sick, The Dying, and The Dead. $34.99. Two else an album. Megadeth is $34.99. And this is one of my all-time best sellers on music on vinyl, mostly because the originals are hard to get and they're pricey. Velvet Revolver, Contraband. This is a super group. Scott Weiland's on there from Stone Temple Pilots and Slash from Guns N' Roses. $39.99 for Velvet Revolver. I've got three copies available. Dustin Riviera wants Megadeth. Let's go ahead and sell these auctions to Shane Devers. Jason Fortenrat does also want on the Pearl Jam Dark Matter waiting list. i got to get more. I, I won't even get to keep one myself. I was going to open it up tonight and listen to it. Um, no Pearl Jam for me. I sold out of all of them, even the one I was going to set aside. And Shane, you also get Metallica. All right, those are both sold to Shane for 100 and 100 100 and 100. Those are gone and gone. Uh, Curtis Marachi, if it's okay, I'll put you on a Megadeth wait list. And Amy Hutchins on Velvet Revolver. Let's sell that to Amy Hutchins. I'm going to make that the last record in that tub. That filled up very quickly. Let me grab a new empty crate here. And we have Corrosion of Conformity. Wise Blood, a 2LP $46.99 for COC. Corrosion of Conformity. Let's look that up right quick. Wise Blood, John Grace on a waiting list. John Grace on a waiting list. COC Wiseblood. Let's sell one to John Grace. Curtis Marachi's okay with the Megadeth Sick, the Dying, and the Dead waiting list. Let's get some new auctions going. Let's go ahead and put up, um, let's do Rat and uh, let's do this Rolling Stones box set. I've only had this a couple times. It's a very interesting item. But first, let's do this OG Rat. No condition notes, very nice. Invasion of your privacy. $35 start. Never can get enough wrap. The vinyl is very clean. It is a USOG. Very clean. $35 start. It includes the wrap video solicitation form. It also has the original under sleeve. 
and the very pretty cover there, Invasion of Your Privacy, $35 start on wrap. And our Rolling Stones box set is as follows. Rolling Stones box set. This is the Rolling Stones. Check out that. When I first ever seen one of these, I thought it was a bootleg or something homemade. I thought this is something some girl has made in the 70s that was a fan of the Stones. The first time I ever seen this. Then I found out it was an original deal. The Rolling Stones. It's actually from France. It's a 1978 French import, 5 LP. It has all the original inner sleeves and the insert. It has all the inner sleeves and the inserts. Paul says there's 51 tracks. 51 tracks, 5 LPs. It's a Stones compilation, like hits. Uh, I mean, everything's on here. Great compilation. Now, it came with a t-shirt, and I think they were all size small. I've only ever had one. I think this is the third one I've ever had. I've only ever had one that had the t-shirt, and it looked ragged. It looked like somebody had actually wore it to concerts, and it was stained, and it wasn't that pretty. And I think they all came size small, and it looks like it's for a, a baby. Y'all know how t-shirts fit in the 70s. A size small in the 70s, probably for France, was like a child's, I don't know what, it's weird how t-shirts have grown in size. $65 start, but look at this track listing, great. Satisf I'll hit some highlights, of course. Satisfaction, 2,000 Light Years From Home, Gimme Shelter, Jumpin' Jack Flash, Midnight Rambler, Sympathy for the Devil. Just missing the t-shirt, which I think is probably uh, in a lot of landfills or in somebody's closet right now. $65 start. Okay, let's go back to the top. I left off by saying Amy got a Velvet Revolver. We pulled the corrosion conformity waiting list. Rat had opening bids for 35, 40, 35, 35, 40, 35, 48. What uh, did you auction the King's X album? I did. It was Faith, Hope, and Love. It's already sold. Rat, 50, 55, 60. Uh, Rolling Stones has bids for 65, 70, and now 85. Okay, next is I went ahead and ordered these because, as y'all know, King Crimson's about to go on tour and do the 80s King Crimson. So I've got two copies of Discipline. It's 200 gram. 200 gram Discipline, 1981. Um, uh, Adrian Ballou, Danny Carey from Tool, uh, Tony Levin, the original bass player, and um, Steve, Steve Vai, Joe Satriani. Steve, who, which one is it? Steve Vai or Joe Satriani? I always get those guys confused. King Crimson, though, is 200 gram, $39.99. This is called Discipline, $39.99. $39.99. I get those always, I get those two guys confused for some reason. Testament, low. Testament's a music on vinyl pressing. $39.99 for Testament, low. Testament, let's look this up. There is not a waiting list for Testament, low. I've got two copies. It's a music on vinyl. Satriani's with Sammy Hagar and the Van Halen tour. Steve Vai is going to be touring with King Crimson. That's right. Thank you. Two copies of Testament, low. Thank you. And we have Winger Pool. I've always got those guys confused for some reason. Satriani and Vai. Well, they're both great guitars, so... There's a reason why. Winger Pool, music on vinyl pressing, two people was on a waiting list. David Howard and Stacy Metternich. David Howard and Stacy Metternich. This is $39.99. It's a music on vinyl pressing. David Howard and Stacy Metternich. Y'all were on waiting list. I'm going to go ahead and put those over there. And then there's Winger. That's available if anybody wants it. Now, up at the top, let's update these auctions. Mary Ann was at 70 on RAT. Marianne was at 70 on rap. Chris bid 85 on the Stones. Robert Warner bid 90. Forrest bid 90. Robert bid 100. Chris Kirkley bid 110. Robert bid 120. Aiden wants Testament for low. Aiden, John, 5, John is getting the Testament. Stones at 130. Brian Thurman was next on Testament. That's so to Brian Thurman. Rolling Stones is 135. And Alanis Morissette, Jagged Little Peel. Alanis Morissette, Jagged Little Peel, $49.99. And there was a waiting list for this. This is the acoustic version. I should mention that this is Alanis Morissette, the acoustic version. And the waiting list was James Bragg. Now, somebody else has been asking for this. Somebody else has been asking for this. And I hope they're watching because I think that 
I don't have their name down. I don't know if they were just waiting for it to come in to claim or what. But James Bragg was on a waiting list, and there's one extra if anybody else wants it. By the way, the Rolling Stones box is at 150, and Marianne thinks she outbid herself on Rat. You, uh, let's see here. You may have Marianne 60 Rat, Marianne 70 Rat. Marianne is at, we'll go ahead and say you're at 60 then. Let's make it a going once, going twice, going twice, going three times. Marianne's at 60 on rat, invasion of your privacy. Okay, $60 then. Two copies of King Crimson Beat. This one's $34.99. Great albums, by the way. These are Stephen Wilson remixes. I've went through and re-listened to them again since they announced that tour. This is Beat, $34.99. This is a 200 gram as well. Stephen Wilson remix. Let me mute my mic right quick. I think Beat is the better of the three. $34.99, King Crimson Beat. Neil and Jack and Me, Heartbeat. Yeah, those are great songs. $34.99, 200 gram. And then Iron Maiden, Dance of Death, $54.99. Iron Maiden, Dance of Death, $54.99. It's a 2LP. I get these occasionally in stock. $54.99. If anybody wants one, I've got two available. I've got two available. This is uh, Iron Maiden Dance of Death, $54.99. Uh, Aiden J. Five John wants one, and I've got one extra. Also, Bob Seeger, this is Live Bullet, a new sealed copy for $29.99. Haven't had this in stock. A new Seeger, Live Bullet, $29.99. Steve Koch also wants an Iron Maiden, Dance of Death. That's sold to Steve Koch. And I did get a restock of the Emerson, Lake, and Palmer Anthology box set. 4LP, Half Speed Master, 41 tracks, three and a half hours of music, Emerson, Lake, and Palmer box set. And there was a waiting list for Emerson, Lake, and Palmer, and that was Sherry Darnell. Sherry Darnell. Let's put Sherry Darnell down. Let's scratch her name off the waiting list. Sherry Darnell, Emerson, Lake, and Palmer, $64.99. That is a 4LP, Half Speed Master. It's on colored vinyl. It is on colored vinyl, $64.99. And then here's the other King Crimson, three of a perfect pair, $34.99. There's the other King Crimson, also a 200 gram, $34.99. All right, nobody else bid on Mary. She outbid herself, actually. Mary Ann gets wrapped for $60. That was Invasion of Your Privacy. We have a lot of bids going on on the Rolling Stones box still, but it looks like we're down to one person, Chris Kirkley, $155. The other two people set out. Final call on that. That was a crate of new vinyl. I've got two more. I can't believe it's 1040 and we still got two more crates of new vintage stuff to go through. Can you believe that, Seth? Did you bring my pizza? Ah, pizza. Okay, you're hired. Seth did bring my pizza. I was already thinking about where I was going to eat later. I've already got pizza. Seth, you're back. Welcome back. Okay, here's what's left in here. Iron Maiden, The Final Frontier, $54.99. Iron Maiden, The Final Frontier, $54.99. Almost Famous Soundtrack, 2LP, Colored Vinyl, $34.99. Andy Warhol and Music, $33.99. The Rolling Stones, Bridges to Babylon, $39.99. Still got both of them. Velvet Revolver, $39.99. Aiden Wants Final Frontier. We have The Rolling Stones, officially sold to Chris Kirkley for $155. Posters tonight. Whew. Well, we're a little bit of we're definitely a little bit of a little bit of ways. What am I trying to say? We're definitely a ways away from that. But we might want to go ahead and take a poll right now. Should we do posters? If we should do posters, comment posters. If you don't think we should do posters, say no posters. And if we say no posters, then we'll have to do a late night Friday and Saturday to make up for it. I think we've done posters every night this week. Let's take a quick poll. There's some people like, I could care less. I couldn't care less. Which one is it? I could, I could care less. <laughs> I could not care less. <laughs> All right. We have Alice Cooper, Billion Dollar Babies. We do have a lot of records. It's going to take every second till midnight to get through all these records. This is a not, wow, 
1973, Terre Haute. OG, original label. 73 Terre Haute. VG Vinyl. VG Vinyl. It has the cards, which have been punched out. It has the cards. It has the billion dollar bill. It has the original inner sleeve. A little bit of a tear there on it. Looks a lot better now. And then there's the jacket. Alice Cooper is a $25 start. And so that's where those cards would have been. That's where they're punched out. All righty. $25 start. Black Sabbath. A 1971 Why did John put it back into this? John, Queso didn't know. John hates the idea of putting records in MoFi in her sleeves. <laughs> we have to go through all of his records. He, he hates when people put the record behind the jacket. He, he can't stand it. We buy these collections where people have ultrasonically cleaned records and put them behind the jacket. He hates it. He's very old school. He's like, that's not where the record goes. This is a 1971 Pittman press. Sometimes he takes them out of these and puts them back in the original inner sleeve. I'm like, John, don't do that. Uh, he's like, it's, I put them where they're supposed to go. This is Black Sabbath Paranoid, a 1971. A 1971 OG pressing of Paranoid. $35 start. VG condition on the vinyl. VG condition on the vinyl. Black Sabbath Paranoid. Black Sabbath Paranoid. I have another guy like that too. He's probably not watching. Brandon Sanders. Longtime customer, great friend. He's like, I don't get, I will never put the record behind the jacket. He's like, I put it in the sleeve where it's supposed to go. And I was like, well, if you do that, it gets wear and tear on the jacket. But um, each is their own. $35 start. So there it is. Everybody has their own uh, opinions on that. Seth keeps his in completely different rooms. He keeps his jackets in one room and his vinyl in another room. Don't ask why, but uh, very interesting why Seth does his collection. We have Alice Cooper, 25, 35, 40, 40, 43, 50, Black Sabbath, 50, Alice Cooper, 55, and I didn't even check the poll on posters. My bad. Let me make sure there was no other claims in here either. Make sure there was no other claims. Do you still have Saxon Killing Ground? I do. I still got Saxon, Edwin, if you want a copy. Edwin Riviera. Okay. We have Corrosion of Conformity, Wise Blood, $46.99, King Crimson Discipline, Winger Pull, Alanis Morissette, King Crimson Beat, Live Bullet, Anthology, Emerson Lake and Palmer, and King Crimson Three of a Perfect Pair. And his turntable's in a third room. Yeah, he's got everything. It's all, it's a Peter, Pla it's a Peter Pan complex, as Kramer would say on Seinfeld. Uh, he's living in a Peter Pan complex. It's like Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory. No, that's probably more like my house. I've got Legos uh, on display like it's a museum. Okay, let's grab the next crate of new vintage stuff. Let's go through John's crate of new vintage stuff, and then we have a Paul crate left. I've got posters, collectibles, video games, records, concert posters, movie posters, Legos, and toys on display in my house like it's a museum. I'm sure more of y'all, I'm sure some of y'all do the same thing, but I've, I've kind of got like a shrine going on in my house. And it's not even fully, I've got stuff spread out here at the store, my mom's house. I've got to get everything under one roof. Saxon, Killing Ground. This is sold to Edwin Riviera. All right, we have Billion Dollar Babies. The last bid on Alice Cooper was Robert Phillippe at $55. $55. Black Sabbath is a final call to Luke Rosenberger for $50. Both auctions are final calls. Luke has Black Sabbath for 50 
Robert Phillippe has Alice Cooper for 55. Man, children unite. Yeah, that's a great way to put it. I, I'm buying stuff that as a kid I had and I've already can't find anymore or I didn't have or as a kid that I didn't get. Not that my parents wouldn't buy it, but it's just, you know, you couldn't have everything, right? So now I'm like, okay, I'm just literally going to buy every toy, collectible, record, poster, and just hoard it all in my house. Red Hot Max, Lonesome Rocker. This is a 1983 Holland Press, Rockabilly, 1999. Red Hot Max, Lonesome Rocker, 1999. Very interesting start for a John Crate. That looks like a Paul record. I-40 Country, Jerry Lee Lewis. I always like this cover here. He's behind the wheel of an 18-wheeler. He's got a cigar in his mouth. I-40 Country goes right through Tennessee. Jerry Lee Lewis, $9.99. Harold Faultmeyer. Hey, he's done a lot of big scores. Harold Faultmeyer, he does Top Gun. $9.99. Harold Faultmeyer, $9.99. Super Sax and L.A. Voices. Super Sax and L.A. Voices is $12.99. And the Crawdaddies, Crawdaddies Express, 1979, 1999 for Crawdaddies Express, the greatest of Nat King Cole, Volume 1, 2LP, $14.99 for the greatest of Nat King Cole, Spyro Gyra, Incognito, $9.99 for Spyro Gyra. All right, these auctions are done. Alice Cooper, nobody else bid, officially sold to Robert Phillippe for $55. Robert F Phillippe. That is sold to you for $55. And it looks like Luke Rosenberger is going to get the OG Black Sabbath. Man, Paranoids on there. Rat Salad. War Pigs. Iron Man. Incredible. Black Sabbath is sold to Luke Rosenberger for $50. dollars i got a couple more auctions. Give me one second, and we'll put those up. And we have four claims on the Jerry Lee Lewis, which I see. Don't worry. I'm getting there. Got to put away these auctions. We got inner sleeves. We got jackets. We got everything I got to tuck in here. All right. Any more Death Angel? I don't believe so. All right. Sorry, that one was stubborn. Okay. Uh, Jennifer Schrader on Jerry Lee Lewis, I-40 Country. Christopher, second. Chris Laguero, third. Brian Thurman, fourth. Uh, James Fairfax wants to Harold Faultmeyer. That's so to James Fairfax. And we have Dynamic, Dakota Stanton. Dynamic, Dakota Stanton, $14.99 for Dakota. Also, Pebbles, Girlfriend, Dance Remix, a 1988 European, $9.99. Rick Waitman, The Missing Legends of King Arthur, $19.99. Rick Waitman, The Missing Legends of King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table. Beautiful Vinyl, $19.99. We have, uh, let's see here, uh, Bon Scott. I still got Bon Scott. Bond Scott still available. Yes, Travis Wade first on Pebbles. Javi Soto is second. Still got Bond Scott. Still got the, um, still got several. I hadn't done toys and collectibles in a while. Okay, next auction. We have another uh, Bob Dylan, and uh, we have a Kiss album to auction. So the other night we had a pristine stereo pressing of Bob Dylan Blonde on Blonde. This is a mono copy, but it's low grade. This is an original 1966 Terra Haute. It is a 66 Terra Haute. This is uh, a 2i mono. So it's an OG in mono. Check this out. Mono, 2i. It's in G plus condition. So G plus is less than VG minus. This is a $20 start. Just a $20 start, but this is a true OG in mono. And it does have some writing on the labels. But this is a true OG in mono with the Claudia Cardendale cover. She was later recalled off this jacket. Bob took a picture of her. Somebody took a picture of her and put it on there, and she didn't like that. $20 start. Okay. Where does EX, EX plus fall in the condition category? I've never seen on Discogs or elsewhere. I don't want to make assumptions. Um, EX and EX plus. I'll explain that. We've kind of developed... Well, EX is actually a real grade. Just nobody really uses it anymore. Um, by gold mine standards, it's like mint minus, near mint, near mint minus, and then EX plus and EX. But everybody really in the last five or ten years have gotten rid of using EX plus and EX. And most people call VG plus records EX. 
So we call it EX plus near mint minus so we can group everything together. Like this bin is all EX plus to near mint minus. So we use that here so we can group everything together and similar. EX, EX plus is better than VG plus. But that is an actual grade, but most nobody uses it anymore. Uh, everybody's really got away from using it, but we still use it. So when we're selling records here really, really fast, everybody kind of knows what grade is what. So, but yeah, that, that is, Discogs is actually making a major mistake. The gold mine record grading standard has been away for, has been around for years and, and everybody's got rid of EX and there's a huge jump between VG plus and a near mint minus record. There's something missing there and it's called EX and EX plus, but nobody hardly uses it anymore. We do so we can really sort records and go through things a lot faster here. So you kind of have to get used to our grading. But John, who grades a lot, he's been working here the longest for me. Uh, he always used EX, and Paul does too now, so we can really classify. Because people will put VG plus on records, and they will look near mint minus. And really, if I have a VG plus record, I don't know what to call it. So we call it VG plus. Um, and near mint minus is near mint minus, and EX is EX. So, uh, But people, uh, Discogs really stopped using that, and uh, a lot of people have, and it's not good because there's some gaps there in grading. This is a 1976 Terre Haute Kiss Rock and Roll Over with the original on her sleeve. It's a $35 start. It's a very nice copy. Look at the jacket. No teardrop, but it is nice and glo glossy. $35 start on Kiss Rock and Roll Over. The vinyl is EX or EX Plus. It's a Terre Haute. It's an OG. $35 start. Let's keep going through the new vintage stuff here. The very best of Poco. This is $16.99, the very best of Poco, $16.99, and we have Diana Ross. Diana Ross is $9.99. Also, The Boys, Too Wild to Tame. The Boys is a gold stamp promo, $19.99. But when the record collecting catalog started coming out in the 80s and 90s, Goldmine was the standard. You'll hear people say that. It was a company called Goldmine. They started making, uh, they started making uh, price guides and record catalogs and everybody started using their grading standards. And you don't hear many people use it anymore, uh, but it is the goldmine standard. That's what most people generally agree upon when grading records. Gary U.S. Bonds on the line. Of course, it's all subjective. Everybody has different opinions. $9.99. Gary U.S. Bonds on the lines. $9.99. Lonnie Brooks, Buy You Lightning on Alligator Records. That is $14.99 on Alligator. Lonnie Brooks, Bayou Lightning. Donna Summer, The Wanderer. Donna Summer is $9.99. The Bob Dylan has bids for $20 and now $27. And Kiss is at $35. Three people bid $35. Chris Laguerra was first. Then William Lee Murray. Then Phil Toretto. Jennifer Schrader first on Lonnie Brooks. Then Christopher Brusha. Jackie Reynolds first on Donna Summer. And we have Earl Thomas Conley. Somewhere between not and wrong. Earl Thomas Conley, $14.99. Kiss now has new bids for $40 and now $40. Glenn Campbell, A New Place in the Sun. Glenn Campbell is $9.99. A New Place in the Sun, $9.99. Simon and Garfunkel's Greatest Hits. This is a Holland press. Preston Holland. No condition notes. That's a cool label. Homeward Bound, Bridge Over Troubled Water, America, all those great songs, $19.99. Kiss has bids for $40, $40, and $42. Bob Dylan is at $27. Who was the other bidder? Uh, Amy Hutchings. Amy, let me know if you want back in on that. And we have Robert Phillippe on Earl Thomas Conley. Let's sell that to Robert Phillippe, Earl Thomas Conley. Tim Jensen's back in on Kiss at $45. Flash Gordon soundtrack, music by Queen. Embossed cover, no condition notes. $39.99, a little bit of a stain there on the jacket, but other than that, a nice copy. Has the original inner sleeve with it. Queen, flash, aha, $39.99. It also has the insert. Also has the insert as well. So that is complete. Uh, so did Curtis Marachi. Bob Dylan's at $30. Now of Amy, Robert, you're back out. Kiss is at $45. T.G. Shepard, Daylight. T.G. Shepard is $14.99 in shrink wrap. Leon Everett. Leon Everett's $9.99. That's in shrink wrap of hop sticker, $9.99. And Eddie Raven, I could use another U. That's in shrink wrap, $9.99 for Eddie Raven. Also, sing some love songs, Porter Wagner. 
Porter's 999. Kenny Rogers, what about me? That's with Kim Carnes. Uh, the hype sticker there mentioned the duet with Kim Carnes. $9.99. Sound. Did my sound go out again? Or was that a claim? My mic's still on. Test one, two. Uh, Bob Dylan's at 30. Uh, Stanley Bedwell on Glenn Campbell. That was a few back, but that's sold to Stanley Bedwell. And uh, Robert, let me know if you want back in on Bob Dylan. And uh, Chris and Phil, y'all let me know if you want back in on that. We have Ed Bruce, Night Things. Ed Bruce is $9.99. George Jones, Shine On. George Jones is a gold stamp promo. $9.99 for George. George Jones. Conway, Hello Darling. Conway Tweedy's $9.99. And Trash, not Thrash, Trash County Dominators. A 1988 Garage album, 1999. Phil Toretto is the new high bidder on Kiss for 50. Shane Deavers on George Jones. That is sold to Shane Deavers. Sherry Darnell first on Conway. Paul Stevens, you were second on George Jones. Also, Little Willie Anderson singing the blues. Little Willie Anderson is a 1981 Chicago blues album. And shrink wrap, $34.99. $34.99. Uh, no inserts on Kiss. No stickers. No insert. Just the original inner sleeve. Just the original on her sleeve on Rock and Roll Over. Um, there's the original on her sleeve. Nice jacket. Ju uh, just that. Uh, okay, continuing. Little Willie Anderson. Uh, South 40. Live at someplace else. $34.99. That looks interesting. Metro Beat. South 40. Live at someplace else. $34.99. And we have Nat King Cole, Wild is Love. Nat King Cole is $9.99. And the Checkers, the Chair, what's that say? The ch oh, the Cherokees. The Cherokees, the Legendary Ghost Sessions. A 1989 Australian beat rock album, $29.99. Tim Jensen's out on Kiss. Uh, price on Trash. Trash County Dominators was $19.99. I don't think anybody else bid on Bob Dylan. I never did hear back from Robert Warner. I've got to go ahead and sell it to Amy Hutchings for $30. Amy, you get the Bob Dylan for $30. That was the original 66 Terre Haute Mono 2i. It was in G-plus condition. Nice, though. That sold you for $30. All right. We have any Dream Theater. No Dream Theater. Do you have a Seal James Brown you were doing tonight? No, I do not. No Seal James Brown. The Idols of Rock and Roll. 1999, 2 LP, that's a compilation. The Idols of Rock and Roll. The Rolling Stones, get your yayas out. 34.99, Blue London label. The Stones, get your yayas out. Record guy says he will take trash. Trash is sold. We have Western Flyer, Hapash and the Colored Coat. Hapadash, Hapshash and the Colored Coat, something like that. 39.99, Tim Jensen wants the teen, uh, the teen Idols, 2 LP. That's sold to Tim Jensen. And... Roy Ayers presents Ubiquiti Star Booty. Ubiquiti Star Booty. Roy Ayers is $19.99. And Kiss is sold, or Kiss is a uh, Phil Toretto's for $50 a final call. I did mention James Brown. I said I had a sealed James Brown record from the collection, the uh, Jimmy Johnson Swampers collection. But I'm not selling any more of that stuff till we sell it all together. We have Mark Lent wants booty. That is sold to Mark Lent. Booty. Travis Wade was second. And Tommy Boyce and Bobby Hart test patterns. A white label promo with an insert. A white label promo with insert. $19.99. Kiss is officially sold for $50. And that is sold to um, Phil Toretto for $50. Yep, Phil Toretto for $50. Okay, that is sold. Now, let's put up two new ones. All righty. Continuing. Also, I got the sticky note sleep, uh, sundowning sleep token. It's somewhere in here. Sundowning, before I forget. Sundowning sleep token. I bet it's in this crate over here. Yep, never mind. All right, I'll do that in a second. Okay. Uh, more switched on Baccarat. 
Sir, Cross, Sir Christopher Smith doing Burke, uh, Burt Backright on the Moog, $9.99. Benson Burner, George Benson, Benson Burner. Very interesting cover, $19.99. Jack and the Rippers, live at Casbah, Casbah, Rock the Casbah. Live at the Casbah, Jack and the Rippers, a rockabilly album, 1995 UK, 1999, and Smokey Robinson. Nope, just Smokey. Sealed, 14.99. Next two auctions. I think this is the third night in a row we've auctioned a Leonard Skinner Street Survivors, but here's another one. It's in VG condition, VG cover, VG VG minus cover. It's got some damage to it. Let's show it first. It's been wet at some point. There's the uh, tour dates insert. There's the water damage. There's the other one with some damage. The vinyl's in VG condition. There's where the inner sleeve has some water damage. And then here's the jacket. The front part, the important part for this album, it's okay. There is some damage on the gatefold. And there's somewhere on the back. I bet y'all didn't know. Rob Zombie was in Leonard Skinner, but he was. He was an original member of Leonard Skinner. Rob Zombie was. There's that. VG condition, $25 start. VG on the vinyl, VG minus cover and inserts. The Yvette's, Red Now. This is an original 1968 U.S. sealed album. The Evitt's. This is Red Now, featuring Alfie on Gordy. It is sealed. $25 start. Next comment was Paul Ogley on JR. Paul Ogley on JR. That was Jack and the Rippers. Does Smokey have Living Next Door to Alice? Smokey does not have Living Next Door to Alice, unfortunately. Also, we have Tom T. Hall, Eyewitness Life. Tom T. Hall is sealed, unopened, $14.99. Tom T. Hall, Nat King Cole, Ramblin' Rose, $9.99. Music Country, a compilation from Capital. Johnny Cash is on there. That's all you need to know. $9.99. And a superb copy of Queen, News of the World, $34.99. Original inner sleeve, beautiful vinyl, News of the World, $34.99 on Queen. All righty. Susie Breedlove wants the country music compilation. That's so to Susie Breedlove. And then there's Queen, if anybody wants it. So to Lucas Patterson. So Leonard Skinner has one bid for $25. And the Yvette's is a $25 start. That's Stevie Wonder Backwards. It is Stevie Wonder Backwards, isn't it? The Yvette's Red Now, S-T-E-V-I-E-W-O-N-D-E-R. So is this Stevie Wonder? It's on Gordy. I don't think it's actually Stevie Wonder, though, is it? Michael's throwing some confusion at me. Okay, continuing. I'm just going to read the titles, then we have a whole crate over here of Paul stuff to go through. I told y'all tonight was going to be busy. Wow. Whew. My eyes hurt. Earlier tonight, if you want to replay the feed. Oh, it's the, it is Stevie Wonder. Okay. Stevie Wonder. The Evitts, Red Now. Stevie Wonder backwards. Well, y'all just absolutely blew my mind. I don't know how many times I've had a copy of this. And I'm finding that out for the first time. Like... I've sold hundreds of these. No idea it was Stevie Wonder until right now. And it's sealed, $25 start, a 68 Motown Gordy. Leonard Skinner got a new bid for $26 with Michael Piefler. Chris Leggero, you're out. Am I the only one that didn't realize that? I guess so. I, I guess so. I'll take blame for not knowing that. So we have to go through these titles one more time. We have Red Hot Max, we have Super Sax and L.A. Voices, we have The Craw Daddies, and The Greatest Hits of Nat King Cole, Spyro Gyra, Dynamic Dakota Stanton, we have The Very Best of Poco, Kiss Alive 3 is $39.99, Kiss Alive 3 is 
Donna Ross, The Boys, Gary U.S. Bonds, Simon and Garfunkel's Greatest Hits, T.G. Shepard, Leon Everett, Eddie Raven, Porter Wagner, Kenny Rogers, Ed Bruce, and Little Willie Anderson singing the blues. That's in shrink wrap. Lily, Willie, Little Willie Anderson. Willie, Little Willie Anderson. Sorry, I've walked away. I'm over here trying to find our next couple auctions right quick. Let me do this. Okay, so we have uh, South 40. South 40 is $34.99. And Nat King Code, Wild is Love, $9.99, 2 LP. The Cherokees is still available. That's an 89 Australian pressing. Also, we had the Rolling Stones, the Western Flyer. We had Tommy Boyce and Bobby Hart, Switched on Back Wrap, Benson Burner, Smokey, Tom T. Hall, and we have Nat King Cole, Ramblin' Rose. All right, so we have a wise guy watching. Oh, that's great. I've already blocked one person tonight. I guess I'll have to block another. We have Leonard Skinner at 28 and Price on Saxon Red Cover. Saxon is $38.99. That's called Killing Ground. Saxon Killing Ground. That was a limited edition 1,000 gold vinyl for $38.99. $38.99. So if anybody wants Stevie Wonder, it's a $25 buy now on Stevie Wonder. If anybody wants that, it is a buy now. It's a no bid. $25 buy now on that. And Leonard Skinner is at $30. And Leonard Skinner's at $30 with Michael Peebler. So they're still bidding on that. Leonard Skinner's in VG, VG minus condition. VG, VG minus condition. The vinyl's VG. The cover's VG minus. It has a little bit of water damage. And I'll take it and a copy of Days of the New uh red album too okay let me see if i can find that javi soto wants saxon with the red cover and a days of the new red vinyl or the days of the new with the red cover i think there's one right here that is sold right there to you that is sold also to javi soto paul stevens wants the stevie wonder 25 dollars buy now that's sold to paul stevens 25 dollars. let's go through the next crate of new vintage stuff next crate of new vintage stuff is right here there's one thing if you're watching the show and you're unhappy, and you don't want to watch, I'm not holding a gun to your head. You don't have to watch our show. You can just swap off and say good night, and you never have to get on here again. That's totally up to you. We have Leonard Skinner. This is a high bid with Michael Peebler for $30. That's going twice, going three times to Michael. The other bidder is Chris Laguerro. He was at 28 So, Chris, let me know if you want backing on that. These are new vintage arrivals from uh, Paul. And it is 8 minutes after 11, and we're still going through new vintage arrivals. First thing we have over here is Black Heat. Keep on running. That's a 1975 Presswell Press, VG Plus condition, $24.99. Black Heat, keep on running. In shrink wrap, VG Plus, $24.99. The Jokers, why New Orleans can't forget them. This is a VG condition, $17.99. VG condition, $17.99. And there's somebody on here with some spam. Let me whoop, let me mute my mic here. And you also finally learned how to say Thelonious Monk. I did. Don't click on Maya Sings. There's another very bad spammer. Confirm, ban from page. And that person's gone. Okay, next we have Backdoor, 8th Street Knots. This is EX Edition, 1799, a 1973 white label promo. EX Edition, 1799. East of the Flum Diddle, East of the Flum Diddle, a 1961 U.S. pressing. That's a children's record. VG condition, $14.99. And Sandy Bull, this is a VG condition, $11.99, a 1964 U.S. pressing. Paul says he recommends it. VG condition, $11.99. Let's go ahead and sell the Skinner to Michael Peevler. That is sold to Michael Peevler for $30. Thank you, Michael. That is so do you. Also, earlier, somebody asked for Kiss Alive 3. If anybody wants it, I've got two copies left. It is the 2014 remaster, Kiss Alive 3, $39.99. Next is Jimmy Smith, Off the Top. That's George Benson, Ron Carter, Grady Tate, and Stanley Turrentine. 1982 uh, U.S. VG Plus Condition, $14.99. VG Plus Condition, $14.99. We have Motorcycle Maniac. Bobby Lee Warren. That's a 1983 U.S. Rockabilly album. VG Plus Condition, 1999. Susie Breedlove wants the East of the Flum Diddle. That is sold to Susie Breedlove 
Suzy Breedlove gets that. Christopher Brusha on JS. JS was for Jimmy Smith. That's so to Christopher Brusha. Also, Red Clay, Freddie Hubbard. Red Clay, Freddie Hubbard. A, a 1970 U.S. pressing. Paul says this is essential. VG Plus condition, $54.99. Freddie Hubbard, Red Clay, VG Plus condition, $54.99. Also, Skywalker, Made in Flight. Skywalker is a 1982 U.S. hard rock album. VG condition, $9.99. Mars and Epergesy. Mars and Epergesy. A 1971 German import. EX condition, $36.99. Billy Holiday sings the blues with Mickey Champion and Dolores Gibson. A 1957 U.S. pressing. VG condition, $19.99. Billy Holiday sings the blues. Wow. Excuse me. Magic Muscle, VG Condition, $14.99. And that is a 1988 U.S. sock record. That's the Pop, the Roar, and the Grid. Magic Muscle, VG Condition, $14.99. The record guy gets Skywalker. That is sold to the record guy. Skywalker sold to the record guy. And John F. Kennedy. He's already made an appearance tonight. Here's another one. John F. Kennedy, a self-portrait. VG Plus Condition, $12.99 for John Fitzgerald Kennedy. Weather Report, Mysterious Traveler. Weather Report is in VG Condition, $9.99. And St. Elmo's Fire, St. Elmo's Fire, live at the Cleveland Agora. A 1980 U.S. prog album, VG Plus Condition, $19.99 for St. Elmo's Fire. Cosmoto Cosmopolitan Redskin, Tom Bark. Cosmopolitan Redskin. That's in VG Plus condition, $9.99. Looks like a Native American artist. Also, we have Stompin', Volume 3. Stompin' is an unofficial compilation. Stompin', VG Plus $21.99. Which Kiss is that? This is Kiss Alive 3, 2014 remaster, $39.99. Kiss Alive 3. $39.99. Christopher Brusha says he'll take this record right here. That's so to Christopher Brusha. Next is the Surf Riders 10 Tons of Wet. The Surf Riders is in VG Plus condition. $29.99. $29.99. Brent Robley on FH. FH was for FH was for um, what was that? Uh, St. Elmo's? Nope. That was Tom Bark. Nope. What was that, Brent? Uh, Robert Gordon, bad boy. Robert Gordon is in EX condition, $12.99. FH, unless I'm not uh, going back far enough. And I may not be. I don't see an FH, though. Uh, in the beginning, uh, this is a G condition, $9.99. G condition, it's uh, 1968 US. Ooh, hope y'all didn't hear my neck right then. This is in the beginning, Genesis. Genesis, not Phil Collins or Peter Gabriel. That's a completely different band there. VG or G condition, $9.99. Uh, Freddie Hubbard. Freddie Hubbard is still available. Yes, Freddie Hubbard. That is sold to Brent Robley. Freddie Hubbard is sold. Uh, T-Bone Walker, well done. Looks like his guitar is a stake there. A 1973 U.S. pressing, VG plus condition, $19.99. Looking for Ultimate Sin. Uh, Vince, the last couple nights, we've sold some at auction. Uh, that record will always be sold at auction. I don't have any right now. Uh, I'll never have one, like, available just to buy. They'll always be auctioned, and they go very quickly, and there's a lot of desire for it, a lot of uh, demand for it. So, Chris Brush against Genesis. Just check back. Make sure you're following us on Facebook. We'll make a post, a video, or a hot picture anytime something like that comes up for sale. That is a very desirable Aussie. The reason everybody wants it, it's never been reissued, and uh, it's extremely desirable. So, we have uh, The Stairs, Mary Joanna. The Stairs is EX Condition, $14.99, a 1992 UK indie garage album, $14.99 for The Stairs. The Nomads, where the wolf bane blooms. The Nomads is EX Condition, $22.99, a 1983 French import garage, $22.99. I've been outbid three times on Ultimate Sin. Yeah, there's, uh, I think Bob Riger, he's already stopped watching tonight, but uh, he's been trying to buy one, I think, for about a year. And uh, he says he has had the worst luck ever. It's a very desirable Aussie record. 
Um, we have New City Blues Band, Harlem Bound, EX999. Got here late. Can I get a Perfect Circle, Murder Noms, and Skid Row Slave if available? Sorry for the random ask. No, I'm about to recap all the new vinyl because there's so much crazy, incredible stuff. But let me go ahead and get that over here, and I think I can find those pretty quickly. You want Slave to the Grind and Murder Noms? I have those right here, actually. I got to them very quickly. We will do a big recap in just a second. So this is um, Perfect Circle Murder Noms, uh, $46.99, and Slave to the Grind, Skid Row, $44.99, so to Antonio Villanueva. That is so to Antonio V. Thank you, Antonio. Next is Pag Lararo. Pag Lararo, that's a 1975 Canadian import pop rock album, VG Plus Condition, $9.99. Also, Barnes Whitfield and the Savages Live in Mumsfield. Uh, 1989 U.S. Blues Rock album that's on Rounder Records. EX Condition 1299. Buffalo Bop, uh, The Bop That Never Stopped, Volume uh, 42. Volume 42, wow. A 1986 German Import Rockabilly Comp, VG Plus Condition 1699. Barrents Whitfield, sold to Brent Robley. Thank you, Brent, So to you. Milk Crate Takeover, wow, Milk Crate. Moose and the Mudbugs. That is a 1985 U.S. alternate rock EP, EX Condition 1299. Uh, Ted Taylor, Be Ever Wonderful, uh, Soul Pidgets Records. Oh, that's the label. A 1984 U.S. funk soul album, VG Condition, $9.99, with a very low budget photo shoot there. A very blurry picture of Ted and a very interesting picture of him on the back. VG Condition, $9.99. Milk Crate, sold to Christopher Brusha. Milk Crate, sold to Christopher Brusha. And Memphis Slim, Southside Reunion, featuring Buddy Guy and Junior Wales. A 1972 U.S. VG Condition, $16.99. Memphis Slim, Southside Reunion. Uh, Black Sheep, a 1975 U.S. Hard Rock album. EX Condition, $32.99 for Black Sheep on the Orange Capitol. Brent Robley gets Memphis Slim. Christopher Brusha, you were second. Gary Bartz in New Two Troop Juju Street Songs. That's a 1972 U.S. Soul Jazz album. VG Plus Condition. That's on Prestige, 29. Gary Bartz, Into You Troop, Juju Street Songs. Uh, VG Plus, $29.99. Uh, four Harry Policemen, Wavy Gravy. Wavy Gravy, EX Condition, $32.99, an unofficial garage novelty comp. Wavy Gravy, four hairy policemen. Looks like policemen, like, looks like werewolves. And we have Prison Shake, the Roaring Third. Prison Shake is a 1993 U.S. with 7-inch insert. VG Plus, $24.99. All right, we still got 248 people watching. It is 20 minutes after, or 18 minutes after, 11 o'clock. Seth, do you have anything you'd like to say to everybody? He said, I don't want to talk to them. Okay. <laughs> Take it easy. Uh, let's see. We have, how much for Wavy Gravy? $32.99. Cover condition on T-Bone. Nice. I mean, maybe one little corner ding here. Just that one corner ding. Glossy, laminate. Uh, actually, the there's a little bit of a... The, it's come detached right here on the back a little bit. It's right there. The front, very nice. Okay, uh, if anybody else wants anything in there, we got to do a big recap So uh, for tonight. So I don't know if I'll go back through those again, but if you... Do want to see anything in there one more time, just let me know. I'm going to go ahead and condense these over here with the other Paul crate. And I'm going to start moving some stuff around and going to start doing some recapping and some final calls on some stuff for tonight. There's that. We've got another empty crate there. That's wonderful. And there was the most oldest crate of vintage. There is the next most recent. And let's go with this right here. Let's go with this one right here very quickly. So any discount crates. I don't know... Uh, oh, I don't know if we'll get to one of those or not. We still got to do a recap. So, um, we'll find out though. Uh, might not be the night for that because there's so much new stuff. 
very quickly, let's run through some of these titles straight out of Compton, NWA, NWA, uh, New and Sealed, $36.99, Pretty Reckless Going to Hell, last copy of that, last copy of NWA, $29.99 on Pretty Reckless, Not Moves, Bob Seger, $36.99 on Not Moves, and Skid Row, Slave to the Grind. This is a 2LP, $44.99, Subhuman Race, Blue and Black Vinyl, Skid Row is $44.99. Still got four copies of that. And then lots of Iron Maiden restocks tonight. Here's Somewhere in Time. Somewhere in Time is $33.99. We also have one copy of Tesla left. That is on colored vinyl, 2LP colored vinyl, Tesla, $46.99. Also, Corrosion of Conformity, 2LP Deliverance, COC, is $39.99. We have Iron Maiden, Number of the Beast. Iron Maiden is $33.99 for Number of the Beast. The Studio Collection, remastered, originally released in 1982. Thin Lizzy Fighting is $39.99. Thin Lizzy Fighting is $39.99. Elton John, Captain Fantastic, and the Brown Dirt Cowboy. That's remastered from the original analog tapes. $36.99 for Elton John. Slave to the Grind is $44.99. That's a 2LP remaster, gatefold. $44.99 for Slave to the Grind. Rat, the Atlantic Years box set, $229.99. That's the first ever collection of all the Rat Studio albums. Al the Seller, Invasion of Prophecy, Dance Under the Cover, Reach for the Sky, and Detonator. That is $229.99. Also, Seventh Son of a Seventh Son is $33.99. And Peace Sells But Who's Buying, that's $36.99. There was actually a waiting list for that I hadn't tagged yet. Let me look that up right quick. Lots of great new restocks here tonight. Let me look up Megadeth though right quick. Mega Death and the waiting list for that was uh sales and that was Ron uh Ron Bart O Wick. <laughs> I usually call him Ron Barr. Uh B-A-R-T-O-W-I-A-K. That was for P sales, but who's buying? So that's so to Ron B. Hope you all got that spelling correctly. And we have Wasp, Inside the Electric Circus, $38.99 for Wasp, Inside the Electric Circus. Elton John, Madman Across the Water. And then here is the new Taylor Swift. We're down to two copies of the Tortured Poets Department. You can listen to it streaming um, in 40 minutes, 38 minutes. I think there'll be a lot of people hitting the play button on that album across streaming services. New Taylor Swift music, $49.99. The, to the Tortured Poets Department. This is the uh, Gatefold 2 LP on white vinyl, $49.99. I'm down to two, two copies on that. The Tortured Poets Department, $49.99. Okay, crate number one. Next crate is right here. Let's go through some of these. Test one, two. Is the feed working out there? Is everybody awake? Is everybody alive? Power Slave, $36.99. Tesla was $46.99. Blind Melon is $39.99 for Blind Melon. Stevie Ray Vaughan in step, $39.99. Alan Jackson's Greatest Hits, one copy left, $36.99. Otis Redding, Dock of the Bay, $33.99. NXS Kick is on clear vinyl, $33.99. The Ramones, Rock at the Russia. And Gin Blossoms, New Miserable Experience, $34.99 on that. Down to the last copy, again, of Against the Wind, $29.99 on Bob Seger. Also, the Rolling Stones, England's newest hit makers, the Rolling Stones, $33.99. Craftwork Autobahn, Craftwork is $33.99. We also have Alanis Morissette, Jagged Little Peel, $33.99. Rat Now Playing, that's a Rat Greatest Hits, $28.99. Motor, excuse me, I've called that Motorhead multiple times tonight. Molly Hatchet, Jukebox Saloon, Molly Hatchet is $29.99. And if you was on the waiting list, all those came in, and they've already been tagged, but that is Jukebox Saloon, $29.99. Winger is on green vinyl, $44.99. Blackberry Smoke, 180-gram orange crush vinyl, $28.99. 13.4 Elevators, $33.99. White vinyl. Eric Clapton Unplugged is $44.99. Robert Phillippe on Marley Hatchet. Robert, let me make sure you wasn't on a waiting list already for that. 
and you was already on a waiting list. That's what I thought. You was already on a waiting list for that, so I'm not going to give you another one unless you want to. You was already on a waiting list. We have Testament, Live at Dynamo, $26.99. Outfield, Play Deep is $39.99. Chicken Shack is $39.99. Buddy Guy and Junior Wells, Live in Montreux, $29.99. And Damn Yankees is $44.99. And that is the last copy. We've sold four of those tonight. That's the last copy. All right. And I think really the only other thing to go back through, 20 on Wavy Gravy. I will pass on that. I will pass on that. Um, I wish I knew if these people wanted puzzles. I have a waiting list here for... Let me make sure. I'm going to mark this orange. Sometimes I make these waiting lists and I forget to put that's an actually for a puzzle so um but there wasn't but a few left we had like three crates of them and here's all that's left on here which was megadeth peace sales but who's buying these are the puzzles judas priest metallica master of puppets and then the dead kennedys so that was the new puzzles that's left over we've already got several waiting lists again but megadeth uh judas priest metallica and then the dead kennedys that's what's left in the new puzzle restocks, just FYI. Uh, we can go back through tonight's new vintage stuff and do buy it now best offer. Uh, we had some really great records still left unclaimed. I think we might can run through those one more time and probably for one of the last uh, crates of the night and do buy it now best offer if y'all want to do that. Chad, did you ever find the stray Nickelback all the right reasons? If you not, can you order one? And I can do that. So uh, Nickelback... I feel like I've got one of those around here. Um, but let's put Troy Robinson on Nickelback, all the right reasons. And Aiden J. Five John wants a Judas Priest painkiller puzzle. Judas Priest painkiller puzzle. That is sold for $24.99. That officially fills up this next bin here. Let me do that right quick. Let me put that right in here. And I'm going to start a new crate. And we're going to go through new vintage arrivals right now. Uh, and we're going to do a recap of those, and we're going to do Buy It Now Best Offer. Buy It Now Best Offer on those. And the other crate of new vinyl was the last three crates condensed, but those have been recently gone through, so I'm just not going to go through those again because we've recently showed them. And the nine crates of new vinyl have been condensed now into three, so sold a lot of new vinyl tonight, right, Seth? Fantastic. All right, so let's go through this. Nine ice kills. I will order nine ice kills. Yes, I will do that for sure. We have Boss Skaggs. Buy it now, best offer on these. Silk Degrees, VG Condition, $9.99. Sticks, Cornerstone, VG Condition, $9.99. Todd Rundgren, Initiation, VG Condition, $9.99. ZZ Hill, The Best Thing That Happened to Me, VG Plus, $9.99. America, VG Plus Condition, $9.99. Original Under Sleeve, VG Plus Condition, $9.99. The Jimmy Giffrey 3, Atlantic, 1957 Mono, VG Condition, $24.99. Oscar Peterson, VG Plus, $9.99. These are new arrivals for tonight. We'll go ahead and see if we can sell any more of them. Buy it, no best offer. Also put Troy Robinson down on Young MC waiting list. Young MC waiting list. I can do that as well. I'm trying to find that Nickelback album. I feel like there's one around here somewhere. Continuing. Alice's Restaurant starring Arlo Guthrie. VG Plus Condition. The original motion picture score. $14.99. Boz Skaggs. Middleman. VG Condition, $9.99. Derek Clark says, Somebody grabbed the Black Sheep Lou Graham's band before he jumped ship the Foreigner for free. Bad Company fans, such a killer album. Nick Bargeron said, ZZ Heel, $7.99. Sell that to Nick Bargeron for $7.99. Sold. Emerson, Lake, and Palmer, VG Condition, $9.99. Their debut album, Ooh, What a Lucky Man He Was. VG Condition, $9.99. BG's Rare, Precious, and Beautiful, Volume 2. VG Condition, $9.99. The Bee Gees, Rare, Precious, and Beautiful, Volume 2. VG Condition, $9.99. The Doobie Brothers, Minute by Minute, VG Plus Condition, $9.99. Original Under Sleeve, The Doobie Brothers, that's 9 dollars 
Also, Hank Williams Sr., a compilation, VG Plus Condition, $17.99 for Hank Williams, VG Plus Condition, $17.99, Hank Williams Sr. Also, Gordon Lightfoot, if you could read my mind, an original, not a bad jacket, VG on the vinyl, $9.99, Guy Hobrich on DB for Doobie Brothers, that's so to Guy Hobrich. Next is Wild in the Streets, original motion picture soundtrack, Wild in the Streets, VG, $9.99. There's another Dylan. That's another blonde on blonde. This one's in VG condition. It's a 70s pressing, $24.99 for Dylan. Bob Dylan, VG condition, $24.99. Sergeant Peppers, Lonely Hearts Club Band. Peter Frampton and the Bee Gees, VG condition, $9.99. The Ozark Mountain Daredevils, It'll Shine When It Shines, featuring the hit song Jackie Blue, VG condition, $9.99. Lazarus gets Gordon Lightfoot for $7. That's sold to Lazarus for $7. Pisces, Aquarius, Capricorn, Jones, VG condition, $9.99. It has writing on the cover. It's in VG condition, $9.99. How much was Black Sheep? Yeah, there's been a lot of people asking for that since I showed it, so let me try to find it. Um, Black Sheep. Um, Black Sheep, right here. Black Sheep is a 1975 hard rock album, and there it is. Lewis, wow, look at his name. Louis Gramatico, Louis Gramataco, Lou Graham from Foreigner. Wow, nice, uh, nice mention there. And some people left here and went on to form free. Black Sheep, and that is EX Condition thirty two ninety nine. Jackie Reynolds, EX thirty two ninety nine. If you don't want it, Ron Duffield does. Thank you, David Campbell. You might have already got off. I'm just now seeing your comment. Golden Earring, Moontan. Excuse the nudity. VG Condition nineteen ninety nine for Golden Earring. The Moody Blues, Every Good Boy Deserves Favor, VG Condition, that is Moody Blues, $9.99. We have Jackie Reynolds said sold on Black Sheep, that's for sticker. Two offers on Golden Earring, $12.99 and $10. Let's take Scott O'Man's $12.99, that is sold to Scott O'Man. Christopher tried to bid $15, already sold to Scott though. Frampton Comes Alive, VG Condition, $14.99. Peter Frampton, Frampton Comes Alive. Rod Stewart, Every Picture Tells a Story. VG Plus Condition, $17.99 on Rod Stewart. Outlaws, Playing to Win. The Outlaws, with the Rich Winter Sleeve, $19.99. Everything in here is buy it now, best offer. Eric James on Peter Frampton. That is sold to Eric James. Also, another JFK record, a memorial album, $14.99. Nobody wants to put on a record and listen to the president speak, $14.99. We have Quincy Jones Roots, $19.99 for Quincy Jones Roots, $19.99. Lazarus, I've already sold Peter Frampton. I don't have any skillet records either, Dan. No Ice Nine Kills and no skillet. I'm sorry to disappoint you. I'll put that on the order list too. We have Johnny Guitar Watson, our real mother for you, $19.99 for Johnny Guitar Watson, $19.99. Wavy Gravy 25. Now you're talking. Wavy Gravy is sold to Jim B for $25. That was from the previous bin. Wavy Gravy. This is sold to Jim B for $25. Jim B on Wavy Gravy for $25. Cream Goodbye, an original UK pressing of their last album, $34.99. Cream Goodbye has badge on there. Also, Elvin Bishop is sealed. Hog Heaven, Elvin Bishop is sealed, unopened, $14.99. We have Skeeter Davis sings the end of the world. Skeeter Davis is $19.99. Skeeter sings the end of the world, $19.99. Lover Boy, self-titled album. VG cover, no condition notes on the vinyl, $17.99. Donna Ross and the Supremes, Reflections, $12.99 on Reflections. We also have Air Supply, $9.99. Jeff Lorber Fusion, Water Signs, $19.99. Planet P, Planet P is $19.99. John Denver, Autograph, $9.99. And Tex Ritter, Deck of Cards, $9.99. I don't have Brave New World, and I don't have Matter of Life and Death. Buck D.D. D. Black, Mississippi Blue Mass, $34.99. B.B. and C.C. Winans, Heaven, $14.99. The Osley Brothers Do Their Thing, $12.99. A tribute to Bob Wills, Golden Archive Series, that's a promo copy, $11.99. Charlie Rich, every time you touch me, I get high. Charlie Rich is $9.99. Miles Davis, Round About Midnight. Columbia 2i Stereo, EX Condition, $49.99. And The Banjo Greats, Volume 1, Sealed, $19.99. Troy Robinson says CC and BB, 
for $9.99. Sell that to Troy Robinson. Jason Franz said 10 on the Osley Brothers. Sold for $10. And we have Ruby, the Osborne Brothers. VG condition, $9.99. Uh, Dig Dale and his Deltones, checkered flag. VG minus condition, $14.99. The Johnny Otis Show, VG condition, $24.99. Uh, Smash is VG plus $14.99. Listen to the Mod Jamal Quintet. That is a 1961 mono, VG condition, $14.99. Spooky Tooth, Spooky Tooth. Spooky Tooth with Gary Wright. This is in VG condition, $9.99. And Rolling Stones, more Hot Rocks. The Rolling Stones is in VG condition, $19.99. I don't have Super Known by Soundgarden. Any more used Beatles available? There's actually no used Beatles records in the store. We've got about 3,000 in the back. I don't have any out here for sale. Lucas needs to put back Jim Burns. Lucas, that record is probably buried by now, but Rachel or Jake, or not Rachel, uh, Rebecca or Jake, whoever rewatches this feed, be sure to put that back from Lucas Patterson. And put down Dan Davis on a waiting list for Skill and Unleash and Awake. David Hoy said AJ $9. That was a Maj Jamal. And then we have an offer for 7 And no, we have an offer on ST for 12 Sell this to David Hoy for $9. Christopher Brusha on ST for 7 Spooky 2 for 7 Sell that to Christopher Brusha for 7 Surfo Caster said DD. Uh, DD. For 12. DD for 12. Dig Dale. Sell Surfo Caster. That for 12. Is Smash a comp? I don't think it is. Um, I was trying to figure that out earlier when I was really going through these fast. I think that's the name of the artist. Smash. It's on Source Records. SOR 3083 is the catalog number. Did I miss the 80s and 90s metal? You have missed a lot of 80s and 90s metal. Yes. It's all gone. It's all sold. Jethro Tull, a passion play, VG condition, $9.99. But guess what? We do this every night. Blood, Sweat, and Tears is VG, $12.99. You've got to be on every night from 7 to about 11 Central Time. From 7 to 11 Central Time, six nights a week, there's usually 80s and 90s metal going up for auction. Bob Dylan, bringing it all back home, a 1965 mono, VG condition, $24.99. All right, and where else did we get to? I thought there was another, uh, it's a funk soul album. Uh, was there another something there? I thought there was another claim in there or something in there. I don't see it though. All right, so that was uh, pretty much, uh, man, that's like John's five. Yeah, that's all five of John's vintage bins condensed down into one. That's how much new vintage and pre-owned stuff we sold tonight. That's like all five of those condensed down into one. All right, well, um, any last request? Uh, if not, We've bumped back up to over 200 viewers, which is incredible. It's uh, 11.38. How about we do like we did last night and do posters just for like maybe an hour or so? Uh, let me go find that cart. I have no idea where Tanner's done with it. Let me figure out what happened to all that stuff. If I can't find it, we'll have to, uh, we'll have to um, possibly... Uh, not do posters, but I'm going to mute my mic. I got to go try to find that stuff. I'll come back if I can't find it really quickly. We might just, I had all that on that cart, you know, last night. I text Tanner before the show. I said, what happened to that cart that I left out last night? Because I usually leave and they come in in the morning and clean everything up. Thank goodness. And Tanner's like, I have no idea. So I'm actually about to mute my mic. I'm going to go walk around the store and try to find that cart with posters. If I can't find it, then we'll put it off till tomorrow. If I do find it, uh, if I do find it, then we'll come back and we'll do posters for a half hour or an hour or an hour and a half or something like that. And what's my phone on? 8%. Okay, so let me mute my mic and I'll be back in just a second. Okay, let me try to find this thing.
I'm back. We didn't lose all that many people. Root Boy Slim, $12. Preston, where did you see that at? Root Boy Slim, where was that at? Uh, what's the first record in top right crate? Ultramatic MCs, $46.99. When is Corner being sold? If not tomorrow, then Saturday, most likely. And it was in Paul's crate, okay? That was $12. Sold to Preston Rose for $12. First batch of posters, Robert Meacham. Robert Meacham posters. Let's go through it and see what's in here. Robert Meacham. We have the first poster from the Robert Meacham packet. Is Young Billy Young. Robert Meacham. Young Billy Young. Let me do some crate condensing here. Let's see. All right. Okay. Let's get everything pulled up here right quick. Let me do my normal routine. I've got a lot of windows open, tabs. Y'all know how that is. Let me get some of this stuff cleaned up. Let me save some of these files before I accidentally delete something. And that. And I don't need my email right now. And let's go open here. Let's go HA. And let's open some stuff here. All right, we're ready. Shane Deavers, very nice, looks unused, $25. Shane Deavers, first poster, can go to you. Shane Deavers, $25. Uh, I actually have a few more of those if anybody else wants one. There's another, and there's another. This is the Robert Meacham packet. No really theme. Shane Deavers said sold, $25. Uh, I'm working off of a cart right here next to me. I'll give you all a look at it. It's got all these packets with random people's names and whatnot. So um, there's all kind. We'll kind of probably try to knock out some of this layer here. There's a couple that's pretty thick that has a lot of different stuff in it, and we'll go from there. Uh, Brent Riley says he'll also take one. Let me see if I can find you another really nice one. It looks like the ones that's tucked in here are usually the nicest. Let's see, Brent, what this one looks like. This will be Brent's for $25 as long as it checks out. So far, it's looking great. It's looking really great, and it's great. That's sold to Brent Ribley for $25. So, next poster is Anzio. Anzio, A-N-Z-I-O. We're in the Robert Meacham packet, so these are all probably, most likely, Robert Meacham movies. Anzio, take a look at that one. More great graphics. Robert Meacham, Anzio. Let's see here. A-N-Z-I-O, Anzio. I'll also do this one for $25. Brent, $25 on Anzio. Also an exceptionally nice condition poster. Anzio, $25 on that one as well. Put that right there. And there's another young Billy Young. There's another young Billy Young. If another body, somebody else wants another young Billy Young. There's 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 another Billy Young, there's another Young Billy Young. Wow. I got a bunch of those. Anzio is so to Brent, $25. We have a lobby card, Robert Meacham, the Night Fighters. 10 bucks if anybody wants it, just that one lobby card. 
Also, we have the Friends of Eddie Coyle. The Friends of Eddie Coyle, I believe that's what that said. There we go. The Friends of Eddie Coyle. Is that how you say that? Coyle? Call? Brent? $25. The Friends of Eddie Coyle. $25 on that one as well. Nobody on the Robert Meacham card. Maybe we'll find some more. Oh, here's one. Uh, Rampage. Another lobby car, $25, uh, excuse me, $10, $10. Uh, and we have Rampage, Rampage. And there's a few lobby cards, Rampage, Rampage, Rampage. And then we have Wrath of God. Also, uh, Brent said sold on Friends of Robert, so that's sold. Here's the next poster, Wrath of God. Hmm, folded a little odd. Well, the graphics on this look amazing, though. Look at that. Wrath of God. Um, uh, this one will be thirty. This one be, will be 30. It has a, uh, as y'all can see, it has one of those tears on the fold right there. It has one of those tears on the fold and up here at the top. But other than that, it appears to be very nice. I mean, great colors too. Um, Brent said sold. And here's another one, but I think it's a little bit lesser. Let me see if there's another one. No. There is another one. Uh, Michael, you're next. Let's open up this one, Michael, and see what it looks like. Looks like it has some tape on it. Um, yeah, we'll, Michael, I'll sell this one to you for twenty-five. Has a little bit of a stain right here and a piece of tape. Kind of a little bit of a tear right there. This one a little bit cheaper. Still looks like it presents fairly nicely. Twenty-five dollars, Michael. Then Shane and then Travis. If anybody wants that one, and then the next poster is uh, Ryan's daughter. Ryan's daughter. Michael said he'll take the other Wrath of God for $25. And then here he is, Ryan's daughter. $20, Brent. $20. Passes. So, um, I will sell the four lobby cards for twenty dollars if anybody wants those. Those four lobby cards for twenty dollars. The four Robert Meacham cards. Of course, we had lots of young Billy Young. Brent passed on Ryan's daughter. I'll sell those four cards for twenty dollars if anybody wants them. All right. Uh, Jamie Wills Erickson says he'll take them. So four lobby cards. Five, 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 and five, the Jamie Wills Erickson. Okay, uh, let's see what else we have down here. Um, aha, Bill Murray. Let's see what this one holds. Bill Murray. We have some stripes lobby cards. We have number one, we have number seven, we have number six, we have number five, we have number four, number three, two, and one. So what are we missing? Just number eight? One, two, three, four. I think we're just missing number eight. 
usually it's a one uh, usually it's one through eight so Brent I'll do those seven for forty dollars those seven for forty dollars Brent Robley Coming attractions. Starring Bill Murray. Coming attractions. Oh, this next thing is going to be popular. Oh, this next thing is going to be so popular. I hope there's a bunch of them, but I can't tell. Stripes. These are sold to Brent for $40. We have... Ghostbusters lobby cards. We have number eight. We have number four. We have number three. And we have number two. We have two, three, four, and eight. Forty dollars for those four. Those should definitely be $10 a piece. Original Ghostbusters lobby cards. Curtis, you're first, then Tim Jensen, then Michael Rubman, then Christopher Brusha, then Jamie Wills Erickson. Don't shoot me, but I've never seen Ghostbusters. Please don't shoot me. I have Ghostbusters toys. I have Ghostbusters records. I have Ghostbusters Lego sets. I've never seen Ghostbusters. I know the cultural and significant impact of the movie, though. Trust me. That sold to Curtis for $40. That was sold to Curtis for $40. I know the song, too. Razor's Edge. Razor's Edge. The Razor's Edge, the story of one man's search for himself. I need to go watch that. I know, I might have to watch that. I watched Happy Gilmore the night. Is it on Netflix, Hulu? What do I have? I have Netflix, I have Hulu, I have Disney Plus, and I have Peacock. Is it on any of those right now, or am I going to have to rent it? There's the Razor's Edge, uh, Michael. Michael, I'll say the poster and the press kit for $20. Poster, before you pass, poster and press kit for $20. Meatballs. Meatballs. Who are you going to call? I knew I needed to watch uh, Ghostbusters when they had a whole episode of Stranger Things. They had that whole episode of Stranger Things wrapped around, you know, their Halloween costumes and stuff. All right. I'll, luckily, for whoever's first, second, third, fourth, fifth, I've got several of these. So let's look it up. I know I've priced this one before. It's a pretty desirable poster, yeah? Yep. I remember there was one... Yeah, one sold for 94 and one sold for 61 the last two. I think the last ones I were selling for $65. $65. Most recent was 94 and then one for this one. So um, let's see what they look like. But that's the first one for whoever wants it, $65. And um, the first person was Tracy Soinger. And then Henry. Henry says he wants one. There's definitely going to be one for you, Henry. Tracy, let me know if you want one for 65 And let's take a look at the second one here. They all look very similar. They all look like they've never been hung, really. Yep, that's another nice one. All right, so there's another really nice one. We'll go down the line here. Uh, next was uh, Dale. He's already said passed, and Craig says passed. So Christopher Brusha. Christopher Brusha, you're next. So there's one for Tracy for 65 
There's one for Henry for 65. He says he's glad he took a nap. I'm glad you did too. This one will be uh, $65, and this is Christopher Brusha. Christopher Brusha. He says pass, so does Michael. Okay, and after that then was Travis Wade. Travis Wade, I got one right there for you for 65. Let's go ahead and open, let's open this one. He also passes, and that means Michael Ruttman said pass. So that means the next two is Paul Brothers, and he said he'll take one. So that's Paul's, the next one there is 65. Brent, I think you're next. This one's Brent's for 65 if he wants it. And it looks like I'm going to be left with one more meatballs. Brent, let's take a look at this one. It looks good to me. Well, no, there's a rip here on the edge. One second. Let me, oh, I just threw my fist at it too. Let me fold up that one and grab the other one. That one has a small rip. This one looks like it has a little bit of a, a just a little stain there on it. Just a little stain. Brent, that one's nice as far as rips and tears. It just has that one mark right there on it. So um, I'll do it for $5 cheaper if you want that one for $60. That one will be Brent's, $60. And then that one that has the rip in it, I'll do that one $10 cheaper, $55. So there's two meatballs left. One, Brent has dibs on either one, $60 and $55. There's going to be two left there. Brent says he passes. So there's two meatballs. I'm going to actually uh, raise it. Did Michael want these? Michael Ruttman pass. Michael, I'm assuming you were passing on this uh, Razor's Edge deal too. All right, put those away. And I'm going to keep meatballs right there for right now. All right. Well, Bill Murray with, man, we went through those fast. Uh, let's see what else is over here. Um, what is this gigantic one here? Okay, we won't do that yet. Ah, I wonder what movie this is. It feels like it's only one poster, but it's a very popular actor. It's one movie poster. Hmm, what is this? Very popular actor. A very funny dude. It is 48 hours. Eddie Murphy. Surely there's more Eddie Murphy posters somewhere. A very fine minus sold in February this year for $49. Very fine minus. This one's not bad. It has a rip down here at the bottom, though. It is Eddie Murphy. Everything else, especially for a black poster, doesn't show many color breaks. $40. $40. Uh, I think I've got, well, uh, Craig put trad. <laughs> I don't know if you got auto-corrected or what. I think it's Craig, Henry, Brent, Shane, Michael, Paul. Craig. Or Craig, Henry, Brent, Shane, Michael. Craig, I think technically you've got dibs at 40 if you want it. If not, Henry Parita is at 40. So I think it's at Craig and then Henry, then Brent, then Shane. Trading. Okay, so it goes to Henry Paredes. Henry, it's yours for $40 if you want it. All right. Let's see what's in here. Don't comment Dudley Moore. Don't comment Dudley Moore. Sell this to Henry Paredes for $40. All right, let's see what the Dudley Moore movies are. I think it's all the same movie which is good. 
sometimes. Let's pick one out of the middle here and see what it says. Romantic comedy. Dudley Moore. Romantic comedy. I think that's all of what's in that packet. And I'll do them for $20 if anybody wants one. All right, so there's one. And, yep, they're folded very weird, too. Romantic comedy, romantic comedy, romantic comedy. They're all romantic comedies. Dudley Moore. Uh, let's see here. Let's do this one off the top. Off the top. Random off the top. Is it posters or lobby cards? It is lobby cards. Lobby cards. Birdman of Alcatraz. Whoa. Birdman of Alcatraz. Burt Lancaster. Where I'm from, it's Lancaster. That's where I grew up. Lancaster, Tennessee. If you're from Pennsylvania... It's from Lancaster. Also, the Midnight Man. So we got Bert Lancaster Midnight Man and Birdman of Alcatraz, both titles of man. Are these all different? That one, Table of Woman, Microscope, Burning Paper. Looks like he's in a prison and birds. Yep. All right, Brent, I'll do these for, let's do 15 for two. 15 for two, that's 30. And one more, 40 for those. 40 for those four, right? So, yeah, that'd be $10 each. Is there four of them? Five of them. Wait a minute. That is five of them for 40. Five of them for 40, Brent. How long before we get the road posters? Uh, good question. Boy, I got to go take a picture of it in the back. Y'all should see the road post. I went to the very back room of the store. So there's like what we call the back room. But inside the back room, there's a back room where the AC unit is. That's where we got a lot of, we've got over 10,000 classical records, probably, stored back there. Classical stuff that we've never been through. Um, we've never really sold anything classical because we've, don't have time to research it and I know some of it can be very valuable so I've always told them just to store it and keep it in the back but I walked back there the other day and in the corner was this like 30 let's see I'm trying to estimate the size this huge grid of just like rolled posters and boxes it's pretty impressive and they're all rolled up within each other and I was like, man, that's enough to keep us busy there for another three months. So, no, it's very dry back there. It's actually extremely dry. So, oh, there, there was one more thing in that Burt Reynolds thing. This From Here to Eternity, which I think is sheet music. From Here to Eternity, some kind of sheet music. All right, um, let's see here. Well, let me work off this top part here. I keep forgetting about that. I've been working on the middle shelf. All right. Here's another Robert Meacham. Mr. Moses? Didn't we have one of those the other night? Mr. Moses? Do 
$25 if anybody wants it. And that's another one, another Mr. Moses. Okay, uh, Thunder Road lobby card. Thunder Road, $10. Wow, this is pretty popular here, isn't it? 30 seconds over Tokyo. Thirty seconds over Tokyo. That's a cool one too. The Hunters. Let's do those two first. So thirty seconds over Tokyo, and the Hunters. Brent, ten dollars on that one, and the Hunters. It looks pretty cool too. Looks like some kind of uh, Air Force Navy movie, some some sort. And the Hunters is um, also $10. $10 for both of those, for sure. Those are pretty cool. $10 and $10 on those. There's Thunder Road. And then Heaven Knows Mr. Allison. Heaven Knows Mr. Allison. Folded one sheet. 45. Uh, $40, Travis Wade. $40 on this one. Very nice condition. $40, Travis Wade. $40. Uh, Brent gets these for $10 and $10. 30 seconds over Tokyo and the Hunters. $10 and $10. Travis Wade sold $40 for that poster. And Robert Meacham's have been good packets. Let's see what else we have here. Of course, Young Billy Young. <laughs> We've got about a dozen more. That one's in... If you actually want one, I can get you a nice one. That one's got a rip in it. But $25 for those, I can get you a real nice one. Real nice. Clark. All right, let's put this in a sleeve. All right, pretty good stuff there. Uh, let me do one of these off the top here. There's a really like phenomenal batch of, I think, well, I'll just show you one of them. Fred, I mean, I'll show, I'll kind of give you a preview. I've been wanting to see what's really going on here. Fred, I think these are really special. Fred has all these in sleeves and they're, some of them are priced. And he had probably 20 years ago some pretty big prices on them, but don't pay any attention to those. But he's got little cards, and they look like some pretty, I've been kind of peeking at them, some pretty incredible looking posters. So uh, let's go, let's look at this one first. I mean, they're all like in higher quality sleeves, and he had them all wrapped up, and they were in that FedEx box. That's what was in the FedEx box. I did a couple last night. But I've kind of been peeking at them. I think there's some really incredible stuff here. This is Jungle Manhunt. And he's got them all taped down. And I think there's some really incredible jungle-type movies here. He's got some really cool graphics on some of them. So let's see what Jungle Manhunt looks like. And they're really... Oh, okay, cool. He's kind of, kind of already got it in a sleeve. Look at that. Jungle Manhunt. Look at those skeletons. So yeah, these are, uh, he's kind of got these in sleeves. Some kind of, I don't know how, that's a pretty cool sleeve for that. Let's look this up. But there's a, I mean, there's literally an entire pile of these over here. So we'll start looking at some of these. And this is a half sheet or insert size. This is a half sheet. I believe. Yeah, a half sheet. Well, I don't see a half sheet sold. The one sheet 
And is this 19, what year is this one? This is 1951. Yeah, 1951. The one sheet, uh, 67, and then 167, and then 382. What in the world? And then back down to 61. I don't see a half sheet that has sold, though. Not saying it's rare, but it's a... The graphics on it are really cool, though. And prices for the one sheets all over the place. This is a half sheet, and I don't see it sold. And the one sheet don't quite have that kind of graphic on it, whatever he's fighting there. And it's pretty cool. I'm going to say um, it's nice, too. Overall, it has one little, just a, like a small tear down there at the bottom. Um, $85 on that. $85 on that, and that is a half sheet. He's got a kind of got of a sticker there that what it looks like. Curtis, I think you're first, and then Brent Rivley. $85 on that one. $85 on that one. All right, let me grab something else over here. Hopefully there's several of these because I think this is really popular and I think it has really good graphics. This is Maya. Yeah. Brent, the jungle manhunt is yours if you want it for 85. Here's Maya. We're going to take a look at a couple of them, though, because this one's not perfect, and there's several here. Brent does want the Jungle Manhunt for $85. That's sold to Brent. There's one Maya, and Brent and Michael and Curtis have dibs first. This one looks like it has some pinholes. I was going to... They all look like they're slightly used. That one has pinholes. That one has pinholes. So there's not going to be a perfect one. And that's... Is this Maya? Yeah, that one has a hole right in the middle of it. So that one's not... Let's set that one off the side. I think that first one there may be a winner. Let's open that second one. It looks like maybe it just has pinholes. This one has a hole in the first A on Maya. Let's just set that one aside. So far, that first one's still the winner. Let's see what the next one looks like. This one's not bad. As far as this area, uh, the corners look like this. corners look like that. It looks like that in the center. It's been tacked and they ripped it off the wall, it looks like. I'll do them for... Um, so those first two are the best. And let's see what this one looks like. How about just $20? That one's not bad either, but it's still got corner damage and pinholes. So... $20, Brant's first, and then Michael Ruckman. So, uh, Michael, uh, Brant's first. Brant, you've kind of got pick of the three. <laughs> or if you just want me to pick which one I think's best. Um, he said sold, first one. All right, so that's sold to Brant for $20. Now, Michael, uh, does it matter which one, or do you want to see him again on those two there? All right, while he's thinking on that, here's another one of these uh, posters Fred had kind of folded. And this is an insert size, really, another really cool poster here. Valley of Headhunters. This is an insert size. Valley of Headhunters, 1953. Valley of Headhunters. 
That's an insert size. And once again, no insert, but I do see a one sheet. Fred has it marked $200, which I don't know if that's accurate, but boy, yeah, these are great graphics. Um, $75 on this one. $75 on that one. Uh, Michael says sold the next best one. Okay, and then so yeah, that's so that one is probably the next best one. Sell that to Michael for twenty dollars. Another Maya, Curtis Marachi. Do you want the last Maya? I'll open it up one more time. Brent, you're first on Valley of Headhunters for seventy five. Then Curtis, then Travis. There's the last Maya. Just corner damage. Just corner damage on that one, Curtis. If you want it. Uh, $20. And then Brent said sold on that for $75. That was the Valley of Headhunters. And then Curtis sold on the last Maya for $20. All right. I'll put the last one in a sleeve here so we're not wasting sleeves. All right. Okay. That's cool stuff there. I'm interested to see what more of these look like. He don't have a cheat sheet on this one, so let's see what it is. Devil's Goddess. 1955 half sheet. Sorry for the glare. It's awesome. <laughs> it's another really good graphics. Devil's Goddess, 1955. Lots of really cool jungle posters coming up. Devil Goddess, that is. D-D-E-S-S. D-D-E-S-S. -S. Okay. I'm not in the sold category, that's why. Boy, I can't find the half sheets and inserts of these. I, I, there are only one sheets pulling up. Oh, there we go. Wow, 2000, you got to go back to 2007. Wow, that's almost irrelevant. Well, let's see what the recent one sheet so far. Okay, kind of back and forth there. Fine, very fine. I'll do this one for $55. $55, Devil Goddess. Thundering with Jungle Adventure, Throbbing with Jungle Thrills. $55. The first person was Brent, then Curtis, then Mitch, then Michael, then Travis, and Brent said sold. Not poster, but do you ever get in rock and roll screen print carnival mirrors? Uh, occasionally. Those are very sought after, I know. Occasionally, people will have those in their man caves whenever we go to buy their collections, but haven't seen one in a while. Nope. All right, let's see what we have here. We have an insert size. Oh, yeah. 1950, Fury of the Congo, Fury of the Congo, 1950, uh, Fred had all these in sleeves, you can tell he really liked them and cared about them, Fury of the Congo, insert size, and insert size, by the way, is a 14 by 36, incredible stuff here, 1950, I think this is the copyright date. Looks like it actually came out 51. Is this the same one? Yeah, 51. Fury of the Congo. Most recent, 2019. 2019. This one's $55 as well. $55 as well. And Brent, Michael, Dale, and Mitch. Brent, Michael, Dale, and Mitch. Also 55 on that one. Brent, Michael, Dale, and Mitch. Okay. I mean, these things are over here. Oh, okay, this, well, I just peeked in here and I saw a really cool title. Brent said sold on that for $55.
and Tarzan and the Valley of Gold. Tarzan and the Valley of Gold. Oh, wow. Well, there's a helicopter on there. What the heck? Tarzan and the Valley of Gold. Check that out. Whoa. Awesome. Part of American pop culture, the history of movie posters, some great ones over the years, some lost art. As you can see, this one's really nice. The only thing with it is on the back, which it just has tape, and it doesn't really affect it any right there. So. I really like the way this one looks. Beautiful colors. $65. Uh, Mitch Brent Dale. Mitch Brent Dale. $65 on that one. Mitch Brent and Dale. Very nice. 65 on that one. Mitch said sold, $65. And we have another one here in, in a sleeve. And we had the half sheet earlier. Here's the insert, Jungle Manhunt. We had the half sheet earlier. There's the insert, 1951. Awesome. 1951. $65. Very cool size. Perfect for when you run out of space. $65. Brent, Mitch, and Michael. Sold to Brent for $65. One lobby card here. Tarzan the Magnificent. 1960. Let me look this one up. Might be getting into some more lobby cards that should be possibly a little bit more than our standard pricing I throw out on some of these. Well, if you search Tarzan 1960, that boy, I love this stuff here. I used to collect these. I, I think I still got a bunch of them. These Tarzan, man, these have gotten expensive. Let me show you all some of these comic books on here. I didn't realize they were selling for prices like this. I guess a near mint, but I've got a bunch of these. Look at the what some of these is so for. Boy, see, I love these right here. These four color by Dale. $1,080 a couple years ago. 9.4 condition. Edgar Rice Burroughs Tarzan, 1960. Near mint, though. That's <laughs> You have no idea how hard that is to get in near mint condition. A 9.4 Tarzan, gosh, from 1960. Brent, I didn't really find anything, but I'll sell it to you for $15. $15 on that one. Very cool. 19, 
Did I say 1960? 1960, yeah. The lower right corner, it says 60 over 220. 60 over 220. He's got it kind of on a board and bag. He's got it on a, like a bag and board. He's kind of reinforced it. Sold a brand for $15. Okay, uh, let's change it up a little. I still got a whole stack of that kind of stuff. Let's pull out another uh, folder here. And I don't know if this is all the same movie or not, but it says, well, we'll find out. Let's go to another packet right quick. And I think it may be, yep, I think it's the entire same movie. It's a whole pack, and it's all the same movie. We got a whole pack of them, and it's called To Sir With Love, Sidney Poirier. To Sir With Love. Anybody got any comic books for sale? I will buy them. Before I spend any more time looking that up, I don't think anybody wants one, so. <laughs> Paul Brothers. Paul, $25. I literally have a whole pile of them. That one's very nice, though. And you see how many more I have. $25 on that. I'll leave those right there in case somebody changes their mind. Put that there. Michael Ruttman says he also wants one. Possibly. Or Curtis Marachi. 25 to Paul Brothers sold. Let's see what this one looks like. Curtis, this one has some pinholes in it. Let me see if I can find you one. My crappy 90s X-Men. No, not really. I, want I love photo covers. Uh, I actually collect monsters in very high grade. It took me forever to get the like handful I have near minting up. Uh, photo covers, TV shows from the 60s, Dale, Gold Key. Um, been putting them away and collecting them for years. I love Gold Key stuff. Curtis, there's a very nice one. $25. That is so to Curtis Marachi. Uh, I collect action comics. I have uh, a complete run from 250 to 400. That took me a long time to assemble. But I have a, a complete run from 250, which includes uh, 252 First Supergirl. That was a big purchase when I bought that. Um, also, two, 242 is the first Brainiac comic. Um, I never have bought one of those yet, but... My life goal was to get Action Comics 1 through 400. However, as y'all know, those first 100 issues cost literally millions of dollars. So don't have any of those. I think I got like a 68. I have a couple really old ones. I got some in the hundreds. I got a couple more in the 150s. I just don't have 250 up, but uh, I got a bunch more scattered. I probably have another 100 issues scattered. Maybe not 100, maybe 50. But my life goal was to collect action one through whatever, all of them. But because after that they get really cheap. But um, as y'all know, the first action comics is literally millions of dollars in high grade. Heck, they sell pages. They've sold like page seven, just a loose page for like fifty thousand dollars. Just a page, like a ripped out page of the comic for $50,000. Dr. Doolittle. Comic books, another important part in American history. Pop culture. Movies, comics, music, toys. I love all that stuff. That's what I do for a living, folks. It's pop culture, American history. Toys, comics, records, books, magazines, posters, cassettes, CDs. Anything you can think of. Something that takes somebody back to their happy place, like Happy Gilmore. Anybody 
And for me, it's from an, I, I like stuff from an era I'd even grow up in, like the 50s, 60s, and 70s toys and music. But it's really awesome. This is a very nice one sheet. Henry, $35. Christopher and Craig is the order. $35. That's a nice one. Henry Paredes is first. Henry, $35 if you want one. That one's extremely nice. And I have more. I have another really nice one, Christopher Brusha. And I have another one, Craig. Henry said so. These appear to be like pretty much unhung and in near mint condition. There's one for 35. Uh, Christopher Brusha, you're next. So Henry gets one for 35. Christopher, you're second, and then Craig, let me know if you want one. But there's another, and there's another, and there's another, and there's another, and oh boy, here we go. Didn't have enough of these for everybody the other night. Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Awesome. Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. $35, Mitch. Christopher, you're next. $35. Uh, Curtis wants a Dr. Doolittle for... Oh boy, how much was Dr. Doolittle? $25 or $35? I've already forgot. Brent wants one too. Um... They were 35. Curtis gets a Dr. Doolittle for 35. Mitch, you've got dibs on Chitty Chitty for 35. Christopher, you're second. Christopher, I've got another one. Mitch said sold on Chitty Chitty. And then Brent, let me know if you want a Dr. Doolittle. I have another one here for $35. I think 35 has been the price on the last two posters. There's another very nice for Brent Robley. And then Christopher said, so let me make sure this chitty chitty. I'll be careful saying that. I'll end up saying something else. Wow, you get some kind of like bonus item with this. I don't know what this is. Direct from Reserve Seats Presentation continues performance of popular process. I'll just leave that in there. So that is sold to Christopher as well for thirty-five. Uh, and Brent says he'll take a Doctor Doolittle for thirty-five. Okay, and next is Flower Drum Song. Flower Drum Song. With hop sticker, exactly. Wow, that's cool. We had one of those before, though, didn't we? Or have we? Flower drum song? Maybe we had one and it was really beat up. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Brent, this one overall, well, never mind. It's got a little bit of a stain right here. Music by Rogers and Hammerstein, of course. 1962. I was about to say 45. Because of that, 35. Oh, and there's, I'm seeing more here. There has a little bit of a tear right here, uh, Brent. 
and right here. So Brent passes. Christopher, 35 if you want it. We have yet to find one of those nice. They pass, and the last thing here was Sweet Charity. Sweet Charity. And if y'all hadn't picked up already, this was the musicals packet. Another musicals packet. This was the musicals packet. Chad just gave his first yawn. Not good. All right. Well, there could only be one thing in here. It says Laura Turner. Laura Turner. You get sheet music and two magazine clippings. Lana, sorry, Lana. Greg Lapey, $6. Or maybe you were just helping me. If you actually are interested, $6. Fred McMurray, Fred McMurray, Charlie and the Angel press photo, Son of Flubber press photo, Family Honeymoon lobby card, The Far Horizons lobby card, and one poster. Hey, our first Disney, I think anything, Bon Voyage. Left bank, right bank, all around Paris. Let's start to thank Fred Cobb with all the Kubricks. There's been zero in this collection since I missed one. Stanley, Stanley Kubrick films. Let me think about it. No. But there's a lot more. We, we got a lot more to go through, but I haven't seen... I haven't seen any of that. Of course, I immediately think about 2001 Space Odyssey, right? And then what else? I'm trying to think if we have had any. Curtis is interested in the whole McMurray pack. All right, so we got a mo movie poster. We got two lobby cards. I'm thinking like 15 for both of those, 20 for that. That would be 35. How about just 35? I'll throw those two in there. Clockwork Orange. Yeah, Clockwork Orange. $35. Dr. Strange Love. $35, Curtis. Every Fred McMurray item in that packet. Shining full metal jacket. Yep. Wow, what a what a director. He said he'd do 30. You got it. I don't know why I forget about The Shining being a Kubrick film. First thing I think of is 2001 Space Odyssey. $30. All that right there to Curtis Marachi. Okay. There's only one item in this packet. It's a Life magazine with Faye Dunaway on the cover from 1968. Fifteen dollars. 
and that was a Faye Dunaway packet. Bonnie's Fashion, New Darling. I like, man, those are always really cool. 1968, that's probably got some really cool stuff in it. There's at least, there's got to be at least one article in here about Vietnam. There has to be. I think I just turned to it. Yep. First thing I turned to. Saigon. Okay, sorry, I was just taking a flip through time there, even though it's a life magazine. I'm going to leave that out. We sell the heck out of those here in the store. We sleeve them, put them in a boarding bag, $14.99. There was a guy that used to come in here all the time asking for them. He was trying to collect them all. I was like, my gosh, that's a challenge. There's a lot. How many, I think those come out weekly. The Golden Idol, a half sheet. Golden Idol, half sheet. I'm looking for a year. It's got to be early 50s. Golden Idol, of the Bomba of the Jungle. Uh, forty dollars on this one, Brent, and then Michael. Forty dollars, Brent, and then Michael. Another fifties jungle original movie half sheet. Brent said sold. Forty dollars on that one. All righty. Um, let's see here. Hmm. This one looks cool. Wow. Jungle Gym in the Forbidden Land. Nineteen fifty one. Insert size, 14 by 36. Wow, 2011. Last one, so 2011, wow. $55, Brent. $55, Brent, then Michael. Brent said so, 55. There are a bunch of jungle lobby cards, like. Like almost a whole show's worth. I'm not gonna go through any right now. Brent uh, said so, or uh, Brent said so on that last one for 55. I'm doing some sorting here. I can't remember. Let's see. Let me put that there. 
And there's that. Get that over here. Doing some sorting. Okay, here's a whole packet. Which I don't know if we want to get into this one tonight. It says Tarzan. And they look like all posters. So that's a whole packet of Tarzan posters. I have another Dean Martin po uh, packet. Then I have more Jungle Movies, which appear to be posters. More Jungle Movies that appear to be posters. And... Let's see what this is. We'll go through that. Give me one second. And we'll probably go through that one tonight. Okay. Let's go through a couple more here. Unsinkable Molly Brown. This is a Debbie Reynolds packet. Unsinkable Molly Brown. Unsinkable Molly Brown. Unsinkable Molly Brown. And... Nope, hold on a second. Yep, alright, let's do this one. This one's different. This one looks very colorful. Marco made the best of two worlds. Marco the Magnificent. $25, Curtis. Lando 1981, are you interested in an unsinkable Molly? They're $20 if you want one. Lando 1982. And Curtis, this is $25 if you want it. And then Michael Ruttman's next. And unsinkable Molly. Here's one right here. I might give you this one. Curtis gets Marco for $25. Are you a first-time buyer, Lando 1982? I don't think I've sold to you before. Let me know if you're a first-time buyer, and I'll have to get some information. This one right here is very, very nice, and I'll sell it to you for $20. That's a Lando 1982. First-time buyer. All right. Welcome. Thank you. I'm going to copy. Actually, let me just type it in right quick. I'm going to send you a link to our website. Shop. Uh, I bought on Facebook. Okay. Well, let me put this on there. We might have some people watching late tonight that may be a little shy. So I don't hardly ever give out first time buyer information uh, this late at night. But if you are watching late and you want to make a purchase, don't hesitate. Trust me, I'd love to have your business, especially tuning in night after night like we have so many faithful customers doing. Uh, thank you. I have bought on Facebook, so just send us your information so we know who to tag that to. Or you can fill out that form, shopcollectco.com. And anybody else watching you, if you're on Facebook, same thing, but just message it to a uh, Facebook message. Uh, just send it. Uh, send us a Facebook message if you're watching on Facebook. If you're watching on YouTube, there's the link to our website. 
Same thing for X. However, I've not had but one new customer from X, and uh, I don't think we've heard back from them since then. So <laughs> I think we sold some, and uh, we just uh, we never to hear back from them. The divorce, divorce, American way. Another Debbie Reynolds here. Divorce, American um, American style. That is divorce, American style. Uh, and we have another one of those. And we have another one of those. And we have another one of those. And then we have some kind of Debbie Reynolds magazine clipping. Boy, Fred, the time it took for him to assemble all this. We got a Debbie Reynolds file folder. And we have Debbie Reynolds sheet music, Hold My Hand. Susan slept here. And we have a CBS. That's whatever was in this folder, but it's not there anymore. Okay. Boy, Fred, uh, that's a lot of organization there, Fred. And I showed you all those two other packets of uh, posters. Well, guess what? Here's a whole other thing of Jungle Lobby cards. So the, about the only thing left on this cart, um, I've got one more here, actually. Let me go ahead and do this one. We had the uh, insert earlier. This is the half sheet. Valley of the Headhunters. Here's the half sheet. Another really cool jungle poster. Awesome graphics on that one. 1953 Valley of the Headhunters. Brent, $85. That one's cool. $85. Nice colors, nice condition as well. $85 on that one. Um, and I think I may stop right there because if we crack open one of these jungle packets, that might take like another hour. So uh, Brent said sold on this $85. I think that's a great stopping point. I'm going to go to the back tonight and try to find a new tub or our next new batch, maybe find some new big name stuff, some new fresh stuff that way. If we do this again tomorrow, it's not just jungle posters. Uh, however, nothing wrong with that. They've been awesome. They've been absolutely awesome, the ones we've had here. So I like them too. I love the Tarzan stuff, the artwork, all that kind of stuff we sold right there. Hey, that was a pretty good stack there for about an hour and a half. We sold quite a bit. I'll try my best to dig out some more great stuff. Uh, I have a whole pizza over here, a margarita pizza that's been waiting on me since Seth got here at like 9 o'clock. And I have not ate in a while. I'm very hungry, and i got to get ready for more auctions and pull stuff for uh, John DePrice tomorrow and whoever else is going to be here. So thanks, everybody. It is Friday night tomorrow. We will be doing this again tomorrow. We will be doing this again tomorrow. Jennifer Schrader needs to put back I-40 country. Christopher Brusha was back up. So whenever who, Rebecca or Jake or Tanner, whenever you get to Jennifer Schrader's Jerry Lee Lewis I-40 country, Give it to Christopher Brusha instead. Thanks, as always, to the faithful viewers that have tuned in tonight. Fantastic. We'll be back in tomorrow. It's Friday night tomorrow. We'll be doing this all over. I had a goal because I kind of missed some week. I missed some time last week. I had to make up for it this week to stay on track. We do have goals set here at Coletco, sales goals and everything. So uh, I'm bringing all the heat. We've had like incredible auctions for four nights in a row and it's about to be five nights in a row i think this is the fifth night in a row fourth night in a row for posters and when we, then we got friday and saturday still so i'm trying to make up with some lost time where i went to the masters last week so i'm bringing it i'm bringing it on uh we've got a lot more they're gold jerry yeah those are gold i love the jungle packets i'm excited to open those up tomorrow and hopefully i can get to the back and find some more stuff who knows what could be back there I know where some is. I know where I've got to do some digging. I know where they're at. I know where all the tubs are at. And uh, then we got all the road posters. We're gonna do the tote. We're gonna do the tubs first, and then road posters. Road may be one of the last ones we get to. So just FYI. All right. Thank you all as always for tuning in. I'll be back on here at seven o'clock tomorrow. I'll be ready to go. Stay rested, so you are as well. Thank you and. Good night.